Hey there, everybody. Welcome back for another. Well, I'm I'm late. <laughs> Normally I start at one, but you know I'm late today. I know. Uh, but we're gonna get started on some Genshin Impact um, gameplay here. Um, I'm gonna just kind of focus on. Um, you know, playing some, playing some quests, doing some events, trying to get a lot of Primo gems, all that kind of jazz. So, um, so, um, last week on Genshin Impact, um, well, I mean, I, almost pulled off the um an amazing feat <laughs> to be honest um you know i was i was looking at it i'm like going i have to get over 500 primo gems to get um oh hey, hold on i almost forgot i need to give you guys some music or the audio for the game. Sorry about that. Um, I wanted to try to do one last pull for um, Red and Shogun uh, because I was kind of hoping for a electrical based, um, you know, five star so that I could kind of tackle the. Uh, um, Um, the best spiral without too much difficulty, you know, um, because the characters that I have right now aren't really cutting it very well. I mean, uh, you know, obviously I could still try to see if I can get it to work. You know, I can work on trying to get artifacts. I can try to work on getting uh, weapons to to try to work on the character does, that I do have to see about trying to uh, beat the uh, floor four with all nine stars with a you know with my four you know with my uh, four star electrical based characters that I have um, I can definitely try to work on that but I was kind of hoping that I could get that five star so uh, to make things a lot easier. Um, but I was like looking at him like on 500 is a lot. Um, but I was able to pull it off. <laughs> I went on to floor five and walked through that without any problems. Um, and, uh, well, without, with very little problems, I should say. And that, that bumped up a lot. Um, you know, the event gave a little bit of Primo Gems, but not a, not a ton at that time. Um, and, um, you know, I had the commissions left. But I was able to pull it off. I was able to get the 500, over 500 Primo Gems that I needed to try to do one last 10 pull. And, you know, you know, I was hoping for the best, but... Well, if you saw the last video of uh, Genshin Impact, well, it didn't work out. Uh, spoilers! <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, wasn't able to get, you know, get the 5-star. Uh, matter of fact, I wasn't able to get any 5-star in that set. Which is kind of unfortunate because, I mean, both Redden and you and Mia were, uh, are, you know, really good five star um um characters so you know i was kind of hoping for a little bit of uh good luck on that one but i wasn't able to pull it off it it did not happen uh even the uh even my normal you know regular pull of 10 set didn't 
do anything there. I just got like a four-star weapon and that was it. Uh, I didn't even get the the new four-star character either. Um, Charlize. So, or Chartreuse, or well, however you pronounce your name. <sighs> um, so, um, we're coming in today, um, pretty much where we left off last week, which, um, means that we're going to be, you know, one, looking for towards uh seeing if there's any new events going on which i believe there is uh new events that have popped up recently uh so we'll see about trying to get some premium gems on that we'll see about trying to get some um we'll probably try to work on some getting some artifacts and weapons a little bit more as well as well as trying to continue working on our quests um so all the quests and months that are done but there's a lot going on in leeway that you know i need to uh there's still a lot more in leeway that i need to do uh there's that one hall that is kicking my ass uh because they boost a hunter up even more than you know, <laughs> Hunter is already goddamn awful as it is, and they give them even more deadly power to it. And it's like, you know, uh, the fact that it getting they give them speed to um, almost instantaneously kill you, but they add you know even more attack power it, onto it that is basically one shotting. All of my characters, every single last one of them, and it's kind of pissed me off. <laughs> um, I know that I can get um, uh, others to kind of help me on it, but um, you know, I don't really want. Well, I don't want people to, I, I don't want to rely on, you know, people all the time. I need to do things by myself at times, you know? You know? So, I want to prove that, hey, you know, I can still play this game too, but, you know, I need to obviously work on, um, weapons and and equipment and the like to try to take it down so um so yeah we got we got we're, we're cut out for us on this on this um so um So we're probably going to be trying to see about trying to do some more um, leeway quests. We're probably going to be doing some Inazuma quests. Um, I mean, there's still the chasm that I still have to get through as well. I mean, there's a lot. <laughs> Let's face it. There's a lot for me to do. So. So. Let's get into it, shall we? Um, no, no, uh, Pegasus certification, no Unreal, no, uh, video uploads today. Matter of fact, I think I forgot to upload the videos into YouTube anyway last night, so, yeah. Oh, wait, ah, shit, um, hold on, I will be right back there, folks. I gotta do something real quick.
Okay, sorry about that. I forgot that I needed to take care of something here real quick. Uh, I had to take care of something real quick. Alright, so, uh, let's see what we got. Um, so, let's go through notices. Okay, so new areas, new areas in leeway now now available. Okay. Um, Shinru Vale, Upper Vale, Shinru Vale, Southern Mountain, and Mount Lexium. Okay, interesting. New characters, right? Um, Pastorine Herald, Spirit Vanguard. Okay. Um, okay, I thought these two were the next banner, but I guess not. I I heard, you know, one of my uh, watchers, you know, they, they got uh, Nahida, um, so, um, so congrats to Mercy on that one. And so let's see. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So wait, did... Did we just get like 600 primos because of recent fixes? Excuse me. Not sure about that. We'll find out. Uh, okay. Update summary. No worries. Uh, left and right discussion event has begun. Take part to win Primo Gems and obtain more rewards. Um, chance to win one of 5,000 Primo Gem prizes. Hmm. Well, I mean, it just started. Um, oh, okay. What is this? Take part in the event. Leave a comment below for a guaranteed reward of 50,000 Mora. Um, I can get a Vibrant Harriers Olaf and Spring Breeze Dynamic Avatar Frame permanent. And then, of course, 5,000 travelers will be randomly selected to receive 100 Primo Gems each. Um,
don't know. Um, I mean, don't really need the Mora, really. Um, and I mean, Hunter Primo Gems is nice, but I mean, five thousand. Oh God. There's already a hundred and ninety thousand comments. Yeah, no, I think no, I think not. We're not going to bother with that. Not for a hundred Prima gems, you know. Um, one of the things that I, I tend to worry about is getting just overloaded with just spam email and stuff like that. And, uh, I'd rather not get emails flooded with, you know, things that don't like, you know, some things I'm, I'm interested in, some things I'm not, but they keep on sending me things that I'm not interested in. So it's like, okay, why are you sending me this? So, I, you know, in some cases, I'd rather just not bother, you know, submitting my email to certain locations because of it. So, that's all. Um, community event is now online from January 31st to February 6th. If you check in for seven days in total, you can obtain an extra uh, 60 Prima Gems. I don't know if I can do seven days in total. Well, nope. Apparently, I won't be able to do that at all because I don't have, you know, I'm already four days into it. And there's five days left, so I'm not going to be able to get the uh, extra 60 premium drums anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, event wish. Okay, so right now you have you have the Zen Yun. Uh, you know, with obviously the gaming character here. Um... We have Noel again, and I forget a character's name. I have her, I just haven't really used her all that much. Hold on, let me... Um, I haven't used her enough to really remember her name. Frozen. So... Um... So, okay, uh, not yet, which, again, um, you know, congrats to Mercy on, on getting Nadia, or uh, Nahida, whatever, however you pronounce her name. There's the respective weapons for them. Um... Are they also offering these characters as well? Zhao and Yinye Miko? I thought these were later. And there's their weapons. It could be that they're offering both, you know, all, all four banners all at once. So we'll find out. Uh, it would be interesting if they did, you know, it wouldn't be too surprising if they did, so, uh, okay, booster, uh, extra boosters, flower dew, uh, huh, okay. Uh, okay, so... Outfits are available, okay. Uh, 
during an event, log in for seven days in total to receive Intertwined Fate 10 and other rewards. Okay, interesting. Um... Is there some, is this something that I will automatically get? Like, do I already have the mail for that already? I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, so quest duration, we have start time on the 5th, goes till the 9th. Uh, hustle Bustle quest start time is on the 11th. Okay. Um, hmm. Not sure what's going on there, but um, we'll figure it out. Don't care about TCG. Um. Adapt quickly to dispatch foes. Okay, that's that's a couple of weeks away, so uh, don't really need to worry about that. There's another TCJ event that I don't really care about. Um, cooking challenge. Okay, interesting. Uh, that's that's even further away. Um, let's see. I'm going into the game to retrieve intertwined phase, fragile resin, sanctifying the rewards. Okay. Journey uh, to Hillig Magnet Train. Okay. Apparently, there's going to be a new Hillitrol event coming up. And and then there's another one that's going to be coming up later uh, next month for some talent level of materials. Okay, that's this has been a lot here that they're that they're kind of presenting. So that's that's interesting. Okay, so here's the outfit shops and stuff like that. I mean, obviously we don't have the cash to even consider any of that so so that's um uh, that will have to be ignored for now can't do anything about that um okay we don't have any five star characters there so nothing i can do about that um i don't have a lot of the masterless stardust here to to purchase too many of these but um, uh, we'll have to, well, in, in some ways I'm, I'm half inclined on holding on to my intertwined fates a little bit because I don't know if I'm going to be getting, uh, a lot of them myself. So, um. Okay, well, I guess I'll grab these. You're kidding me, right? You're killing me. Okay. Community goes into another website that doesn't even bring along my profile. So, yeah. We're going to hold off on that. You know. Hey, if you do, you know, I, I kind of wish that they had it here. Like, give me the, you know, give me the daily or, you know, the daily login here if necessary, you know. All right, whatever. All right, what's, what's in the mail here? Okay, so. Okay, uh, there's an issue with Ganyu whereby after switching to the Twilight Browser of Outfit and casting her elemental skill, there was a small chance that frost like arrows fired by the character's charged attacks would be positioned incorrectly. This issue has been fixed. Well, <laughs> oh, you haven't fixed your, um, 
Uh, you haven't fixed the fact that uh, um, Klee's, you know, su uh, super ability goes after torches, so I don't know how well that is. Um, okay, scheduled maintenance competition, 300, okay. Um, name card style reward has been issued, repaired, and... And we now get another. Okay, no idea what that's all about, but sure, I'll claim it, I guess. Play all the reds. Um, there we go. Okay, so, um, let's see. It's really irritating when they keep on do doing that intro every single time. It's like, come on, guys. Oh. Okay, so they have a new battle pass opened up. Okay. Um. Here's the new unlocks there. All right, and there's the 300 plus premium gems that they gave, so that's good. Um, I've heard that the community at large has really been kind of hammering on Genshin Impact because uh, one of the things that people are kind of pissed off about is the fact that, you know, on... Um, it doesn't really matter which one I pick. I don't. I'm not planning on really going for either one of these. Um, really, you know. Um, you know. Don't get me wrong. I I pro, uh, I I wouldn't mind a five a good five star Dendro character. Um, but right now I don't necessarily need one either it's it's one of those things where it's like um the characters that they're offering right at this moment in time i'm i'm not really that gung-ho for getting at this time um so um but from what i read from what i understand uh, the Genshin Impact community at large is really upset with um, with the company, you know, with the uh, you know with the creators of Genshin Impact. You know, they're they're quite upset with um, 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 Oh, what is it? Oh, what is their name again? Um, I can never really remember their, like, you know, or like how to really pronounce their name. It's, it's who you, who. I don't know. I do. Um. No. no, no, no. no. <sighs> Hold on. Hold your lab. And never kind of lock their name in 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 mind. Um, nah. Um, so there, there, you know, the community, a engaging community at large is apparently upset with Hoya Lab because, 
you know, yeah, we're in, uh, you know, apparently we're in like the Chinese New Year time frame, I guess, when they really celebrate the New Year, I guess. You know, I'm, I'm again, I'm not sure. I'm quite ignorant along those lines, so you'll have to forgive me about that. You know, I'm not fully familiar with, you know, lantern rites and the all, you know, all the information or the, you know, the 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 history behind it. Okay, I don't, I'm not aware. So please, you know, uh, cut me a little bit of slack on that one. Okay, I never really looked into it. I haven't really had a major interest in looking into it in the past, so I have no idea. Okay. Um, You know, I'll look into it later if necessary. Okay, but um, but people are a little upset because in um, Hunkai Star Rail, uh, in celebration of the event, um, people were given a um, the free five star character. You know, like that. You know, like. Thanks for joining us for Honkai Star Rail. Here's a free five-star character, free of charge. You know, this is our gift to you for joining us for this, you know, entire year, blah, 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 you know, and all that jazz, right? So people in the community for Genshin Impact are like, wait, Star Rail is handing out a free five-star? Where's our free five-star? Kind of thing, you know. Where's why aren't we being treated here in the same, you know, in this game that we've supported you for for years, right? Um, and um, I mean, they're not wrong, you know. Um, especially if. If all you play is Genshin Impact and you're not interested in Star Rail, right? It's like, okay, you're you're giving people you're giving the people over there on the new game a free five star. Where's our free five star for supporting you for so long with this this game? You know, kind of thing. So I get it. I I totally understand along those lines. And to be honest, you know, they're right. You know, the community at large is, you know, correct along those lines. So, um, so I can totally understand where they're like on, you know, hey, you guys are kind of, you know, screwing us over for, you know, supporting you for all these years, you know, and some people are just like outright banning playing the game or like, you know, supporting Genshin Impact unless they change. Not that it might, uh, not that they might do anything about it. They might say, we don't care, you know. Um, now, if they were to give out a five star, then, you know, I, hey, I wouldn't mind. Um, especially if we're given, like, the choice of a five star, that would also be kind of nice, but... Um, But here's the thing, um, you know, I haven't had the money to put into this game at all, so that's the only thing that I can really do is, you know, support it by streaming it, you know, and that's that's what I've done, obviously, and you know, in the past, and you know, still going on today, right? So, um. You know, I, you know, I haven't been able to support them financially, which is not great, obviously, you know, um, you know, it'd be nice if I could, but I can't. So, um, okay, pardon me, I, my nose is running.
Oh my god, I'm sorry about that. Um, so, you know, I don't know what's going to happen um, concerning that. Um, I, I don't feel like I have much of a say in this kind of argument. Um, you know, I can definitely understand their frustration about it. Like, hey, if you put in, I mean, this, you know, Genshin Impact came out in what, uh, 2019? I think it was 2019. Hold on. Uh, let me look that up here real quick. came out 2020 okay so you know it's uh not quite four years because uh it was came out in september of 2020 uh but it's getting close to four years i mean so in three years um you know, a lot of people have been kind of supporting this game for for those three years, putting in a lot of eh, a lot of money into um, purchasing, you know, wishes and primo gems and stuff like that, just to you know try to get you know the characters that they want, right? Um, and so, um, so I can understand their frustration. Um, obviously, I, like I said, I don't feel like I have much to contribute to that conversation because I haven't been able to, you know, contribute my own funds, not that I have any, <laughs> into, the, into the mix. Like, if I put money into Genshin Impact, I probably would be pretty upset with them as well, you know. Um, but, you know... I'm playing a free game. I've been playing it free f since I started it, you know, a long time ago. So, uh, I don't feel like I have a much to say in that argument between the fandom and the company concerning it. So, I don't know. Um, I hope the community at large gets what they're saying, like, hey, you know, where's our free character, <laughs> right? Um, you know, even if I, if I personally don't get one, that's fine with me. I don't, you know, I, I like I said, I've been playing this game for free. You know, they don't owe me crap. <laughs> so it's okay, you know. But I can understand other people's frustrations in the community for saying, hey, you're giving a free character in and star rail but you're not giving out a free character in genshin impact what's the deal company you know so i get it i get it hey there jack how you doing how's your day been okay there is a lot of uh events going on here so Okay, so I'm going to have to definitely come online, you know, come into, um, log into Genshin Impact to try to get, you know, these 10 intertwined fates, which is fantastic, you know, because, hey, that's, that's one free pull right there. So, that's nice. I like that. Um, nothing I can do about this right at this moment in time, so we'll hold off on that. Uh, there's apparently a new area that's been unlocked um, nearby leeway, so we got that. Um, okay, we got ourselves a new boss, I'm assuming for our new uh, Adepti character, so, so we got that. And of course, there's, there's this, but it's like, well... <laughs> You know, I'm I'm not gonna be able to finish off the, you know, floor f floor A chamber three in time for this. So it's like, you know, uh, that will have to hold off for right now. 
not too bad, I feel similarly. I've only ever put money in during Lantern rights since coincides with my birthday. Okay, yeah. I mean, like I said, you know, yeah, indeed. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I can, you know, hey, you, you put in you put in money into the game so you've you've been able to support them you know with your money uh so in in my opinion you have more of a right you know to say to them hey what's going on here you know there's there's a little bit of a disconnect here you know you're you're giving star rail some love but you're not giving the genshin impact any love you know that kind of thing so it's you know, I get the mentality on that, so, um, but, again, <laughs> I've just been playing this for free, so there's not much I can really do about that, you know, so, uh, I'll take free whatever, um, whatever without being too mad, I, indeed, <laughs> you know, if, if they, if they hand out a free character, then I would be like, thank you. You know, I, I greatly appreciate that. You know, uh, the fact that they hand out Primo Gems for their maintenance updates. I'm happy when they do that, you know. So, you know, um, even though the, the maintenance never really affected me directly. So, so that's, that's why it's like, for me, it's, you know, I have no horse in the race in this matter, in, in my opinion. So... Um, so it's like, okay, well, it's okay. I'm not, I'm not really, uh, you know, I, I don't have too much to say in it, in my particular opinion. So you'll see about 20% of the new areas so far. Well, uh, keep it on the down low on that one there, Jack. I haven't seen it myself, so, uh, try to keep spoilers to, a, to a minimum. Um, but obviously, you know, 20%, that does, means nothing, but, you know, if you're like going, oh yeah, over here is like this, this particular area with a new boss, and if you go over here, you get, you know, some great chess, or, you know, don't, don't do that. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. All right, let's uh, go through the test runs, get, you know, a few Primo Gems for these two characters. Obviously, we'll see how gaming is. Um, it almost feels like this is his name right here, Leo9 Vanguard, not gaming. <laughs> I don't know feels this feels like a very odd name so hey right. uh, let's go into the trials here see how well these characters are who knows maybe I absolutely love them I'll absolutely love you know both of the characters and I'll want to try to spend my uh, wishes on them but I mean I'll explain after the trials, so. Okay. I feel like someone should have gotten yelled at for spelling his name like that. I, it feels weird. Uh, the voice actor pronounces it like Ga Ming. Okay. I mean...
doesn't look like she's doing a whole lot of damage. Like, I've seen other five stars that are doing, uh, that have done more damage overall, like, um, like, um, uh, uh, like Wander, it feels like I can, you know, I can do more damage with Wander versus her, so... I mean, as as a win character, that wasn't bad. Um, you know, I'm not gonna say that it was, you know, downright like the worst character that I've ever seen. Um, but like when I compare it to the Wanderer doesn't necessarily hold up very well um but you know but like i said you know it it it's still you know a decent character no matter what so i mean uh, like if if i had no other five star you know win characters then she would be perfectly fine um so um uh, so it's it's interesting you know i'll, I'll just kind of put it that way um i didn't really use her charge attack very often i feel that that probably would have been uh, i i feel that that did a little bit more uh like area effect damage which probably would have been good overall um she has some healing you know um she has some like personal healing back to backing her up which is also really nice so i appreciate that the fact that she's able to kind of heal herself so um there was at no point where i had to worry about you know switching out to another character or anything along those lines so um so um although wait where's i see nothing about healing here Missing something here? Hold on. Where is it? Hmm. Am I missing something? Uh, 
she was healing herself, so what abilities were giving her the ability to heal? There it is. It's part of the skill attribute in sight. You know, even though the talent info says nothing about healing whatsoever, her skill attributes were still able to to heal up from that. So, and obviously, you know, when you level up all the talents and stuff like that, then that would probably be you know really good for her. She'd probably be someone that could really. Um, that would probably be a really good powerhouse if you if you you know build her well enough. So um, so the fact that she can heal herself, you know, her damage wasn't bad, but like I said, I I think I've seen better in terms of overall damage. So. Um, the fact that she was also a mage with some homing attacks was also kind of nice. So, um, so overall, not a bad character. Okay. I, I'd probably put her like at like an eight or nine out of a 10 kind of thing. So, um, so yeah. Uh, Xuna, uh, Kazu. Right. Um, I personally do not have uh, Kazu myself in terms of the win characters. Um, but when I, yeah, you know, when I, uh, when there were times where I could use him in like events and stuff like that, he wiped, he wiped everything. <laughs> so both him and Wanderer as as when characters are just pretty much hands down like the best characters that I've seen so far. Bear in mind, you know, I don't have many five star characters <laughs> right at this moment in time, so I can't really say one way or another. Um you know. As as you can see, the only five star characters that I've gotten so far have been Klee, Wanderer, Nouvellet, and Farina. So I don't really have that many of them, folks. <laughs> so, um, but, um, but yeah. Um, but overall, still not a bad character. Okay, let's let's try out uh, Nahida here. Let's let's see how good she is, or bad she is. We'll see. You know, I don't know. Uh, oh, right, this character. Okay. Um, saw a little bit of her during an event. Um, I don't know if I was really that impressed with her abilities either, but... Yeah. 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 
Oh, fuck. Ah, Jesus. Okay. I'm not... Oh, jeez. I'm not really that impressed with her right at this moment in time. She is... Not really healing herself right at this moment in time, and her she has a very short range. I mean, you know she's she's doing okay damage, but but the fact that you know I'm having to. You know, I'm I'm almost dead as a character right at this moment in time. And I'm not even done. And it's like... You know... So far, it's like... There's... Like, the, the canopy isn't... Doing any kind of... Like, outright healing for her is... A little odd. You know... Maybe, maybe, hold on, I see everything. Okay, charge the tax for E, okay. That's not really healing her right at this moment in time. Alright. Not great. Not great, in my opinion. <sighs> what is with the Dendro characters? I have not been that impressed with Dendro characters all that much. There hasn't been that many Dendro characters that I've been really impressed with. I mean, you would think that, you know, with a Dendro, you'd have, like, a little bit more of a, like, of a healing uh, process with her. Um, here, hold on. Uh, let me, let me go back there real quick. Um. Um, you know, like, okay. Illusionary Heart. What is it for? Manifest a quarter of dreams, expands the Shrine of Maya. Okay, when the Shrine of Maya field is unleashed, the following effects will be separately unleashed based on the elemental types present within the party. Okay, she's great with the party. Which, I mean, I could have switched over to other characters. But the point of these, these kind of trials are to kind of see what she can do in a sense you know so i i definitely could have brought out other characters but you know on on one hand yes i i i understand the need and I, I understand that there are, you know, there can definitely be characters out there that are, like, good supports, right? Uh, like Barbara. Barbara's a good support. She, you know, she's a really fantastic killer, you know, in the very beginning, right? Um, and while it's like she's, she's really not doing too much in terms of overall damage herself, the fact that she can heal up the entire party is fantastic. Right? The fact that it's like, okay, you know, a, 
she's she's you know she's not healing herself for one thing which is uh, you know kind of you, you would think that dendro would be like one of the like one of the main um overall abilities you would think that would be doing like a fair amount of healing you know right you would think dendro plant life you know um restoration life in general right you would think that would be kind of you know goes hand in hand with healing overall or at least that's how my mind works anyway um so the fact that you know you don't really like this character right here doesn't really have any kind of like healing like built into her is you know already feeling kind of odd to me um outright right the fact that i you know f the fact that i lost her uh or almost lost her but uh, you know I, I, you know, there, there are times where it's like, you know, I, I want to, I go into these trials to see what they can do, you know, what they themselves can do. And, you know, okay, she might, she might be a perfect powerhouse when it comes to helping out others. But at the same time, I would like to, you know, have characters that can also kind of stand up for themselves as well when they need to and she's not giving me that vibe you know uh that she can uh that she can survive for an extended period of time like um you know for example um you know Nouvellet, he can stand up by himself. You know, granted, combine him with someone else, you know, he's he's even more deadly. But he himself can survive. He can heal himself. He can do a lot of damage, and um, he can heal himself. So he can stay in the battle. He can continue fighting for an extended period of time over and over and over again okay now wanderer he doesn't have any healing abilities but here's the thing with wanderer is the fact that he can hit like a truck okay um he's he's just as deadly as new valette okay one of the other abilities that he has is the fact that he can fly you can get him the hell out of there if you need to okay he doesn't have any healing abilities. I understand that. But he has power backing him up. To himself. So. And that's that's something that I appreciate. Okay. Um, now. You know. As, as I mentioned before. Um, you know. Barbara. You know. I wonder when I'll be as tall as she. She's not a powerhouse. Right? She is purely support. Okay? Um, she's she's a basically healing machine. If you can if you can get Barbara as a character, she is a healing machine, at least, you know, for for a while. Okay. Um, I feel that Farina is pretty much like is kinda like Barbara a little bit. It's like Barbara two point oh a little. Not not completely, but kind of. Um, because Barbara, when she heals, she heals everybody in the party. No matter what. Okay? One of the nice things about Farina is the fact that her abilities, you know, her Salon Solitaire, when you, uh, when you combine everybody into, uh, you know, into one into the singer of many waters in this particular case it can stay out and heal anybody that you bring into combat okay so not quite as powerful as barber in terms of healing but still 
pretty badass, okay? Overall, right? Um, she's just... Nahida is just basically buffing up people's overall powers with the illusionary heart. You know... Um, And even then, it's like, you know, you know, what exactly are we? Well, Nahida remains within the Shrine of Maya. The damage dealt by the Tricarma purification from all schemes to know is increased. But you need to have Pyro into the canopy as well to give her some additional power I don't know it, it it feels as though um this would be a great character to have in co-op not so great as single player so um and and that I feel is kind of an injustice um I I, I don't see any benefits to using Illusionary Heart at all. Like, where is where's any benefits to her herself without these other elemental types? Like, if you don't have these other elemental types in there, where's the extra benefits for her for being in this Illusionary Heart field? There isn't any from what I can see. So it's like... And that's that's why I feel that this is not that great of a character personally. Um, if they if they gave her a little bit like more power, a little bit more attack power, some healing abilities or something, anything, <laughs> you know, for illusionary heart, then it probably would. Then she, I might have might see her as someone that could be pretty viable. But right now. The only benefit that I see for her is being part of a co-op party, and that's it. Um, if if you get her, <laughs> better make sure that you you have a good co-op you know uh, crew with you because uh, I don't really see anything else. So, that's just my just my two cents. So, all right, let's uh, see what uh, Ga Ming is all about. What the hell was that? Okay. Oh, wow, he hits like a truck. Wait, he's a four star? What the fuck? <laughs> this four star is doing more damage than then both of the five stars combined. <laughs> what the fuck?
This is a four star. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what just happened there? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This four star was doing more damage, was clearing out that crowd quicker than what I was doing with the five star wind here, the uh, Zayun, and the Hia. I'm sorry, what? And they're putting him as a four star? Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> he was he was doing more damage than some you know than five stars that I was seeing. You know, these these two right here were not doing the damage that he was doing. It's like, what the heck? Okay. The banner by itself, um, I'm not really that impressed with. Okay, I'm not really that impressed with, it, you know, either these two characters all that much. Okay, especially her. I'm not really impressed with her at all. Okay. He, I wouldn't mind him whatsoever. He can join my uh, my crew at any time, you know, because of what he just did. He just murdered everything in there quickly, efficiently, without any problems whatsoever. Okay. Um, now, I didn't see any healing taking place because he was wiping everything out quickly. <laughs> you know? Um, now, you know, she wasn't wiping things out quickly, but she had at least had healing with her. So I was like, okay, I can, okay, I'm okay with that. Okay. I'm okay with that. The fact that she was able to heal, but she wasn't doing a whole lot of damage to her. Fine. No problem. This guy was clearing the room. I don't think I got hit once. Or if I did, I didn't see it, to be honest. You know, I cleared the entire room quickly with this guy. And it's like, I, I did, you know, if, if he has healing built into him, then he's perfect. So, um... I don't really see any um, or maybe he was hurting himself I don't know that he was um, gaming will grant, regain 1.5% of his max HP once every two seconds so I mean <laughs> yeah you know, like I said, he was clearing the field. He was apparently, you know, apparently he was healing himself. Uh, at no time was I looking at his health bar and going, ooh, I'm in trouble. And he was, he was consistently doing like 15,000 points of damage, you know, quickly, you know, uh, along those lines. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, he's, he's typically, you know, what I would consider a standalone character, you know, he can survive on his own if, if I need him to, for the most part, you know, um, 
so yeah, I, I'd be, you know, you know, I would be happy with him on my crew, especially if I was like just starting out on the game. Perfectly happy with, and, you know, with him on the crew. Now, obviously, you know, uh, would he hold up against any of the like strong five star heavy hitters? Probably not, but I mean, um, but here's the thing. He was doing more damage than these two. It, at least it felt like it to me. You know, yeah, you guys, you guys can kind of look at the numbers and uh, compare with yourselves if you want to. But the fact that I was, you know, she survived, you know, she was, she was, you know, she was healing herself and stuff like that, but it was taking her a while to kind of clear through the character, uh, th through the enemies, okay? The the trial itself took a little bit, you know, a, a little long time based off of, you know, uh, my experience on that. But she was heal able to heal herself. She was able to deal, you know, some decent damage. You know, again, you know, a decent character, all that, you know, in my opinion, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> this one, no. I, I'd rather not, personally. Uh, because she can't survive on her own, in my opinion. Okay. She has no healing abilities to herself. She wasn't really doing a whole lot of consistent, you know, major damage. Uh, her illusionary heart is pretty much useless to her. It's, you know, by herself, she's pointless. If you put her into a crew that, you know, uses her illusionary heart to its full potential, then great. You know, uh, that might be perfectly fine. But for me, I wouldn't really be, you know, I would need to find like a good crew for her and to put her in. But that's that's my problem with it is that, you know, I'd have to find a good crew to put her in. You know, um, you know, that's <laughs> I'm choosing my words specifically along those lines and that's why I, I i can't fully get behind nahida personally you know um gaming um uh, he's he's a good fire based character you know overall you know i was i was quite happy with what he can do so uh a little i was a little confused by his uh Beastal Ascent initially because I was like, oh, wait, what did it just do? Um, but as soon as I knew about the uh, Dance of Amenity, I was like, going, okay, here we go. <laughs> so um, overall, I was I was happy with this particular character. He was doing a whole shit ton of damage and his Beastal Ascent and Gliding Dance was just doing a whole shit ton of damage. So I was like, going, yeah we're good <laughs> you know um you know the fact that his his damage was comparing with other five stars i was going yeah okay <laughs> um well let's let's look into who is on um yeah i think i've tried her before and i wasn't really that impressed with her abilities last time I last time but we'll see Come on.
She's definitely one that needs to use a lot of her um, charge abilities and stuff like that. Which, I mean, as you saw, was able to do quite a lot of area damage. So, overall, not bad of a character. Um, um, she was able to pull in enemies, kind of moving them away from her, so... Uh, overall, not bad. Um, so, um, not exactly the, not exactly the best um, archer out of the bunch. Um, you know, overall, um, but not bad. You know, like if you if you want a good you know, air-based character here, you know, her, her abilities are, you know, pretty decent overall. So, um, and I think there were, I think she had a little bit of, uh, healing built into her, or was I, was I, uh, incorrect on that? Maybe not. Okay, probably not. Um, but the thing was, was that she was she was able to handle the enemies that were given to her, you know, fairly easily for the most part. If you're if you're you know doing it well, you have to you know do a lot of the uh, um, you know charged attacks, you know, uh, make use of her wind realm, and then you know uh, put in that. You know, wins secret way, uh, wins secret ways to really kind of make do with her, like you know, um, area effect. So, so not bad. You know. Um, now she might not necessarily hold up well against our five star. Like if you put our five star versus her, she probably would lose out. Probably, maybe. Um, hard to really say about that, but um, but yeah, I would say that's kind of like the breakdown on that. Um, oops. Um, so not impressed, and uh, I mean, I I would. I'd put my wishes in for her, um, you know, if I didn't have like a five star wind character, but I kind of do. So I'm half inclined on kind of saving up, you know, the wishes that I do get for like maybe the next banner, to be honest. Um, uh, at least that's that's kind of where my my mind is right at this moment in time. Um, I'm not really that impressed too much with this banner, except for Gami. That's it. <laughs> you know. Um, so um, now. Um, the the next banner after that, Zhao and Yamiko. Again, I don't know. Um. Yeah, I don't. I I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe I should just kind of save my wishes for right now because. Um. Because as much as, you know, gaming was dealing a decent amount of damage himself, um, 
you know, I'm I wasn't really all that impressed with Zhang Yun, with Nahida. Uh, I'm really, you know, um, again I have Wanderer, so I'm not really that um, inclined to try to go for another five star win. I don't really need another five star win at this time. I'd rather put my wishes towards you know uh elemental types that i don't really have and well <laughs> you know she's not a great five star um in my opinion um and yeah me miko uh i mean when we had her be used on that one event she was okay but again another one that wasn't didn't feel like she was like a major powerhouse to me so um now i might still try to acquire her just because i mean we have like two four stars that we don't have yet so i mean there's that um but i think i'll save i mean i know gaming is available and you know his his you know he's being boosted in this particular um character event but i can't it it just does not feel like a great um it just does not feel like a great banner to me to be honest so Four hours there. Let's get our 20 set here. Okay. We can only do 10 there, so I think I'll just do 10 here again. Just so I can just, I'll just pull out both of them and we'll be good. Um, now we'll focus on our, focus on the cooking. Alright, let's grab all the ingredients here, obtain everything here. There we go. And now, let's see. What can we make? We have to cook up 20 meals right at this moment in time. So. There's one. Okay, I can get, you know, 10 there. I just want to see if I can find another 10 elsewhere that I can do. There's five there, which I can do with the amount of fish that I have now. So that's, that's fine, but I would need like another five elsewhere, which I wouldn't be able to do you know, this set and that set, because, you know, that would take up all 20 there, so. Um, same with it. Uh, I can't, you know, um, I can only do five there, but again, I can't do that plus, you know, or, you know that plus that, so it's like, uh, okay, well, 
let's see what else we can do. I need I need some more fish, basically. <laughs> so, um, um, I can only do five there with the butter. Um, I can do 10 here. Okay, there we go. So, so first off, let's go ahead and take care of the 10 here. Uh, that's fine. And cook. There we go. All ten. All done. Okay, and then we had the other ten down here to kind of worry about. Let's see, where was it again? Nope, not that one. That's five, no. No, there it is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get new all ten here. Okay. Fairly fa uh, fairly close to the beginning, so it's. Obviously, the perfect window is a little narrower, so it's a little rough. So, but I'm trying to get it to all, you know, to 15, you know, because that's the 10. So, there you go. Now it should be all done. So, we got the mine 10 items. And we got the 20 dishes and 20 items there. So, got both of those. So, okay. Uh, so, we still have the commissions that we'll wait for Blackheart later on tonight. So, got that to kind of work on. Um, we'll see about doing the 150 original resin. Uh, depends on whether or not Blackheart wants to do anything there. Um, but, um, there isn't any Primo Gem events. Right at this moment in time. But, you know, hey, we still have this. So I mean, you know, this is this is ten free intertwined fates. Okay, so so there's that. But, you know, thankfully we're not having to deal with um um we're not having to deal with like a super long event that's going to take the entire stream. <laughs> so I mean, there's there's that. There's there's a little bit of a uh, uh, positive uh, positivity on that one. So. Um, 
Okay. Um, so, um, with that in mind, let's let's get into our quests here, right? So we have. Um, um, Characters currently involved in other quests. Okay. Mm, that one. Okay. Interesting. Um. I mean, I could try to take care of that. Clear up this so we can finish that one off. Um, uh, there's, you know, this one right here that we can try to work on a little bit. Um, story quests. Gotcha. Okay. So apparently I need to tackle the story quests as well. Um, but I have to complete these oh my gosh complete the above quest to accept the remaining pre-works quests of six remaining yikes okay so um so yeah apparently i have to continue with the uh inazuma quest there to kind of continue on with the chasm quest there so okay um Obviously, we would, we don't really want to deal with the um, commission quest right at this moment in time. Uh, we're not doing anything more with the chasm at this particular moment in time. We have a lot of Inazuma quests here. Um, we have a Sumeru and Fontaine quest that I'm not really interested in at this particular moment in time. Uh, we're not doing the Adventure Rank Ascension 3. We're not going to worry about that. Um, haven't tackled that one because uh, Chasm's been a little rough. Um, can't do this one. <laughs> That's been kicking my ass. Um, and we haven't um, looked into this one all that much. So, I mean, they do. And these two are offering, well, not... Not this one in particular, but this one's at least offering some Primo Gems, so uh, we can continue on with that one. Um, the reasoning behind, um, you know, uh, one of the things that I'm thinking, you know, I really should try to continue working a little bit more on um, um, Leeway is the fact that um you know there is a lot of quests that i have not even begun to finish <laughs> so and i think they even added some more with the fact that they apparently expanded leeway out so um i haven't even looked at the map yet on that so i mean uh, there's 24 additional quests for me to to tackle here that I haven't even that I haven't gotten to yet on that. So, um, but let's see map. Supposedly they've expanded leeway. Obviously not to the south. There it is. Aha, so it looks like they uh, established some form of connection between um, uh, between the two, or, you know, between Leeway and Fontaine here. Okay. Um, so it kind of leads me to believe that I really should consider going off and getting these. Now, um, 
just as a just as a little note here, um, there was this challenge that I was really pissed off with them about because I told them that um, the border was right along that cliff face or right along that like right next to the challenge there and because it was right next to the challenge i uh, you know being bumped into that barrier basically um you know had um um what's her name Miss Emergency Food herself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, um, oh, what is her? What is her name? Fuck. Why am I blanking? Uh, you know, I'm. I've always been really bad with names. So I'm sorry. Um, What is her name? What is her fucking name? I don't remember her fucking name. Ah! Why am I blanking on it all of a sudden? Pomo? Unfortunately, I can't necessarily look her up as a character because she, she isn't one. <laughs> She's not a character that you can have. So, um, she she's that companion with you that doesn't really do anything in terms of like battling or anything along those lines. So, uh, whatever. Um, but you know, you get There's you no get check. knocked into the wall. And, you know, you basically get forced back into, you know, uh, forced back into, um, you know, on that little pillar, which is just really small, by the way. <laughs> um, and that takes time out of your, out of your challenge on that. And I was really pissed off with that, you know, and I like I went to talk to them with them and was like, oh, what the hell is with this? Why, you know, you know, because you put the barrier like right there, right next to the challenge. You know, when you hit the wall, you got pushed right back and the timer was still ticking down because of it. And because of that, I was losing a lot of time fighting uh, the enemy that, you know, was in that challenge. And it really pissed me off. I, you know, contacted them and I was like going, hey, guys, what the hell is with this? You know, and they're like, you know, they pretty much said, get good, scrub. And I was like, okay. You know, so that, that kind of pissed me off. But apparently, now that they've expanded into these areas... Now, we, now I don't have to worry about that fucking barrier anymore. So now I can go back and take care of that challenge without, you know, uh, too much difficulty. So, you know. Okay, um, let's... Why is this one available? I haven't been to this one at all. Okay, uh, let's go up and uh, expand the map here real quick. And then we will go on to the quests. So. Although, there's a good way to kind of get up there. Mm. I, I don't really trust the, um, 
uh, the the portal that they instant gave me, which is really weird. Not quite sure why they did that, but um. That's not really going to help. A lot of cliff faces here. Mm. You know what? Fine. We'll go there. Ah. Ah. Eat. Uh. Uh. Okay, um, a lot of glitchiness and lag on this. Oh my god. Okay, um, okay. Okay, that was that was a huge lag there, folks. And that's a little weird for my computer to handle, uh, to not handle that really well. This has not been a really good, they're having some difficulties with this, it feels. I'll have to warn Blackheart about it. We were still in the mountains just now, how did we suddenly end up? I invite you to come as guests, yet failed to sufficiently explain beforehand. Such behavior was careless and would beg for your forgiveness. I'm not sure this counts as an invitation, that's all. So, do you just switch all visitors on here like this? Yeah, of course not. Many come and go from you know, only in light of your incredible compatibility with the local spirit veins that I chose to invite the two of you. Our names were carried here by the fish that swim. I have long anticipated your visit. Pity it is now not quite convenient, else I would have invited you to tea tests and banquet. Speaking of which, I am quite sorry, but I have a quest to make of you. You know, I presume the two of you have heard of the tea village of the village. I was a famous for its cool, fragrant waters since ancient times. The people here are of gentle character and pristine pebbles and streams are exquisite. I hear a butt coming coming. <laughs> Precisely the waters and soil of and Vale have begun to change recently as the scent of its tea will inevitably decline should this persist. One hopes that you two can resolve the disharmony in the soil and water on one's behalf. Our veins spread across the mountains, but my power is no longer sufficient nor is pr is present a good time for me to move about this a nice reply rely on your kindness and aid uh, so I don't wonder is there a problem with the traveler can just solve by resorting to gratuitous violence <laughs> oh pine on uh, as I heard you're quite right but for not you're part of my nature and trust that you should get to the heart of any problems you might encounter Still not quite getting it. Uh, uh, if all is understood, then it would still be boring. But yeah, this matter and I will uh, say that I shouldn't mislead you as statements. My apologies. Well, then allow me to share some adeptal energy dwelling in the moral world with you. The inversing landscape and piercing the fog. Alright, um, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Eh? I mean, welcome to this place. That is to say, welcome to... Thanks? Clearly a kidnapping. <laughs> yeah. Really sorry, but I was quite looking forward to meeting you face to face. To uh, forgive the imprint. Yes, now in my adeptal energy, things will become much more convenient. Please try to Wonders of said energy for yourself. Common carp leap. Main glimpse wondrous pearls of water scattered and the wilds and shimmering veil that was absorbed 
energy and now float. Use the ductile energy granted by Fujin to briefly transform into a golden carp fish and enter them. Okay, interesting. Once you're inside the pearls of water, you can go anywhere you please and you can hold the jump button to leave vertically. This way you can cross over the mountains and forest with ease, just like the golden carp fish in Legends of Yore. Okay, interesting. Relax. I kind of look around this area a little bit. Um, wait, where's the portal? You gave me a random portal to this place, and it's not here. Huh, okay. One would figure that, you know, I'd be able to come back here at some point in time, but I guess not. I forgot something important. If you see, see uh, can you hear me? Try power. Okay, that was there was a little bit of a quick message there. Um. Hmm. I want to kind of see the landscape a little bit here. <laughs> You know, I want to see where that one portal is, first off. Okay, looks like we got some uh, company down there. Um, but yet, I do not see portal anywhere nearby, but it doesn't look like I'm going in the right direction anyway. You know, okay, let's, uh, apparently I need to go to the village there, uh, let's go ahead and open up the map, and we will proceed on with, uh, apparently this quest that I got dragged into without no really official notification, <laughs> so, okay, wait. Where is... Normally I can see a beacon. Hmm. That's weird. Didn't seem like I was seeing that completely. I wonder if they will add more Geoculus on this. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Turtle. You have a very interesting look to you. Here is something matter, uh, Master. Uh, I am not sure you the son. Come, Scrooge, Master. 
My apologies. I'm just considering only your wondrous fashionable attire and your flying companion iconic twos was so unlike ours that I assume that you must have come from a harbor to discuss matters with us. No, I I am surnamed and all the village call me Grandpa Lou. I apologize, I must most recent years have not been kind. I've not even the tea to treat you to as guests. That that I will certainly not be satisfied with the tea ceremony this year. I'm still afraid by you, aren't those tea leaves? All it is far too lacking. How could I possibly search such things to my guests? Speaking honestly, we are waiting for someone from the Finian Commerce Guild, for we must discuss with them the tea leaf problem. Our biggest customers, after all. The question matters that the batch of tea is simply unsatisfactory. Whether it is in terms of taste or quality or quantity, this is the open secret among tea merchants. Although well, the village chief has also decided that no tea may be sold until the quality problem is solved. For every tell, the young master of commerce guild is exceptionally smart and skilled. One of his years, tea harvest was lagging in both color and quantity. I thought he would come in person, and if not, send someone here. So, here I wait. Ah, I see Blackheart is in the stage. Let me go ahead and invite him to speak. Hello there, Jim. How ha you doing? Not bad, my friend. How about yourself? I'm doing okay. That's I'm taking good. advantage of the... Singular day that is not so hot before the hottest part of the heat wave comes around. Oh, jeez. Uh, sorry for you. Sorry for your uh, suffering right at this moment in time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, I do have... Um, apparently they opened up a new area. Have yeah, I saw it. On, I haven't gone to it. I did see that there's a brand new area connecting Leeway with Fontaine. Okay. Um. So there was a portal that was kind of given to you freely, and when I went there, I got a huge like spike. Like, you know, the fact that the graphics couldn't even load in very well for me. Um, is concerning. <laughs> um, I see where the portal is. Yeah, so I would be careful going to that particular area. Because apparently, if you go around that area, you will be dragged into a, a quest, quest line and graphics and so on and so forth. And I feel right now... You know, if if I had a hard time graphically with it, you might have some struggles. <laughs> you know. Well, if I go in there, if that happens, that happens to you through that portal, then it'll be safer to go in from the outside portal then, so, so it gives it time to load in from a distance. Uh, one would think, but from what I understand, you're you're basically dragged in there no matter what. So if you go into that area per se, like around that portal, I don't know how. F I don't know what the radius is. By the way, I don't know. Um, There's a portal like right outside that edge where the map's not drawn for me yet. Yeah, I went. I, I was went. Thinking going to that portal first. I went to that one. I was not dragged in through that portal. However, the cliffs around it weren't really weren't really giving me a whole lot of uh, comfort in terms of like, you know, how That's can I thing. get you know how can I get up to the new area with what was kind of being presented to me? Um, Maybe my best bet would be from Mount Alcan, probably. Probably. And I can fly in from there, probably. Yeah, I, I would suggest probably going to the the other statue of seven on the left hand side instead of the right hand side first. So, at least that's my suggestion. You're welcome to ignore it if you want to, my friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm but teleporting to Mount Galpan right now. I'm but, also thinking since they got enough for a ten pull, I don't know who to pull for right now. <laughs> They're both good. I, Did your tryouts yet? Yeah, I've done my tryouts. Um, 
to be honest. Um, I was okay with the wind character. You know, she was, she was it's okay. In my opinion. Yeah, uh, the fact the fact that she was um, doing an okay amount of damage, um, and she, she was heal herself. and she was able to heal herself was, you know, pretty much a perfect character in my opinion. Okay, she was yeah. she was doing a lot of damage. And well, not a lot, a lot, but I mean, she was doing a decent amount. You know, right? Like she wasn't. Yeah. You know, it, based off of, like, other characters that we've seen before, she wasn't, like, doing, like, explosive damage or anything along those lines, but it wasn't bad either, right? So, yeah. um... That's why I call her, like, a balanced character. She's yeah. not a heavy hitter, but she can hold her own. Right. The Dendro character, however... Um... She can't hold... Like a Dendro applier, great for probably, as uh, a hyper blue team yeah you, you you have to use her in a team she can't yeah. she can't survive on her uh, on her own and that's why i was like on she she kind of left I us did pretty well on her when i try i didn't switch her that much and i still did pretty well i didn't switch her at all i didn't switch out of her at all and and that's the fact that you know i almost lost her for one thing, yeah. um, I did. I was like, summon, pull everyone out, mm -hmm. do their abilities to get dendro reaction, and then stay with her, doing all the dendro reactions as I can, and that performed quite well. Yeah. Like hyper bloom was busted. Yeah. Uh, th but that's that's my that was my kind of my point about her is like you know it was like you. She can't survive on her own. You have to have her on her team, you know. So, and you know, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, like we've dem and well, especially yourself, you've definitely demonstrated the fact that you know it's it's definitely good to combine uh, elemental reactions with each other to to do even more damage, right? Um. So, but. You know, if if she's hard pressed, if you if you don't have anybody else in your team, she can't hold on her own. You know, I just I just did. You know, I didn't switch anybody out with her at all. I don't really like doing that. You know, I want to see what what they themselves can do. And her her burst ability doesn't really help her out herself at all. You know, you have to bring other people into her burst area to do anything. And that's why I was like, on, eh. you know, if if they if they gave her some something, anything <laughs> like even a healing ability that I would have been OK. You know, that would have been OK, but she doesn't have a healing ability either. And I was like, eh. <laughs> it, you know so uh i would say that she'd probably be more useful than that one dendro guy that we had you know that one healer you know oh, because yeah, she's definitely way better than baishu right um yeah you know, just with the fact that she can combine with other characters to do a lot of uh elemental damage but by herself, she doesn't hold up, you know. No. So if if I was if you know for some reason like I I lost all the other three characters and it was just her left, <laughs> I'd be like, okay, kill me now. She's she's useless, <laughs> useless, you know. And that's that's my that's kind of my problem with her is the fact that I look at her as useless by herself, you know. Um, if she had a little bit more power to herself, you know, then I'd be like, okay. Or, you know, even adding like a, a healing ability into her burst, you know, just to kind of heal her up. Like if you don't have anybody else, allow her to like heal up in, inside of her umbrella. That would have been fine. I would have been okay with that, but they don't even do that. So I'm like. What's the, what's the point of her burst for her? <laughs> you know. So. 
Um, it's meant to work with others. I mean, I guess it has to do with the character herself. I guess I'll know more once I get to her part, since I already started Sumeru. Mm -hmm. I haven't found her yet. I only met two the two main characters. Yeah. Um, One of them, my God, I was like, this is dark. Hmm. You're gonna kill. <laughs> Yeah, well, we'll get there. I'm certain that I'm, <laughs> it's gonna, might get you thinking. Yeah. Um. The um. Oh, as for the new area, I flew in from the mountain I just told you. Mm hmm And I got teleported. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. So surprisingly, I don't know why my spike was not so bad. Okay. I. I a solid state or a regular hard drive? Solid state. Odd. Then why did you get that little lag spike? It should have been able to load it much faster. I I saw a lot of graphical um spikes on my end initially. I only have so. like, only one that like froze my image for like just half a second and then everything was okay. Yeah. My... And I'm here standing in front of Fujin, yeah. she is. Yeah, so basically they're saying, hey, you're forced into this quest no matter what, so good luck! Yeah, regardless <laughs> from where you come from, which, yeah. even if you're coming from the very edge of that map, they're gonna force you into this. Yeah, so good luck with that. Uh, well, I mean, I'm just starting it myself, so... Um, but, um... I was really happy with gaming. Or gaming. <laughs> Um, it's, it's interesting. Like, it, I don't like the fact that he hurts himself when he uses his ability, and doesn't have that much of a way of healing. I mean, he can heal himself, but not as much as he should. I feel. Well, here's the thing. When I was using him, I was cl I cleared out the entire enemy base very, very quickly. Like, you know, he was. When I, you know, yeah, he when, damage. when I, I give him that. he's strong. When, when I, when I played him, he cleared out the enemy faster, in my opinion, than the other two, than the two five stars, which amazed me. <laughs> you know, again, you know, um, yours, yours was probably the exact opposite, but I mean, uh, when I played God I, I, I have a problem with him. Like, that, the only thing that bugs me is like. There's each time in more and more characters that hurt themselves. Yeah. Uh, you use his E ability, yeah, it does great damage, but it also hurts him real bad. Yeah, well, you have to use his, um... Uh... And his first may heal him a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it needs to be buffed, the healing. It didn't notice too much healing there. Well, the problem was, uh, the thing was, was that... At no time was I looking at his health bar and going, oh my god, it's really low, I'm going to lose him at any time. I I finished off the enemy too quickly. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you never need so, a good hit with a burst or you won't get enough health back. Yeah, I, I mean, I was, I was in it, man. And I was, you know... At no time was uh, did my health ever go down into like the orange or the red based off of what I saw. He was always in the green for me, and he was just clearing out the enemies really, really quickly. Yeah. So yeah, I was even like, even if he got the red on me, I could get him back to the green with his burst. Yeah. But when I was left with just the little guys, those little guys didn't give him enough health. Mm. Oh, the, the big guys did, when he used the person, the big guys, that ha they're the most bulky ones, he did get good health from them. Yeah. I didn't feel like from the little guys he was getting enough. Yeah. Oh, I was, I, I, I was perfectly fine with him. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was. I do criticize his name, though. I mean, where's the imagination on that? Hmm, indeed. Um, but, you know. Uh, if, if I had a choice right at this moment in time, I'd probably, I'd only really want that four-star gaming character. And that's it, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. Um, and, you know, with the next banner coming out, I'm also kind of hesitant about that, too. Um, yeah, I think it's Xiao and, um, 
I was actually a maid again. Meng no, or Ma Ma no, Mank? Ma 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 Miso? Lu Misu? Misu, I think. L yeah. So. Yeah, Louis Misu. Yeah. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. I'm I'm half inclined on just saving my wishes for like the banner after, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I'm not really that uh, inclined for these next two banner sets, unfortunately. So I think I'll I think I'll save my wishes for the banner after whatever whatever that's gonna be. <laughs> yeah. So okay, I'm not sure about the uh, Dendro character because Dendro Traveler is actually decent. Okay. I got to try out Dendro character. The only thing I criticize is that his ability is a bit short ranged. Hmm. Like his birds is actually quite usable. Yeah, so I'm just kind of going through the 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 mission that they're uh, throwing you into right at this moment in time. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, the dialogue real quick right now. Yeah. And then see, like, especially since I have a bit of PD like piled up already, like uh, I'm around like 40 PD. I'm not gonna guarantee, but I do have a higher chance of getting a five star. Yeah, same. You're <laughs> I, more than I do. You're like on the seventy, so mm. you're almost almost at that guaranteed one. And that's kind of why I'm thinking about waiting because, um, you know, I'm I'm, you know, like I said, I'm not. I I was never like, wow, this character is fantastic, kind of thing, like. Like how I was with Raiden, right? Raiden is uh, yeah. Raiden is fantastic. I would have loved to have gotten her, but yeah. that never happened. So, you know, yeah. the current two characters right at the moment in time never, didn't really wow me as five star characters. So I'm not really like you know I'll I'll take them if if I if I get them, but to be honest. I'd, I'd rather save my wishes for other characters, so that's all. So, you know, and with I the fact that chat since they know the next character if they're better than the current ones or the, or not. <laughs> oh, the ones coming up. Um, yeah. you know, that's uh, an Nemo guy. I think Shao is an Nemo. Yeah, he is. And then the Electro yeah. Prime Maiden. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, uh, um. Of course. I mean, don't you see their le legs and arms? I mean, come on. <laughs> also, Wait. this is a teapot. How did the fish get in here?
it is the p it is a pity that it is now not oh. very convenient else I would have invited you to a tea tasting banquet. So of which I am quite so, sorry but I have a you think request I've got a to make of you. I just tell it like it is. Um if someone can have just an it, FYI maybe that's their I'm I've come across a puppy that when I hit F on it, it says I could pet it. No animation though. So oh, they're okay there. They're okay what we want. They're gonna kiss us away, but slowly they're sure they're giving us the ability to pet the animals. Indeed, indeed. It feels like we're getting close to that After point. After three years. <laughs> yeah. They're finally giving us that ability. So so there there might it, it might get there, but obviously, you know, obviously they would have to do a lot of work in terms of trying to get the animation to work for every single character and all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, I can understand them. Uh, it, it might take a while to kind of handle that because it might not necessarily work very well, you know, all things considered. Um... Like, the animation might be a little off, you know, based off of the animals in question, but, you know, um, you know, but it's, you know, it's potentially getting closer there, my friend, so. Yeah. But it doesn't look like all the animals have that, you know, effect to them, so. So you can't fit the fox at back at the Inazuma Shrine. Yep, yeah, not yet. Lord of Fox, I kind of captured and took into my teapot house. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Thank you. I presume that you uh, okay. have heard of a tea village of Chen Yu. Uh, she's there. Xiao uh, Yin Village. I oh, think this way. That. Yeah, there we go. This land has been famous for its cool wasteland, like, water, and ancient times. The people are of gentle character and uh, rats at pristine pebbles in its stream are exquisite. Oh god. I hear a bot coming. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Uh, I, I'm liking the second option here when uh, meeting up with Uncle Lou. You're, 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 when you see it, you'll, you'll probably get a chuckle out of it, so... I'll, I'll leave it. I'll, you know, I won't say anything, so you can enjoy it. So enjoy. Jadian <laughs> Village will inevitably become this process. One hopes that the ch you two can resolve the disharmony of the soil and water on the one tree house. The water veins are spread across the mountain, but. My power uh, is no longer sufficient, nor is the present of a good time for me to move about, thus I must rely on your kindness and aid. Ah, well, we aren't exactly experts when it comes to the dealing with soil and water, and is there any problem that Traveler can just solve by Resorting to gratitude, grat, grat, gratuitous violence. <laughs> Just as I heard, you are quite direct, but fret not. Uh, you are clever by nature. I trust that you shall get to the heart of any problem you may encounter. I get it, no worries. <laughs> so, uh, 
What's up? Alright, and it's nice to meet you. Um, eh. <laughs> late for that? <laughs> I mean, welcome uh, to yeah, this I'll place. Brush that, brush. that is to say, welcome to Chain U Vale. Thank you for your earlier kind offers. Right here. What do you mean, welcome? This was clearly a kidnapping! <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I was quite looking uh, forward to meeting just, uh, you face to face, uh, and was rather hoping uh, you two would be dairy. magnanimous Gosh. enough to forgive the improperly. Yes, now that you have been indulged <laughs> with my little energy, Trevor, things will become much more convenient. Jen's a little bit of a troll here. For yourself. You may glimpse wonders for discovered in the in the wilds of Chin Yu Vale. Have absorbed errant adaptable energy and and now float. Use this energy granted by Refugium to uh, Refugium form into a golden core fish uh, and itself. enter them. That's just not as good as before. Once you're inside, you and soil. Water it's you color and as bomb, it's all in disrepair. Cause entity. Cherry. I'm not so sorry in the water, it's the elements that nourish the soil, the... Enough, enough. Let's get the technician in charge of the tea cauldron in here first. That's a fontaine precision. We can name such a pain in the ounce. Jen, go get her. Jen? Jen! Just <laughs> ready to die, lazy lover is calling in this time. Uh, Snap I was trying to hand for our technician. Okay, no point to this part of the cave. Yeah, I didn't really go after I left there, you know, they kinda of pushed you into like an area that I wasn't really expecting. Um I was half inclined on kind of trying to go back to that one portal that I was originally aiming at um, but I was like going eh, maybe I should maybe I shouldn't because who knows what I might run into <laughs> you know um, so I figured I'd uh, go and open up at the map at least so yeah uh, from here most things powered by elemental energy works is more or less the same principles yeah just <sighs> Well, at least they put me right on in front of a stack of a seven. Um, Tiny likes to travel around the leeway, passes through here every so often, loves to offer services, so it's for this round of tea cold and maintenance. Uh, let's leave it to her. Yeah, I guess. I'm really sorry, but I need to trouble you. Find a technician, this oat moon Tai Tanyi. It's more likely that. And not she's found herself a show there that she can't tear her eyes off. <laughs> How could you possibly dare to ask our guests to do such a thing? You misunderstand me. Our, our guest already has business to attend to at Elon Wharf and would just be passing along a message on their way. It's nothing, really. Is that so? <laughs> huh? Is that so? Seem to be so. Sorry, and if you would, I guess uh, I'll leave it to you to accompany them. Oh, jeez, I have to, I have to take old Lou with me. What? Uh, that is your hard work, you scared. Why don't you just jumping at his own shadow? Haha. Here, 
just get water so I right I see it and is not far from the headwaters and there are runes left at the depth that I went away so if you're looking for clues there's your best trip bet thanks for passing this uh, well, please lend a hand, would you? Give all loose some peace of mind. He doesn't. So he doesn't worry himself to death. Even mini pie. Oh, never mind. Can handle other things so trivial. Ah, he's still had it. I didn't show some. Hey. Oh, okay. Uh, getting a new recipe out of it? Nice. Uh, yep. New recipe. Awesome. Okay, apparently I have to leave the village now. Okay. On our way. I don't know exactly what that symbol is on the map, but we'll worry about that later. And obviously I'm passing by a lot of things that I could probably collect upon, but... Follow the golden carp. What? Oh, okay. Uh, not quite yet. I mean, I, I just got to this place. I have no idea what is what is expecting me in this quest. I first would like to experience this. Oh, there we go. Um, there we go. Tiny next fight. Uh huh. Okay. What am I looking for here? Oh well, <sighs> that's not helpful, guys. Come on now. The real. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> um, uh, oh. About oh, uh, oh my! So you aren't uh, the commerce guild young master? Mm -hmm. My apologies. I was considering only your wonderfully fashionable attire okay. and your flying companion. Melusine's on the was so unlike our be sure to that I assume that you no must have harm. come from Leeway Harbor to discuss matters with us. Lu I am surname. Okay, now you're talking like Yoda. And mm. all in the village call me Grandpa Lu. Apologies, I must we sent here. I have not been kind. I have not even the okay. ease to treat you to you as guests. Uh, yeah, yeah, that I will good. certainly not mm, be satisfied with the ceremony situation. this year. Yeah, uh, Grandpa Lou, the stars by, by you aren't those the tea leaves? <laughs> The quality is far la too lacking. How could I possibly your wisdom. serve such thing to my guests? Speaking honestly, we are waiting for someone from the field. Uh, I'm just supposed to problem with the soil. Well, we must uh, discuss this with them. The fertility problem. They are our <sighs> biggest customers after all. Oh, the crux of the matter is that this batch of tea mm -hmm. is simply unsatisfactory. Whatever it be in terms of taste mm. or quality, this is an open secret among uh, tea merchants. Uh, Only uh, Lil, uh, the village chief, has 
also decided that no tea may be right. sold until the quality this problem is rather, solved. This is in human eyes. I have heard. I heard like that. I have 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 heard like that. Exceptionally smart and skilled. If he has caught wind of this year's tea harvest, uh, was lacking in both quality and quantity. I thought he would come in person, or if not, send someone here. So here I wait. Hey, uh, 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 Badri, Bishal. Go ahead, ask away. Uh, let's see. Uh, some, uh, okay. Anyway, the problem uh, with the tea leaves, I believe it lies with the soil. Indeed, I've lived here my whole life and worked in the tea since I was but a wee lad. And I can notice problems that others hmm. may miss, as I I'll see, see it. each other um, later. My, uh, and she's gone. It must be an imbalance in our soil and water. From which server are you? I'm playing on the American server right now. Okay. Adeptus Putin? Abandoned property oh, belongs so to whoever finds it first. Tale? So, that's quite a rare, yours even now. among local few number. I'm almost half inclined on kind of waiting until you kind of catch up to where I'm at, which isn't that far ahead. You know, just so we can kind of, you can have the same, you know, uh, when I'm, you know, watching it, you're you're kind of speaking your lines as well, so, you oh, know. I think I'll kind of look around a little bit. Maybe look around for some loot. <laughs> Pretty much. Many, many um, years ago, okay, that's... was nothing but a barren hill. Terrifying demons dwelt there, and it was all thanks to Adeptus Fujin that the begins. demons were defeated and tea trees were planted, allowing our ancestors to come Missed. live here. But if it is really a problem with the water and soil, then I don't know what we can do about it. Actually, that's exactly what we've been asked to investigate. What? Yeah, I don't know what we can do. Damn, missed. The first one. Oh, so there does we go. that mean you believe me, young master? Yes, I believe. Whether or not I believe you, it's relevant. I'd say yes, I believe. Is that so? Then that makes things easy. Come, I'll bring the leaf sample and let's have a talk with old Luo. I'm probably gonna butcher a lot of names. Most likely. Some, you know, I I, wrong, Grandpa, I I I still kind of butcher names myself, so it's so quite okay. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure I butcher like. Nearly all the names back in Inazuma. <laughs> young master and young lady, if it isn't too much trouble, could you pretend you are from the Fuyun Kamu's Guild when we are meeting with old Luo? Village Chief Luo is a good person, but has to put this. He puts more trust in machines, cultivation techniques, fertilizers, and things like that. I mentioned an imbalance in the soil and water before we pot it in on bad terms, but if it was the young master of the Fei Yun Commerce Guild, not sure if I can play the part. I guess I'll give it a try, but I don't have a choice. Doesn't seem like a good plan to climb on. I uh, don't worry, even if he sees through it, it's nobody's idea but mine. None of the blame shall fall on you. Let's go. 
I guess I'm still in voice actor mode from yesterday. Yeah, you definitely are. <laughs> but that's okay. I just that I enjoy kind of doing that. I, I tend to have a bit of fun doing that. Yeah. I mean, if you're if if you're doing okay with it, then or you know, if as long as it doesn't hurt your voice, be, you know, be careful with it, obviously. So. But. Oh, I can just run through these bushes. Okay. Oh wait, there's an investigate. What? Mark things now. Let's see. Mm hmm. Interesting. I apparently am getting a lot of tea leaves or something like that. Okay. I'll take it. Oh, okay, there we go. Alright, now I'm just marking things like challenges I find. Yeah. And them right on the back. I am gonna have to beat the portals though. Potential Where treasure. is this portal? Oh, see in the map, I don't... Curiosity. Yeah. You win again. What the? It's not marker. Okay, there's something up there. I'm gonna mark this to examine later. Seems like right there. There you go. If it doesn't ruin a drink, it isn't there. treasure. Close enough. Now it's kind of. It's kind of interesting with the fact that they opened up this new area and the fact that it's part of leeway in a sense. Um, I wonder, you know, like, you know, I know that like Inazuma has um, like 12 levels compared to like um, leeway's 10. Right. So I wonder if they, eventually in the future they'll like go, oh, OK, we're going to, you know, give some more levels to. Uh, for you know the leeway you know geo tower you know i wonder if they're gonna do that or not i don't think they will or like i feel they'll do something similar to what they did in a, in a sumo where the whole electro sigil where you can level up uh something up on the shrine yeah they might do that instead maybe I mean, I found the same thing over in Fontaine by accident. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it yourself. No. Okay, then I won't say exactly what it is. Yeah. Like I said, I haven't <laughs> really been... I <laughs> and got a few things out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't really been trying to... Uh, I haven't really wanted to spend too much time um, in the areas that are kind of outside the quest line right at this moment in time. Yeah. I kind of blessed it by doing, I think, the event. Mm. Okay, so, oh, why is this shiny? Is there something for me for, to grab? And then, no, it's something else. <laughs> it's something similar to what's in Inazuma. Gotcha. Uncle Luo. The, this batch still isn't any good. They're not fragrant enough when you dry them. And they get so dry and brittle that you can't even put them in the roller. Even the ones that survive the secondary process come out the other end uh, a complete disaster. Are you sure okay. that this isn't a problem with the machines? Are you sure you haven't forgotten how to prepare it? What a thing Oof. to say. How could we dare to be careless with you looking over our shoulders? Hm. How could you indeed? Hi, it's Grandpa Lou. Jen, get back to work. And this respectable looking young man is. <laughs> I'm the young master of the Beijing Comic Guild. I'm but one who comes to the aid of the oppressed in their moment of need. 
a disciple of the Guhua. <laughs> Are we really going to impersonate him? And that is... He is the one supposed to be here. Like, where is he, anyways? He's probably nose deep on some book. <laughs> That's exactly my thought. I was like, on. Hmm, that phrasing looks awfully familiar. I wonder what he's a, you know, kind of thing. So, I mean, technically, he is the one in charge of that particular yeah, but, organization. So, yeah, but spend most of the time making up excuses, passing their responsibility over to someone else, just so he, so he can read a book. <laughs> Pretty much. Just who the heck calls himself Young Master? This is my servant. It will suffice to call her Mini Pie. <laughs> but I, I, I had I had to hold my laughter on that one because I was like, "Oh, oh you're gonna get a kick out of that one." <laughs> So he's not. Embracing it. He's so... embracing that she's emergency food. <laughs> she's pie now. <laughs> I mean, you you know, we've always kind of considered her emergency, you know, you know, or at least you know, it's always been kind of part of the dialogue that she's always been part of the emergency food. The fact that you know he's calling her mini pie is just you know chef's kiss. So. Yep. Of course, there's probably going to be some people that are going to be like, you know, uh, absolutely hate it. They're going to be like, oh, why? You know, uh, but, you know, I, I I enjoy the good laugh, at least. So. I love it. <laughs> oh, is that, in that case, welcome, welcome. A guest like you is a rare treat indeed. We have been quite reliant on the assistance of the Commerce Guild for many a year. But as for what happened this year, I suspect uh, you have already heard about it. What's wrong? You're looking pretty miserable. Did Jen mess up at work again? <laughs> you all mocking me again? My apologies, dear guest. Normally, I would invite guests for, uh, from afar to sample our new teas, but this year's batch, uh, well, you know. No tea? Are you seriously going to let me to the young master? No need to stand on ceremony, chief. You're here to help. Yeah, the young master is very concerned about the tea leaves, so there are no need. There's no need to be so tied up for with formalities, Chief Lua. <laughs> very well then. I'll tell you the truth. This batch of tea leaves is no good e either. They can't be tried, and I can't. Tell if they were bad when they were picked, or if it's a problem with the machine in our workshop. <laughs> What's that difficult? How's that difficult? Why not just use some of the older leaves you've had in stock and see if the product you see if the product you get from drying them is any different. If the product is normal, then you'll know it isn't a problem with the machines. Seriously, I've told you before, forget it. As we have important guests present, then we'll give your message a try. Chin, do you have any fresh tea leaves remaining from older batches? <laughs> These, uh, there's some in the warehouse. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh, good one. 
We've been talking here for a good long while, and you haven't listened to a single word, were you? Go fetch some of the older batches and process process it along with some of the new stuff that Grandpa Lou brought using the machine. Don't you dare skip a single step. I'll be watching you. After a bit, she brings back the two batches. He seems like a kind uncle now, doesn't he? <laughs> yep. Yeah. How about this? I see your two guests are quite young. They might prefer snacks to tea tasting. Oh, hello. Why not turn these two badges into tea cakes? What? Tea cakes are a thing? Be sanctified. The quality of each will uh, will be evident with a single cake. Okay. What do you think, old Luo? Agreed. We'll do just that. Jen, listen up. Take these two batches of TV and make them into two different tea cakes. One cake uh, from the, from each batch. Don't you dare get even a single leaf mixed up. Yes, yes, sir, Uncle Lua. You want me to mix them all into one cake? Oh, for I can't even. I don't know. Uh, you know, if 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 that guy was like, you know, literally saying that because he wasn't really knowing any better, then I can understand the uncle's frustration in that regard. Yeah. But. But on the other hand, I, I wonder if, like, you know, he, you know, if Jin was kind of doing that just to piss the uncle off, you know. You know, hey, I'm going to troll you because I know the process of going about doing this. Why are you, you know, telling me how to go about doing it again? You know, that kind of thing. So, so I could kind of see it as a, like a potential troll, but, you know, I don't know. Yeah. It could be other way. Ah, oh, sorry for the long wait. We've got both uh, tea cakes here. Let's try them one at a time, shall we? Well, mm. how's the taste? Hmm. The first one tastes a bit strange, but the second one was delicious. Hmm. You're really going. To let me, you're going to let me, the young master, eat. Uh, so I'll just agree with Paimon. Mm. Tea cake made from the tea we had in stock tastes fine. Hmm. Alright, you win. So according to you, the tea processing machinery is fine. In other words, the problem is with the tea itself. This new batch of tea. It's just not as good as before. Okay. So, oh, that's a mystery. Soil. But perhaps it's the cauldron that's the problem. It's old and in disrepair, which must have off offended the adeptus, causing the tea to deteriorate. Mm hmm. Indeed. Oh no, no! It's the soil and water! It's the elements that nourish the soil. The... Enough, enough! Let's get that technician in, ch in charge of the tea cauldron in here. First. Oh. Can you let me bring some water? <laughs> it's that Fontanian, the one from the Fontaine Research Institute. Uh, Hot, hot. Okay, well, what's the point with that? Those two words. Or he can't pronounce his name. He he can't pronounce it. So oh. he's he, or he what? he doesn't know the the product, uh, correct pronunciation. So uh, names such names such a pain to pronounce. Jen, go get her. Would 
Captain. Dead! Just where did that lazy loafer upscound to this time? This. <laughs> that brainless nimwit. <laughs> I was going to have him go to. Okay, I'm gonna butcher this. Yil. Yil long. Wharf? Yai long. Wolf? Wharf? Rough. <laughs> then search for technician. Mm hmm. Okay, that's. I not pronounce that name at all. Now I know what to do on this one. That was, that's a weird challenge, but should be easy enough to do. Do you specifically need someone from Fontaine to fix it? About you long one. Uh, just go with the first one. Yeah. Well, whether in the way or Fontaine. Most things powered by elemental energy work one work on more or less the same principles, yeah? If untained engineers can fix it, so can our uh so, Let's give it a so much church I cannot pronounce that last word. So much church I'm not gonna try, I'm gonna just torture it. <laughs> Oh, uh, how's it spelled? I already skipped it. Oh, over. okay. It just so happens that this Miss Oat Moon Tan Ye likes to travel around Leeway, passes through here every so often, and loves to offer her service. So, as long as this Round of tea cauldron and maintenance. Well, let's leave it to her. So you see, honored guest, I re I'm really sorry, but I need to trouble you to go to Yilong Wharf and find our technician, Miss Otamun Tanye. It's more like more likely than not. She's found herself a show there that she can't tear her eyes off. Hello there, uh, Demon King Golem. How you doing? Okay. Um. Yeah, that that word in particular always kind of gets me as well. It's like a, a thermoturges or something like that. It's yeah, it's word. yeah, it's it's a really rough one to get. So I can understand your. Uh, difficulty on that one so how could you possibly you dare to ask oh, our guests to do such a thing what exactly is it oh you, request. you misunderstand me our honor guest already had business to attend to at ye long wharf and it would just be a pass would just be passing along the, a message on their way. It's nothing, really. Is that so? Mm. Is that so? It would seem to be so. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. Then if you would, on an honor guest, oh, Lou, I'll, I'll leave it to you to accompany them. I, uh... I, uh, what? Thing... Thanks for your hard work. You scared our Lu old Luo some... So much, he was jumping at his own shadow. <laughs> you mentioned earlier that you're here to investigate the wire and soil, nice. right? As you head over to Yilong Wharf, then... It's, it isn't far from the headwaters, and there are ruins left by the Adepti along the way. So if you're looking for clues, then your best, there's your best bet. 
As for passing a message to Oad Moon Tai, well, please lend a hand, would you? Give old Luo some peace and of mind so he doesn't worry himself to death. Even Mini Pie can handle a thing so trivial. <laughs> hey, why are you still acting? The show's over, and what's with calling time on Mini Pie anyway? I mean, you are emergency food, can you apply it? <laughs> That's reasonable, I'd say. Anyways, How the heck did I climb that? Oh well. You can rest easy, Grandpa Lou. Such great kids you are. Really great kids. Oh right, I noticed that you two really enjoyed the tea cake. Why don't I teach you the recipe? Next time you come by, buy some quality tea leaves. You. You'll be able to make some for yourselves. In that case, safe. Tra in that case, safe travel. Be careful on mountain paths, and mind you don't slip. Okay. Oh, new recipe. Yep. And of course, before I go, I'm just gonna take care of as we investigate and take some tea leaves. Yeah, now I need to deal with my squeaky fan. <laughs> okay, let me get back on on the road there because you're you're getting closer to where I'm or where I left off. So. Right. I kind of went a little out. Uh, you know. You know, I started kind of going around the village and stuff like that. I was doing a lot of investigates and collecting a lot of, a lot of tea leaves. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, just going through the fields alone, you're, you're given like a ton of, you know, basically tea leaves. So, and now I don't know exactly what they're exactly used for, you know, maybe for the new recipe, but, you know, like I'm not. A hundred percent sure about that. So, oh, did you uh, try to pet uh, Dahi? Oh, I didn't find him. Oh no. Okay. Um, I'll look for him later. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, he was on the bridge, you know, um, like just south of that one portal in the village. So that that was the little doggo that you can pet ish. <laughs> I'll look for him later then. If it, if it comes to the option to pet, but there's no animation, then I'm in no rush. Okay, understandable. Why can I not capture this goat? Okay, fine, I won't capture the goat. <laughs> You're not allowed. There's a little arrow challenge here that will be easy to do with this plant thing. There, he's easy. Uh oh, and now I see a flying fish! Mm-hmm. Oh, get back here! Follow the fish! Okay, I'm inside this bubble thing, no... Okay, there we go. And of course, it took me straight into the treasure hoarders. Yep. Fortune and Nubalette can easily deal with all of them. Yeah. And yeah, me as well. Might as well. While well, I wait for that cooldown. I guess that's it. Oh, there's a 
activate that portal first. Oh, that tutorial. Use the energy to light the lotus lamp. Uh, strength. About the river. Use the lotus lamp. Have a suspicious light to re refly. Light. Brief life, brief life. Briefly. Briefly? Yeah. Oh, because the whale is. Because of how Y is being is used for us, it's, it's kind of weird. Yeah. Adaptal energy can. It's, it's, uh, it's the brief and then the LY at the end is the Lee, so briefly. Okay. Mm, okay. Yeah, she can be used to pick up a lotus lantern such that you can light up all lotus lanterns in the area around you or place it at, at a suitable location. If you can light all the lotus lanterns in a single area at once, something marvelous might happen. Okay, first thing first, I need to get that portal open. It's kind of on the on the way, you shouldn't really worry too much about it. I must leave no stone unturned. Okay. Okay, now to take care of that lotus thing. And I cannot do well in the water, even though it's meant to go in the water. Yeah, that, that one's a little odd to kind of understand a little bit, but it's not that hard. History have their eyes on us. What the hell? And uh, restore the extent. Uh, position and orientation. Uh huh. There we okay. go. Finally, it recognized it. Hey guys, can I kill you real fast? You don't mind, do you? I hope you don't mind. I mean, you are just treasure hoarders, and you're, p you know, we are causing a lot of disruption in this, in this location. So you know, I'm sure aren't you aren't they causing this disruption of some sort? Yeah, exactly. So. Yep, but we are the worst. <laughs> Traveler. Hyman, you two are indeed brilliant as expected. Upon seeing my dis dissipated adeptal energy, you immediately understood the situation. Of course, we're super duper experienced adventurers. 
you know? Still, why didn't you say anything sooner? You didn't just forget, did you? Yeah, I say she did forget. <laughs> um, about that. I should not be a path of the adept I be full of challenges. This is merely a test for of my of your wisdom. Right, right, you forgot. <laughs> I guess you who brought us here. Speaking of which, you just what's the problem with the soil and water you mentioned before? Grandpa Lu was also sure that this was behind the deteriorating quality of the tea leaves. Uh -huh. What's going on there? Yes. You two have been Xiaoying village. You've seen Xiaoying village. Should the quality and quantity of the tea leaves continue to decline, so will the village. Until finally, in the years to come, it the degenerates back into what it was millennia before. A desolate mountain forest. Uh, you sure that isn't high hyperbole? I understand what you mean. Okay, I understand. Okay, that's kind of hard to wrap your brain around. Uh, can that tea really destroy Xiaoying village? I mean, if their <laughs> entire economy was built around tea, then yes. <laughs> it is true, the Lord of Geo would not stand idly uh, by as disaster befell uh, where the sky to collapse. The conqueror of demons and the other adepti would do their utmost to support it. Should the water under Yilong Wharf uh, reach the dicks and flood? Dick pipes. I don't know if I can pronounce that properly. The way, however, would aid the villagers. But without tea, this stretch of uh, mountain food or Xiaoying village, rather, would lose its very reason to exist in human eyes. That makes sense. When you put it like that, I don't understand. Yes, I mean, they're all about tea. They're tea farmers. Of course, if something happens to the tea, <laughs> there goes our livelihood. So, are you two willing to help me correct the imbalance in the water and soil? Very well. <laughs> yes, that's excellent. Um, your willingness is commendable, and one is quite grateful to you both. Now, back to business. When it comes to how to resolve the disharmony in the soil and water, one is indeed well aware of what to do. First, you two must go up against the furnace and seek the jade treasure thrown into the water. In the end, we must perform the ancient rain jade rite once more, dispelling the miasma that has settled over the, the mountain and, and fields and into the river and restoring uh, the water veins and soil. That's a lot of ants! Maybe some Thomas instead? That's way too many ants in a single sentence. I must leave no stone unturned. Okay, got it. But uh just how do we do the ritual? You don't know, don't you, Fuji? Adept the Fujin, what all? Uh nothing. As for the ritual, it's still a bit early. Whoa! Hi there. <laughs> and she's on. She doesn't remember, doesn't she? <laughs> 
Okay, hi guy, how you doing? That need that just means upstream, right? Hey, that's the same direction as Okay. Let's go. Found something big and mean. Oh, hello. Uh just a little bit. Okay, something was fine on us. Okay. Yep. Okay, so you are now kind of caught up to where I'm at. Um, I'm slightly, like, to the north a bit. I found a puzzle that I'm currently kind of working on. And, well, I'm right now fighting a Thunderham Lull Troll. So, so... Excuse me, treasure hoarders. I want your treasure. Oh, you bastard, you... Get back here, you... Lower Troll giving you trouble? <laughs> well, he's uh, he's avoiding my uh, bombs for Klee, so it's like, God damn it. Oh. No, no, I don't want to speak to that. Uh, okay, whatever. Oh, God. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. I had the entire cargo would have been lost without you. I don't have much money on me, but please take this as a reward. Don't be shy. Oh, you got a little bit further than me. <laughs> this is for a well then. I hope we'll meet again. I feel that that might have been necessary to unlock some quest or something. Ah. Uh... I'll... I'll have to... Wait, where is... Where is this at? Let's see it, let's see it. Plenty of tea, some fruit... It's saying it's like right here, but I don't see it anywhere. Hmm... I'm gonna be here. And... No I'm... Tutorial. Oh, it's a different version of this. Thing. Use this absolute energy granted by Fujin. Ah, yeah, uh, okay. Your stone statue to launch orbs of water in the shape of golden corpse. The direction of your choice. It may be a stone coffin, but for some reason it looks rather annoyed, curious. No need to collect these huffy looking stone carvings will surely get mad at you regardless of your choice. Okay. okay. Maybe it's down here. It's probably around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna mark it. Because I don't know those enemies. Along here, fury. and all they all fell behind me. Silence. Yeah. Are you good? Well, you just keep fishing there, Haley Troll. Just ignore me. Uh -huh. Oh, hello there, Stone Hide uh, Lower Troll. Uh -huh. You are in the way. I'm gonna have to deal with you. And the bomb deleted his shield. 
Where are you at? Hmm. You you kind of went off in a different direction than I did. <laughs> I'm following the marker. So yeah. I ended up coming there, across the stone height lava trail. Yeah. Uh, there was a um. There was something up in the mountains there that I was like going, huh? Okay. Um. You know, I, f I figured I'd check it out, and it was like a little bit of a puzzle. Ah, there's the strange merchant that you were speaking to in just a second ago. So I'm a little behind yeah, you right at the moment, but fun. that's okay. I haven't triggered anything any from Tori. And yeah. Where is this heli troll? Did he fall off? Oh, there he is. Yeah, he uh, fell off behind the tree. And I know I'll be lost without you. Don't... Just take this as your no, Don't please. be shy. Yeah. So, you too, there we go. Sure. Have been meet, we'll meet again. Okay. That's quite a bit of more. Thank you very much. Oh, I see some investigates over here. Grab that apple too. Do I still have the angel traveler on me? Oh, case. there's a lot of investigates over here. Okay. Oh, that's a whole lot of tea leaves. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, what the? Come on. Hi, guy. Time to take care of this uh, stone hill troll here. Yeah, uh, the stone height lava troll. Yeah. Bow your head. Course, if you kill him with the palm right next to him, his shield will instantly disappear. I was kind of taking care of the. Um. Oh, stop. Oh, he reset. God damn it. He he walked on down to me on the bridge, and now he's kind of reset on me. So it's like, god damn it. I hate when they do case, that, man. Him, yeah, in my case, I got him with, right next to the bomb. Yeah. The bomb, and right as he was activating his shield, I ended up canceling it. Yeah. Easy there, pal. Easy. Ah, oh, here with the shield. Okay. Come on, you. Die already. Leave it to me. Oh. 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 
Okay. There we go. And there he goes, finally. Got, it, got him taken care of now. Uh, let's go and grab the loot from the guy that fell down here. Let's get the treasure chest now. And then we'll go off to the... Uh, Go grab the uh, the portal out. Well, we might need these resources. <laughs> Hope I'm on the right way. <laughs> Long wharf. Right at the edge of Fontaine. I guess you see Fontaine from here. What's that? Uh, the place you're going is right at the edge of Fontaine, and you can see Fontaine from. Yeah. From oh, common chest. Okay. Little random common chest on the way. Sounds good to me. Here as well. I see another portal. I'm not gonna bother with the crate because I don't need any more geo sigils. So many already. <laughs> yeah. Got so many, it's like, what the heck? Yeah, they're kind of pointless now. Mm. We already got all the important stuff. Yeah. And grab this. Oh, shit. Oh, almost messed up there. Uh huh. Interesting. I'll go ahead and mark this as something that I'll have to come back to at some point. Yeah, I marked several things along the way. Yeah. Are you kind of going along the uh, wooden bridge right at this moment in time, or? I'm already across the bridge. I'm mm. actually already at. Uh, uh, Elon Warfed. Okay. All right, have you gotten into the cutscene yet, or no? Or have you got... Um, I'm in a little cutscene. I just need to read the conversation. I can okay. wait for you to get to this point. Okay. I guess I went the... Um, uh, the, the direction. Well, it felt like it was the uh, direct path, but I guess not. I don't know. <laughs> I stayed on the road and made it here pretty quickly. Yeah. Grabbing a few chests along the way, activating all the portals along the way. Yeah, I missed a portal because it was up in the mountains, but, you know, I, I apparently went down a lower road that, you know, I was seeing some additional, like, portals and, or chests and stuff like that as well. So I was like, hmm, okay, interesting. Right. So, about ready to... Activate this portal. Oh, here we are. You're on wharf. Okay. Uh, and I see. Oh, into the cutscene. Okay. I'm start reading that. Though I don't understand it in the least, I still think it's amazing. Just watching her stand there singing, or sing while walking around, or sing while sitting, and then sing while she lifts her hand and slowly lets it all, lets it all, let it, lets what? it fall, all the while uh, ceaselessly singing. <laughs> I don't, I really don't know just what kind of magical power the old lady has babbling chanting singing and reciting reciting and crying i haven't got 
a clue what she's saying, but it's amazing. Little Mao, can you understand? Okay. <laughs> I just don't... Just how opera singing is. And weren't there f fight scenes later? There was that old dude who could do 88 flips and tricks. Uh, riveting stuff. Uh, fight scenes in an opera? I mean, okay, I guess, but 88 flips during an opera? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. That's oddly specific. Yeah. It's like, uh, the low mouth, uh, you're, you're counting how many flips this guy was doing? Okay, uh, you know, very observant for you to be able to count 88 flips, or was there like a counter on the wall saying, you know, <laughs> flip number one, flip number two, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's great. It's just a shame that I don't understand a thing. A whole bunch of people fighting and jumping all over the place. All super flashy and such. One on one, several on, several fighting each other. Five or six taking turns. It's just almost addictive. <laughs> Hello, um, we're looking for a technician from Fontaine. Uh, Chief Luo and Grandpa Lu said, uh, what name did they give us again? Uh, Moon oh, what, Tan Yi. <laughs> that, that was almost like, um, Kawocho or something like that. Uh, yep, sounds like Grandpa Lu sent you, all right. Just call me... I'm gonna butcher this. Mm. How te montagne. How I, I would say... I, I would say it's a uh, haunt montagne. Montagne? I, I, I would... I would... I would, I would figure that it's haunt montagne. At least I Probably. think. But, you know, again, I could be butchering it myself, so. Yeah. So oh, it's a little easier than this. Not, this is this is a mouthful. Yeah. Um, Just one thing, using mouthful of names to things and people. Yeah. It yeah. contains events. Everything was, the name of everything was a mouthful. <laughs> I'm a researcher from the Fontaine Research Institute. Uh, I'm the young master <laughs> from the previous homeschool. I am but a one who comes to aid the oppressed in their moment of need. A disciple of the Gua. <laughs> so we're back to acting there. Yeah, <laughs> I'm <laughs> yeah same. Alright, alright, that's quite enough acting. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, that's quite enough acting. Are you a right traveler? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Our young master is sweet. <laughs> That's not right. He, he's a traveler. It's Paimon Paimon. <laughs> anyway, it was Grandpa Lou who sent us looking for you. I can't wait for them to do vo uh, voice acting on this one. <laughs> if ever. If ever. It'd, it'd be nice when they do, but yeah. Yeah. I would have loved it if it was voice acted, it being a, a new area with a mandatory quest. But at, at the same time, this is being done by, um, you know, it, it might have been voice acted by, you know, um, by the company, you know, uh, Futile Labs, uh, and they're like maybe, you know, Chinese equivalent, um, but obviously they, they need to get you know, they need to pay the English actors to be able to, you know, speak the English lines. So that takes a while longer. I'm certain. So that's understandable. Hmm, I guess. Not sure. Because I don't put it in Japanese. I don't know if it, I mean, Chinese. In, I don't know if it's in Chinese is voice acted either. 
I uh, yeah, d true. I mean, it might not be, you know, but it would it would uh, I would figure that they would be able to. Um, I mean, if if they have like the voice actors like already in house, for example, I wouldn't be too surprised if they were able to, like, call up the voice actors like right then and there, you know, uh, while they were working on said quest to be able to voice line, you know, uh, voice act these particular lines right then and there. Obviously, it would take them a little bit more time to try to contact like the English voice actors that they had to try to do these lines, give them the scripts and stuff like that, you know. So I would imagine that yeah, that's the biggest issue would be translation. It's always trans translating Chinese is always a nightmare. Yeah. So. Mister Traveler, Miss Miss Paimon, hello. I'm Little Mao, a friend of. A friend of mountains. A friend of mountains. Like, good. Like, yeah. Everyone's like, wait, what? A friend <laughs> of mountains? <laughs> How do you become a friend of a mountain? I don't know. Yeah, that's what my name means. Oh, so her name means mountains. Can can be a bit hard to pronounce. <laughs> so I as little Mao. She just call me that, and I'm gonna call you that as well, Mountain. Sounds good. It's a lot easier to pronounce her actual name. <laughs> really? Quite an interesting pair. How did you two meet? It was quite fortuitous. fortuitous. Last year I went to the mountains in the south uh, for a for a spell and got lost in the fog. A huge beast the size of a uh, all I cannot pronounce this. Like... In, in, <laughs> Luis. Luis. Could be like really to French words since Fontaine is French inspired. Mm -hmm. Feels like that. Yeah. And I don't know anything French. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, again, I could be pronouncing it really badly myself, so... Yeah. Was glaring at, <clears throat> at me, and I thought I was done for. But just then, a little kid suddenly sh uh, shouted at me. I followed the sound through the mist and got out, and was saved. Otherwise, I would have been eaten, just like that. And my family in Fontaine would have wouldn't even have been able to claim possession on my account. Oof. <laughs> okay. Hey, I know more about that. I know more about what goes on mountain than the grown-ups. And uh, why would that be? Is that so? You're amazing, little Mal. I mean, if the uh, little boy spends most of its time up there in the mountains, I mean, yeah. <laughs> So, yes, uh, Mountain Grandpa Lou and Chifu are looking for you. We're, on, we're here about the tea cauldron in Xiaoyin Village. I'm gonna pick the second yes. option personally, but well, yeah, that's why they're looking for him. So, I guess both of them would have the same outcome, I guess. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, either one that you pick, they're always going to pick, like, the. they're always going to have the same voice line, or the same... Dialogue. They, they don't change the dialogue based off of what you pick, or at least based off of what I've seen, anyway. So yeah, like, some dialogue, like, some options may have a different reaction at first, but they will always get back in track with the main dialogue. Yeah. Uh... Alright, got it. I'll be there in a, in a jiffy. Oh, the shows here are just too good. I ended up watching several. Uh, one right after the other. And now my legs have fallen asleep. But I just can't understand a word. What sort of stories are they telling? I mean, good question. <laughs> For <laughs> opera, it's like... <laughs> You got me. <laughs> well, I guess it depends on the show. Yeah. 
Well, had, I mean, had what? gone to op an opera show once before, mm -hmm. invited a, by a friend many years ago. Yeah, it was quite enjoyable. Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, when you when you think about it, obviously, you know, uh, older operas, you know, they were they were you know typically done like in French. They were typically done in like uh, Latin, Italian. I mean, so I mean, if you understood, you know, the the base language, then obviously it wouldn't be that difficult. But you know, it, you know, if you if <laughs> there's really no like, you know, no real good translation. Uh, plus, if you even if if you were even to try to translate the opera, a lot of people would probably be upset with you because they're like, you know, you're ruining the original take of it or you know whatnot, right? So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, you know, I, like if I was to go to an opera, you know, that was like done in France or Italy or something like that, obviously I'd be like, what are they saying? I have no idea. Um, but, um, uh, obviously, yeah. Yeah. you know, there's definitely meaning behind it all. So, yeah, it always depends on what show you're watching. Yeah. Like the only, I've only seen two. The one I mentioned that was years ago. Mm -hmm. was, I can't exactly remember what it was. It was just way too long ago. Mm -hmm. The second one was actually more recent when I went to uh, on vacation to Cordova. Mm -hmm. they, 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 in a small like improvised theater mm -hmm. from two big comedians, they decided to bring a comedy show over there and were in, inviting well, tourist groups to to see it. Gotcha. I actually ended up laughing my ass off on that one. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. Yeah. Okay. It's about how way back when a huge carp and a monster from the mountains fought. And you kill me, I kill you. Story. Hey. In the, <laughs> in the end, everyone dies. <laughs> what kind of show was this? What? I mean, sometimes that happens, you know. <laughs> I guess I that could explain why she was confused. Well, I mean, if you don't understand the language, it's you know. You know, you're you're basically watching, uh, you know, uh, someone singing. Which, again, you know, if you know the language, great. If you don't, then well, you're, you know, you're pretty much out of luck. Um, and, you know, the the fact that they were watching, you know, uh, you know, basically, you know, uh, fighting on stage, you know, with a person flipping 88 times, it's <laughs> like, you know, it's not too much of a surprise, you know. <laughs> Yeah, that's a kid that saw. Uh, he's he's probably he's probably seen it multiple times, so he kind of knows like how many times you need to flip. <laughs> <laughs> so. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Yes. Uh, that's a pretty uh, concise summary, but don't talk about killing and dying. So much, little Mao. If you think about that kind of stuff too often, you might become the villain when you grow up. Um. Uh. Okay, that's. Um. That's a little odd, but. Sure. I guess it's reflecting how media portrays many things, like movies, uh, games, like always blaming on the on that stuff when somebody does something bad. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the talk, and you know, uh, talking about killing and dying doesn't change your your you know overall mentality and stuff like that. I mean, just look at like detectives or something like that. It's like you know, <laughs> yeah. detectives talk about killing and dying all the time, and you know, hey, they're a force for good. So it's like you know, yeah, this this uh, uh, whatever. Moving on. Yeah, since. Those in Xiaoyin village are waiting on me. It's time to go. See you all later. 
Um, are we gonna I be going with her? I thought show here again when you're about to head back to Fontaine. <laughs> <laughs> she's, not, she's never going back to Fontaine then. <laughs> Pretty much. And off she goes. Um, aren't yep. we going to go with her? <laughs> I mean, we were supposed to tell her to go see it. That they didn't, they didn't exactly say that we were going to be involved in the repairs. Yeah. Plus, we still need to do what the Adept has asked us to do. True. But, okay, now hmm. that we've solved the puzzle, we can get back to business. Little Mal, how about you? Um... Okay. What are you two going to do? Uh, to be honest, we're not quite sure how to explain it. The waters and soil in Qingyu Vale uh, are kind of out of whack, and we we need to cure them for for everything in Qingyu Vale to get better. I get it. Miss Spimer's trying to say that we need to restore nature. Uh, yeah, in some way, yes. Hey, that's right. You're really amazing, little Mal. You got it right away. Restoring nature, you say. Did someone talk to you about that? That's right. A friend who always uh, talk, taking care of me told me. She wants to restore nature, too. If we restore nature, everything will get better. Uh, so I want to help, too. She also told me to help you. Um, she, she also told... I guess to talk to her, to, the, to Little Mal. Maybe. She also told me about you, too. That's what... So. Yeah, that's what... That's like the dead giveaway, I guess. So you've seen her, too. So you've seen her, too. Hmm, you mean my friend? Of course. Uh, silly Paimon, how could we be friends if we, if I'd never seen her? Good point. Indeed. Fair point. That makes things easier, actually. We want to... Paimon remembers we need to find the jade treasure in the water and then do some rain jade right. But even though we've come upstream, we still haven't found any clues. Ah, I know. Come with me. I'll show you where to look. What? Is it really that easy? Little Mao, your friend wants to restore nature, right? Yeah, she told me a lot. Such a story from before Xiaoying Village became Xiaoying... Okay. Such as stories from before Xiaoying Village became Xiaoying Village, basically meaning that you know they're, you know, talking about how you know what was before the village ever being there. So. Mm, I guess that seeing it twice so quickly, I kind of took uh, my brain was like, wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's it might seem a little odd, but it's just basically saying like, hey, um, you know, she's she's she was basically talking about the land before the village ever came into being there. So that's that's basically what that's kind of referencing. So yeah. how the tea trees came to be and more. She said that things will get worse and worse in Chinyu Vale if the nature or the natural order isn't restored. Oh, looks like we're on the same page then. I wonder oh, who no, I wonder who the friend is. <laughs> you knew where we could find leads, right? Yeah, I don't know if it'll help, but when you mentioned Jade Treasure and Rain Jade and stuff, I just thought I just thought of it. Come with me. Yep, let's go. Okay. And he's disappeared. Yep. Um. Okay, <laughs> Investigate real quick. Get some more tea. 
okay, a lot of vegetables. Oh, don't mind me, just taking your vegetables for to make myself a meal. And maybe cook Paimon later. So I'm going down there. Okay. I Time. see a chest running between the two wheels. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Yeah, it's oh, and there's an elevator here. And it I'm, I'm, me. I'm just floating on down. Oh, slow down. Yeah, I'm having a quick look around just in case. Where are they? Okay, I'm riding down the <laughs> elevator roof. Just in case there's like loot and stuff. Yeah. Actually, I think I marked this area. Although, I think it's above the waterfall that I kind of marked on. So. Probably, I think there was something up there I didn't mark it myself. Yeah. I've gone into the spot, so I'll wait till you're ready to enter the waterfall. Yeah, I'm just turning to a fish and flying around. Okay. Okay, I'm here. Okay. I see something I need to break. Can I even stand here? There we go. Pay more time. Um, okay. Try entering the waterfall. I tried entering the waterfall. It's not letting me enter the waterfall. So, I guess I head back? Nope. There's a br Did you see some breakable rocks? Oh, there it is, yep. Yeah. yeah, break that. Just in case, and you give me your tail. Oh, okay. okay I... I saw this earlier, and I was like, "Going okay, you know, uh, I'll I'll mark it for later because it looked, you know, kind of interesting." But you know, with the, uh, you know, then they covered it up with rocks and stuff like that. I actually saw that platform earlier when walking to the uh, uh, the wharf. So I was like, going, huh, okay, that looks interesting. I'll have to check that out a little bit later. And uh, lo and behold, it's part of a quest. <laughs> okay, there's happening down there. We'll just have a look at the can before I interact with that thing down there. Okay, and I'm on a cutscene. Some wild huge beast left them behind. I'm just kind of following the kid. I don't know where you. The kid stopped uh, at one point and just ended up running up the road. Okay. Grab the chest on the way. Yeah, same. Oh, and a <clears throat> My friend will protect me. Okay. Um, and there we go, cutscene. This is it. It's the clue I wanted to show you bef before, right here. I don't see anything. <laughs> Why don't have that? Is this? It's so. Covered in moss that Paimon can't make heads or tails of it. <clears throat> eh? There wasn't any moss uh, the last time I came here. Mm. No, no need to worry, little mouth. It's so humid here that it's no wonder there's moss growing everywhere. Hmm. There must be a way to clear it away. Clear the mural. Okay. okay. And there we go. All nice and clean. Cutscene.
pretty much automatic cutscene. <laughs> yeah. Look, Traveler, look. It's a scene of ancient people attending a festival and performing a ritual. Pretty different from the festivals we have today, huh? Although the grown-ups in the city and the village all say that the Lord of Geo was the first to arrive in Tinyu Vale, I've heard that the people in the picture actually got here even earlier than he did. Hmm, okay. People back then used to throw bits of magic jade into the river, and they'd float along until they sank to the bottom. They saw it as a way to guarantee good weather, prevent the rivers from flooding, and ensure that the soil would be fertile. Mm, okay. Based on what we previously discussed, I'm guessing that Genu Vale will only be fixed after we found some jade and was thrown into the river in, in, in ancient times. T that makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know yeah. about... I don't know about that because I mean, if the jade is kind of flowing down river and stuff like that, you would think that you know, um, that wouldn't necessarily you know affect like you know like the the mineral itself wouldn't necessarily affect like the the waters up you know at the um, you know up river. So you know, I don't know. <laughs> Seems kind of know. seems kind of odd, but at the same time, if there's something at the, you know, at the bottom where the jade was being collected, if there's something down there that was like going, hmm, okay, you know, I I love the jades that are coming down here. Why did it stop? Hmm, you know, if that was some form of like AKA monster that you know didn't really, you know, that's kind of unhappy that the jade stopped flowing, then. Maybe that might be the reason? Maybe. Wow, you're so knowledgeable. Was your friend also the one who told you these stories? You rule little Mel, that's first class guide material right here. These selections are fascinating. I guess I'll go with the second one in this case. Hmm, I, w I wonder what yours is gonna say. Yep, and everyone, uh, everyone will be really blessed and live happy ever after, and all that. Hey, hey, but I much prefer hearing her stories about ancient wars and battles. She told me that the warriors back then were all giants who were over 10 feet tall. Hmm. Okay, what the hell were they fighting? <laughs> A warrior of Chen Yu Vale were covered in tattoos and they had these massive jade axes that would chop a person in half in a blink of an eye. I'm surprised you're not having nightmares with these stories you're being told, kid. I mean, and I mean, he's a little young for something like that. Well, I mean, you know, being told about it doesn't necessarily show you like the horrors of it. You know, like you're. Like the person isn't going like, yeah, their their intestines are flying all about, you know, and yeah, you know, their their heart is still beating, the blood is, you know, soaking everywhere, you know. If they're just saying, like, uh, yeah, they they cut you in half, it's that doesn't necessarily convey too much like gore of battle in that kind of case. Like, you know, like I would remember like reading, you know. Um, you know, old books of mine kind of a thing where it's like going, yeah, you know, here's all these battles that are happening kind of a thing and, you know, that never like yeah, you know, I was never like one of those where it's like, oh my god, I hate the, you know, 
war oh my god it's so terrible um it it's not until you like actually see it like if you like watch you know like you know movies for example like uh, uh saving private ryan if you've seen that movie yeah, you know, know. The, the first 30 minutes of it you know shows you the the horrors of war right you know it yeah. really showed you the horror of war in that one like if if that was shown to little mal then yes i would totally agree with you on that one but i've seen more graphical war movies true Don't worry true. <laughs> it was nothing compared to the things i've seen all right noted but... that you know Argentina, we didn't censor anything yeah we so... just translated it and put it out there yeah but um you know just just telling a kid about like you know these kind of stories you know they especially you know uh you know some some kids might be like oh this is fantastic i love this i want to be a warrior just like that you know kind of thing so it might have the exact opposite effect right so so yeah Moving on. Yep, just making my fan less squeaky right now. Sounds yeah. good. And the mill is led by none other than the Lord of Chio himself, were even tougher. They clad themselves in suit of armor that weigh over a thousand pounds and fought with hundred pound spears. Apparently, everyone was at war back then, so much so that, uh, by... Bishu. I would say Bishu. Bishu? Yeah. Bishu River turned crimson red. Later on, the mountain to the south became full of ghosts from that era. Even now, those who wander through the mountains might still be able to catch their sightings on the wind. Singing. They're singing of it, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's scary stuff. Cover your ears, mini pie. <laughs> I don't think these stories are meant for kids. <laughs> hmm. I'll just make fun of Paimon in this case. Yeah, same. <laughs> Who's mini pie? Mountain's right, though. If you uh, constantly think about this stuff, you'll turn into a villain when you grow when you're older. Mm, and my no. friends are going to be very squeaky right now. <laughs> you want me to continue, or? No worries. Okay, that might be a temporary fix right there. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way grown-ups would tell us these stories. They always say we're too young to hear them. That... that... they'll... Turn us rotten and stuff like that. But I'm old enough already. Hearing a story not uh, go not going to turn me into a monster. Besides, there aren't many adults still around who know these stories anyway. If my friend hadn't told me, I wouldn't even have known the stories about this pic the stories about this picture. Okay, fine then. Guess we'll move on. So, the grown-ups were right to say that those ancient people threw the jades into the river for, from somewhere high up. But where exactly? And where did all the jade float off to? Uh, well, it must have sunk to the bottom, right? It's not that simple. If it was thrown in in somewhere up river, and even if it sank to the bottom, it would still be pushed down river by the current. 
let alone after so many years. Hmm, maybe. And kind of convenient showing a turtle with some shiny shape looking thing on its back. Mm hmm. Besides, I've never heard talk of any ancient ritual jade being found upriver. Chen Yu Vale is a small place, after all, and uh, if there had been such rumors, everyone would already know about them, and the Church of Horrors would have invaded a long time ago. Oh wait, I think I noticed like a little um, pressure plate next to that turtle. Yeah, I saw it too. Okay. I said before coming up here. Ah, uh, gotcha. <laughs> you know so much. You're a future scholar of material for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but that's if I don't want. But what if I don't want you to be a scholar? They don't earn much more, and it sounds like no fun. Then become a traveler, just like us. What could be more fun than adventuring around the world? Hmm, seeing as we now know the, s the side of the range eight right, what should we do next? We don't we go somewhere high up and take a look? Let's observe how the river flows. Hmm. Kind of picking the second one myself, but up to you. Yeah, I guess the second one would make sense because they are turning the jades into the river. We might be able to follow it where it drops off, maybe. Yeah. If we want to see how the river flows, maybe it would be a good idea to try the tall watchtower over a Yilong raft. Wharf. Wharf. No, just wharf, not wharfed. It's just wharf. Wharf. Rough. <laughs> <laughs> You're a clever one, Miss Paimon. Eh, <laughs> of course. Okay, let's head out. I want you to take another look around. I'll say I want you to take another look around. So I can go interact with that thing. Yeah. Okay, let me know when you're ready. So, we, we just have to talk to him to, uh... Gotta move on. Get move to the next area. Okay, there's yeah, there's the turtle, and let's see. I think this might require the uh, geo traveler. Hmm. Well, this about nothing happened. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything happening either on that. Maybe I can move. Oh, there's a second one behind the turtle. Oh, there is. Yep. Okay. And I definitely need a Geo Traveler, and I have Dendro Traveler, so I'll have to come back here some other time. Let me mark it real quick. Yep, I I have the Electro Traveler right now. God damn it. <laughs> oh, Electro is so oh, disappointing. Yeah. I tried them out, and then I never used them again. Yeah. I just went back to Geo and stayed Geo. Now I'm Dendro now, and I do actually kind of like it. Ooh, oh, a little bit of lag. What's going on there? Let's see. Anything back here? No. Don't see anything that would be breakable. Okay, I see a Geo Fairy. Grab that. Don't. Yeah, I don't really see much else here. Yeah, I'm gonna just talk to the kid. Yeah. Shall we go? Ah, yeah. All right then. Ah, yeah, you little guy. Warp. Mm, and of course, we're already weather. up here. Why don't we do a bit of sunny work? Oh, what sort of work is that, you ask? Let me know when you are uh, you there. The oh, you're already in the cutscene. Yeah, it took me right in front of where I needed to go, so... Yeah, same, but... Yeah, for some reason it loaded quite fast. Yeah. 
they did load quite fast, which is interesting. <laughs> but then again, we're kind of like in the area, so like if we've already like we're in the wharf, then it probably like loaded in all the assets. If we weren't like if well, hmm. even if we weren't in the area, you know, we'd still have to have like talked with a kid, been in that area already to kind of yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Look, from up here, you can clearly see how the the water moves faster through these na through these narrows, then slow down again as the as the river widens out. The jade must have stopped there. We should find what we're looking for there. I mean, we're yeah, I get, I you that's know. Where the river drops off and everything slows down then the weight would just do its job and drop it all the way down until it gets stuck somewhere yeah but at the same time the river is still flowing so the the current will still kind of try to push the jade along just obviously not as fast it depends on its so, weight so if yeah. it's too heavy it'll get stuck somewhere if it's too heavy yeah one more thing I don't know exactly how heavy jade exactly is. No, oh, I mean it's it's a rock. It would it would definitely. I mean, most most rocks like go right through. You know, are are heavier than water typically. But yeah, typically, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Wow, you're such a real whiskey <laughs> kid. Kind of lost my voice there. I must have been wondering though. What's that massive thing in, in the distance? <clears throat> wow, that really is big. How the hell did he get that there? <laughs> that huge thing is uh, the Jade Mouse. A legendary Jade Ring that an Adeptus threw into the water. How big was this guy? I mean, they're technically gods, so I mean, you know, so, you know, so yeah. Yeah, although the, all the adeptus we've seen are like human size. How big was this when you throw such a big ring? Well, I mean, bear in mind that they're probably picking those sizes for us kind of thing. Like, you know, uh, like one picks a, uh, uh, one picks a crane just to show the fact that hey you know i don't want to be super you know imposing or something along those lines but i mean if if you're a god and okay you know you remember the scene with the jade chamber and stuff like that you know where we were facing off against that one ancient monster that was kind of rising out of the water <laughs> it's like yeah that was huge so you know if the adeptus could get to that size Potentially, yeah. then yeah. this then this makes again, sense. Also I also remember now, Shadowhead picked up a giant stone for the Jade Palace. Indeed. On her own. Mm-hmm. And she's technically a human raised by an Adeptus, not an Adeptus. <laughs> yeah. I bet the river curves around there, so the current should actually speed up. But the river gradually gets wider there. Yeah, so the rapid flow around the bend might have resulted in the in things being this deposited uh, deposited along the convex bank where it where it widens. So there's actually a good chance that the jade is at the bottom of the river so, uh, somewhere around jade mouth of course that's assuming that the course of the river hasn't been artificially altered i mean it does change over time but yeah but and also humans trying to alter things for their benefits true if they want to water a tea field, they might need to alter it in a way that the river 
flows towards the tea field. Yeah, or just completely cut off water altogether by just making a dam and reducing down the amount of water flow that way, so. Yeah. I mean, technically speaking, we are kind of standing on a pseudo dam or something like that. Mm, I guess. I don't really... No, 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 not really. I mean, I see... You know, you... Uh, I see that the buildings are kind of built around the waterfall, but it's not technically a dam from what I can see. So, mm. because oh. the water water's kind of flowing over the top of it, so it's like that's not typically what dams do for the most well, part. They do need to get the uh, water flowing somehow. Like dams, what they do is like they use pipes to push water through the engines, so they can right. generate energy. Here, such they have to improvise by making water fall and push those things spinning there to do something. Right, but they're not to trigger mechanisms. So but... making the water flow over it would make sense, so they can control how much water flows to it. But the thing is, is that hey, you know, are the hey, you know, you're you're talking about like you know, did they actually create an artificial waterfall? I would figure no. They probably built the wheels there with the waterfall to work with it you know to kind of utilize utilize the water the natural waterfall but uh i that would be that it would be a little weird to try to build a dam uh to let the water kind of spill over the top of it because you'd never be able to like repair the the dam afterwards right you know, you would have to find some way to kind of get behind it or something like that to try to work with it. And that doesn't, that's obviously really dangerous. So, um, so it's better to just, you know, have the, have like the pipes and, you know, everything like, you know, kind of flowing out like the base of the dam and not necessarily, you know, the top of it. So, typically. Yeah, yeah do take the integration that there's people that here control the elements, so who knows? Yeah. Let's see. Mm, not to mention, there's a fisherman's legend that goes something like, Shades shall rise from sunken mouth, or something like that. Anyway, let's go over and take a look first. Compared to little Mal, Paimon feels like she's completely out of her depth. Um... I mean, aren't you <laughs> normally there, Paimon? Plus, I mean, we fish you out all the time, so... <laughs> yeah. And she's always asking if we fish another one out when we go fishing. Indeed. It's because my friend is amazing. She knows everything there is to know about the mountains. And she's taught me loads, too. That's how I've learned so much. Sorry, Bowman, <laughs> you just need better friends. <laughs> you are unfit for duty, Mini Pie. As the young master, I am most disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry too much about it, Paimon. I'm, I'm kind of inclined for the second one, personally. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> Tyler has the r rare f I, I, rarefied r rarefied mountains air, or miasma's gone to your head, or something. Or does the adeptal energy you use have side effects? You're behaving pretty strangely. <laughs> Hi, Deb, how you doing? Too bad I can't join you. Ah, don't worry about it. Whatever the case, let's go down and get on a bamboo raft. Oh yeah! Shade Mouse, uh... He Shade Mouse, here we come! Board the bamboo raft and go to Jade Mouth. Okay. I'm, I'm... I'm jumping off. I'm... Well, I was half inclined on saying, you know, maybe, uh, we, we can look around the... Uh, look around a little bit more, but okay. Uh, I will jump off as well then. Wee! Don't look around later, 
because I think I... Yeah, I've, I had already looked around myself up there for the chest. Yeah. I see some investigates down here. I don't see any chest in the boat. Unfortunately. Yep. Nor on the lift. Oh, but I do see a pile of rocks to break on the side. And it's just Mora. Oh, I don't want want to talk to you. I want to grab that stuff. Oh wait, you you sell stuff. What do you sell? Oh, recipes. Mm. Um, don't mind if I do. I I count one uh directly to the uh to the one guy. You were like, going, I'm just I'll explore later. I'll you know I'm going straight I, down I, there. I, and it's like, mm hmm, okay. I went down to grab the investigates. Yeah. And... Of course, the game prioritized dialogue over what I'm trying to loot. <laughs> okay, these ha some of these investigators have artifacts in them. They, some of them do, yeah. And there he is. Oh. With the bamboo wrap there. Okay, I cannot finish reading. Why don't you ever let me finish reading there, Paimon? Okay. Shall I sh shall I read then? Because it's Just like right ahead. there. Okay. Someone coming aboard? Wait, is that little Mal? Come, come. I'll take you. And that's it. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's quick dialogue. All right, J Mouth, it is. Oh. The other two, your tourists? Haha. <laughs> well, if you're here for sightseeing, there's not too many locals who head that way. Hey, you could say that, Mr. Broman. Are there any stories about the Jade Mount that I haven't heard before? Knowing you and how much you love your stories, kiddo, you must have heard them all by now. Tell me more! Tell me more! All right then. Well, I've heard it mentioned that the Jade Mount was left behind by Rex Lapis when he marched through here to save the people of Shannon Valley. Legend has it that prevented naval advance from downstream, the local Adepti. You're making it up as you go again, Gramps. There's no way that Louis' navy come, came up this river. I've heard that the jade mouth was formed by a piece of jade left behind by a giant carp. In those days, a betting guide tried to redirect the river to drown the Minolith station in both the banks of the Chainlink Valley, but a giant white snake and a giant carp who were her subordinates displayed her orders. Yeah! She threw the jades she wore here, the jades pinned the river down, and even since, we've had no more floods and everyone can live peacefully lives on both sides of the river. Went a little too quick there. Yeah, you might yeah, a understand a lot, kiddo, but you haven't seen much. Take a closer look. There aren't many crops uh, seed after uh, pinned down by the jades. It's true that the river hasn't flooded. But that's also meant it hasn't been able to provide irrigation for crops, so that was once a wide, generally flowing river. Eh, God damn it! Such a river leaves no sustenance for the earth on its banks, haha. And of course, that also means no people living peaceful lives on both sides. On both its sides, Paimon gets it now. But did you just say that the Depti were resisting the Lord of Geo, Lil Mal? That's how it was all that time ago. Some people believe that the first Lord of All Liwe was Rex Lapis, Burnisher. Shimon Valley, that we believe that before he came, there was other gods in Adepti who protected our ancestors. I've heard Grandpa Lou say that the tea ceremony is actually the, for the Carp Adeptus who planted our first tea leaves. Oh, but aren't these Adepti meant to be the baddies? And they were serving under a baddie god, after all. In some stories, they're the baddies, while in others, they're the goodies, but in was such a long, long time ago, even the grown-ups don't remember much, so they always remember, they always try to bluff me. <laughs> Talking about that friend of yours again. How can such a supernatural beings be held by our simple codes of right and wrong? As far as we're concerned, all the forces that have ever blessed and protected this land deserve our offerings. <coughs> and there you go again. Aha. All right then, time to get off. We're here. Thanks, Gramps. As the river, we're here. This is the Jade Mouth. 
uh, there was a little bit of uh, information there that skipped. Such a huge chunk of jade, even the other pieces around it are massive. Whoever was that threw it down, that depth is... Ah! He, he adepti come in all shapes and sizes. They could be as tall as the clouds or some small enough to hide them as pool and leaf. Hmm. Is that why I wish this stuff was voice acted? Yeah. They're going way too fast. It yep. cannot be finished. Yep. Yep, just a little too much. Okay. Teleport waypoint. Unlocked. And it's up here. No, up there. That yeah. hill. Yep. That was the wrong hill. Talk to little Mao. Oop. Okay. Cutscene. Hopefully it's not auto. Hopefully not. You want to read it or shall I? I'm, assu uh, I'm assuming because we were technically floating down the river, that's why they put it in auto. But that's kind of irritating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if they're going to make the auto scrolling dialogue, then at least have it voice actor or something. Yeah. yeah I'm pretty sure I would have not been able to finish like half of that. Yeah. That's that's why I kind of stepped in, you know, the way the way it was. But even then, I couldn't even read all of it. So, or you know, say it out loud. So, I might have been able yeah. to I might have been able to read it if I wasn't like speaking out the lines. But that wouldn't have been very helpful for you <laughs> or anybody else. I was kind of, you know, maybe they were trying to listen, uh, listen, you know, to say, you know, hear what we were saying, but still it's like ugh. okay yeah. so it's not it's not auto so you know okay so pick up again well here's the jade mouth but how are we gonna find all that jade underwater uh so that's how it is little spirit little spring cries ripple through the veil the shrine departs from northeast shore. The heights and shallow in the southwest hide sun and earth from each other div each other divide. The elemental whirlpool that the, never churns. It's eternal. The, the eternal whirlpool that never churns. Yes, the eternal yeah, the eternal whirlpool. Uh, the beautiful jade concealed within. What's that little mouse singing about? Oh, he was singing? I guess. I he was like reciting some kind of poem or something. Yeah, and, and, and you know, they didn't put like little like notes or something like that saying like, hey, he's actually singing this. You know, normally you see those, you know, sometimes they have like little notes saying like, hey, you know, oh, la, 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 you know, kind of thing, but yeah. Didn't see that, so. It. Yeah. It sounds pretty complicated. It definitely <laughs> sounded complicated. It's one of our local folk songs. I heard an old granny singing it as she was gathering herbs. It means if you look out for the center of the river to the banks on either side you'll see two stone sh uh, shrines hidden to the north east and southwest uh, these shrines keep the mighty whirlpool in the center suppressed Paimon understood that last bit so the jade in is all hidden beneath the whirlpool. Probably. Yep. Sounds like we're going treasure hunting. Hooray! <laughs> oh boy. Uh, kid, uh, you're you're denied. Sorry. <laughs> but the area between the north, east, and southwest is so huge. After all, after all, in a Broad sense, the northeast and southwest of Jade Mouth can include pretty much the whole world. 
Wait, what? Uh, how? You're always thinking outside the box, Miss Paimon, but there's no need to worry. I already have an idea where the shrines will will be because well my friend told me. Come on, let's roll. Uh, okay, so so, so 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 Paimon was basically saying, "Hey, we don't know exactly where the shrines are. They could be, you know, they could be anywhere in the world, you know." And it's like, okay, that I can understand. So it was it was yeah. a little confusing there. So yeah, so I have a question. Uh, question: Does anyone else think a giant? Uh, Mail storm suddenly appearing here might not be too great. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, won't that mean that boats will no longer be able to sail in in and out of the Yilong Wharf? Oh, don't worry about that. My friend told me that once we've done what we need with what we need to be nice, the whirlpool will disappear completely. Otherwise, how would all the old boatmen carry on ma making a living? Mm. Wow, so it's not just a smart whirlpool, but a considerate one to, uh, to boot. Let's get going then. Um... At, wait, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, uh, whirlpools are neither considerate nor smart, so, huh? <laughs> um, also, I mean, um, if there's, has there been one there all this time? I would imagine that that would be a good place for the jade to kind of fall down into, you you know, it's a good way for like the jade to kind of just keep on flowing into the whirlpool, just kind of sucking the jades down into it. Um, and obviously, that typically leads to like you know underground caverns and stuff like that. You know, where I guess the water could flow to like a different area altogether, like maybe the chasm. Um, but you know, still, it's interesting. The Jade Conference scattered throughout the mountain. This is a technology contained within the Jade Conference to briefly light the center on the pass to the sacred veins. If you can light all this center, okay, similar to the previous one, but with a colder in this time. Oh, you're already at one of them already? Yeah, it's like one right <laughs> right on the top. Yeah. Okay, so we get it. There we go. Hmm. Just take all these pine cones. And, uh, what the energy I guess I'll use now? Well, I guess that settles it. Ooh, loot. And I guess I have to go to the other side. Oh, I see some loot. I need to mark that loot. It's like right up here. At least it looks like to be up there. Now, is there a quicker way over that doesn't involve maybe climbing this thing? Hmm. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. You can't solve the. Puzzle? 
I can tell you how to do it. Uh, I'll figure it out. Okay, I'm gonna figure out how to get to the other side the most efficient way as possible. Yes, clear on the other side of the river. I'm not gonna climb this thing. I'm just gonna look for a path on the other side. Look, something is falling. Guess I'll launch myself from here. Whee! Tired. Would you like some tea? I'll brew you some. Do you take sugar? One cube or two. Hello there, treasure hoarders. Okay, there it goes. Okay, more treasure hoarders. All in a day's work. It was just a matter of yeah, a lot of time needed to, or you know, I was taking too long in in that one puzzle, so. Now we got Sentence. two special treasure hoarders. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I need to get rid of these range guys. They're annoying. No, oh, never mind. They just respawn. There we go. Everyone's dead. As a good night, sure. More loot. Chase on its own. Where are you at? I'm finding the um, the uh, treasure hoarders right now, so give me a second. Yeah. What the? Uh, can I move? Thank you. Oh, there's more. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they spawn right to the fire. So you managed to figure out the puzzle. Yeah, on that first one, it was just it was just a little uh, a little rough because, um, you know, I didn't know that I didn't know that it was like you know fully like timed. So that's all. Like I was I was doing I was doing it. It was just took longer than you know. So that was all. Yeah. All I did was just grab one, go to the opposite corner to light up two at the same time. Then yeah. Grab it again, go to the other corner to light up the other two. Yeah. Oh my god, there's a third one? There's a third group? My god. If you see two health, big health bars on the top of the UI, then that's the final wave. Yeah. How's it going there, John Lee? Ugh. Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of the combat, so I'm having trying to stay a little focused on that right at this moment in time. So. What the? Get, 
down here, you bastard. What the? Even more? Okay. Okay. Nope. Okay, come on guys, what the fuck? As a dutiful trouble there. I was I was having a little difficulty moving all of a sudden. Or at least it feels as though like my movement kept on like stopping. I was like, okay, that was a little irritating. Someone's notes, bring Christ for the veils, sure. Uh, certain earth from each other divide, no turns, Okay. Uh, yeah, just run I have a I heard our comrades, I say, chicken and teas. Who knows how much longer we'll have to stick around here. Alright. Uh, yeah. Okay. Got the treasure. Now, apparently, we need to head back to that particular spot. Yep, I'm already there. Okay. Waiting with a dialogue. Just been trying not to cry because I can't hear because I'm the worst. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I have had bad luck. I tried to pull for a ride in Shogun and I did not get her at all. Yep, oh, same. I'm so pissed I didn't get it. Yep. Two pulls for myself and nothing. I did several pulls and no luck. Yep. That's why I'm like around 40p right now. All of that from that. All right, ready for you, there, my friend. Take okay. it away. Uh, we haven't seen the whirlpool from the song yet. What should we do next? How about giving a giving that adeptal energy of yours a try, traveler? Uh, try using your know. adeptal energy. Okay, so. Okay, where? Oh, there. I just needed to look up. And we have a whirlpool. Uh, is, uh, uh, apparently um, I messed up somewhere. Oh, there it is. How did you lose your account? Did you forget your password or something? Am I supposed to just fly in or swim in? Let me try flying in. I don't. Okay, no, it just sucked me in. No, 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 no! Don't kill this! No! <laughs> that was close. He just suddenly pulled me out of my wings! I do not like losing Nouvellet! <laughs> I mean, you probably should have used your Adeptal Energy a little bit because I'm floating down perfectly fine right at this moment. <laughs> so... Oh, there's loot down here. Yep. And there's a little bit. There's and there... this one's gonna buy a stone height and a very small all oh, crowns trapped. Ow! <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Why is there a stone height lava troll in such a small cave? Oh boy! And it locked me in. <laughs> Ow. 
Good thing the bullet ignores his shield. Let's give it a spring clean. Come on, Ubalet. You can if you can take on three thunder lavatures, you can take on just one lousy stone hide. Oh, could you stop bouncing? Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Whew. Okay, the thing the bullet is a badass. Oh, my phone disappeared on me. How did it disappear? Uh, at first I hear about someone's account disappearing. I don't know where you encountered that stone. Well, when I dropped, I looked behind me on a small cave where there was a chest. Mm hmm. Once I went in, it triggered a lava troll. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even see the. Uh, I didn't even see him. Uh, I didn't even see that cave. Oh well. So I'm I'm moved on. So. You know, when you're ready, I'm in the next cutscene, so. Oh, oh, another chest along the way as well. Yeah, I can't help it. I'm a dragon. I, I hoard things. I didn't even, I didn't even see the, uh, other, uh, other cave, so. I mean, I've collected, I collected all the little investigates and the common chest that was kind of on the way, but, yeah. You know, I missed the one that was behind, so. What do you mean you accidentally downloaded stuff? How do you accidentally download stuff? That would affect your Genshin account. I mean, he might have downloaded some things that they said, like, hey, this these are mods that can enhance your... Um, you know, enhance your game, or something like that. And, well, I mean, that might be pretty bad, so... Yeah, I don't see the need to mod this game at all. I mean, I can understand, like, maybe certain things a little bit. Uh, like, maybe having some UI adaptations kind of thing. Like, hey, uh, if I want to get, like, um... Well, maybe it... a quest tracker, maybe. Like, what they're going to add on Honkai in the next update. Yeah, or something. You know, there's there's always little quality of life that you can you know you, you can sometimes add to to the overall game. So I uh, use mods for skins. I see. Yeah, like aesthetic mods, I don't bother with those. Yeah, but the problem is, is that the the game company itself might not appreciate that, might not want those. Yeah. So. That's that's probably At least certain mods. Yeah, so that they're probably like, you know, hey, if we catch you with these mods, you're basically forfeiting your account. So. Yeah. Uh, Traveler and Paimon, we meet again, and who might this be? Ah, uh, you haven't met before. This is little Mal. He helped us so much along the way. Mm, no, we haven't met before, but you must be a good child, little Mao. Hello, and yes, that's me, miss. Are you an adeptus? You are... you are, aren't you? But if it wasn't her who told you the story, then who was it? I have a funny feeling that our little Mao is um, also being influenced by the... Uh, the other monster so i have a funny unless feeling the, unless that monster is the friend what do you mean we, uh, well i mean we, uh, monster is, pre is pretty much the related to the wolf of the north what if this kid actually knows something similar well i mean if 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 Fujin is, or if Little Mao is like an adepti, then Fujin herself would probably recognize that. You know, would be able to kind of recognize, like, hey, no, you're no little child. Um, so, um, 
But at the same time, I kind of wonder, is Fujin actually a good character? I mean, we just met her under a whirlpool. Yep, that's a good question. You know. Hello, and... Well, well let's find out. Oh, and yes, that's me. Um, miss, are you an Adeptus? Alright, okay. This is Adeptus Fujin. <laughs> Thanks for all the help you've given Traveler and Paimon, Little Mal. It's re it's really the legendary Fujin in the flesh. I can't believe this. I've heard so many stories about you, and now I know that you're not s some kind of big slippery carp, but a lady instead, like a big sister. <laughs> big Carp? Honestly, what kind of stories have you been listening to, little Mal? Probably. Well, there is that myth of the uh, face that swam up a, a waterfall to become a dragon. Indeed. In Chinese mythology, and Li Wei is based on China. Right. Yeah, strongly. What's up? <laughs> That's probably why a lot of Chinese get mad when they screw up with a Chinese New Year event. Hmm, yeah. There is a big fuss going on right now with one of their news during an announcement about their anniversary and a Chinese <laughs> New Year event. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I was kind of discussing it earlier about how a lot of people are in the Genshin Impact uh, community is upset with the company because it's like, hey, you give a five star in Honkai Star Rail, but you don't give a five star in Genshin Impact. What the fuck? So. Yeah, not to mention that uh, Honkai on their next update for a similar event, they're gonna keep two temples technically, but here they only give you three wishes, three simple wishes, just three. Well, I mean, if Honkai can give us two temples. Why not Genshin? Yeah. Um. I mean, that's that's a good point. Um. And Genshin's been around longer and made a lot more money. Like three mm -hmm. free temples isn't gonna hurt them at all. Um. Or at least give us one free temple for the limited banner. Um... I mean, if Honkai can, because Honkai is, they're going to straight up give 10 right off the bat for you to do a free temple, and the other 10 on the course of 7 days. Yeah. If they can do it, so can Genshin. Uh, hey Jim, I'm featuring myself disappear, my stuff disappears, like my snakes both disappear, probably ate one of them. I, to be honest... John, I have no idea what you're talking about right at this moment in time. That's so sorry, I'm I'm kind of confused by what you're trying to say there. So I don't have Deha, so I don't know what she's like. So if C six Deha is good, then I'll probably try and get it. Tender banners really is the best when you can't get Doming. I guess if she's part of the standard banner, and if mm -hmm. you're lucky enough. Yeah. I've did the standard banner a few times. I think all I got was Diona and the five star weapon. Yeah. Um I don't know if I've gotten any five stars through the standard banner before. Or did I get it through I got a weapon. Yeah, no, I'm 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 just trying to remember if I ever gotten any like five stars whatsoever through through the standard banner. You know, not not the uh like the character banner. But just, no, no, no. But, That's why I got the five star weapon from the standard banner. Um, the, standard, the standard banner has both characters and five star weapons. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you not remember Disappear? I mean, if you are Disappear there, John Lane, then okay. I mean, <laughs> it's. <laughs> if that's you, then you you have so many profiles. You're 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 confusing the hell out of me, there, dude. <laughs> you know, if if that is you, disappear. Then, just, how many profiles do you have? 
Yeah. You know. And I'm going to keep reading. Yeah, go ahead. Ahem. One is indeed an adeptus, and as such can take uh, forms as one pleases. This particular form seems like the most approachable one for conversing with, with humans. You're crying because yeah. you are, huh? Okay. Um... Wait, did I do I see almost thirteen? Oh my gosh! <laughs> you know, thirteen thirteen profiles must be a nightmare to try to remember all the different passwords, all the different profiles. <sighs> I mean, uh, to have that on YouTube itself, it's like uh, that's that's quite a bit, my friend. That's quite a bit, but yeah. Hmm. From what you've said, you have a very unique scent, little Mal. Have you met someone in the mountains before? Someone with red eyes and a fair complexion, perhaps? Um, not exactly. Bexus Fujin, you're not talking about one of your other friends, are you? My friends from the mountain doesn't uh, sparkle like you do, but she's also really cool. She's helped me a ton and, ta and taught me loads. So it was her after all. Mm. So, so your friend wasn't Adeptus Fujin after all, huh? I mean, uh, Paimon. Pi <laughs> Oh my god, Paimon. What are you... Uh, they just said it out loud there, Paimon. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is not as annoying as March 7th. Uh, yeah, god, but... The but, last quest I did with her. I just wanted to put a duct tape on her mouth, tie her up, and throw her into a room and throw the key. <laughs> but, I mean, it's like... It's like... You're... you're Paimon. It is just said, like, right now, what the heck? Are you not listening whatsoever? <laughs> <sighs> okay, moving on. But Bexus Fujin's my, my friend too now, isn't she? Of course, little Mal. I am delighted to have made friends with you. Way to go, little Mal. You now met two Adepti. Little Mal met other Adepti? Mm, what option? I'm I'm picking the second one. So. Yeah, I'll go with the second one as well. Uh, Jim, I need to make breakfast, but I'm lazy and I don't want want it because I'm still tired and I'm afraid of dropping something and it breaks. Uh, understandable there, John. Um, but I mean, well, I mean, I guess what I would recommend is like maybe getting yourself like something to drink first, you know. Uh, get yourself kind of woken up that way, and then try to make breakfast. But obviously, don't skip breakfast, or at least try not to. Yeah. 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 As for whether a little mouse friend counts as an adeptus or not, I'm not quite sure myself. After all, adeptus is merely a title, and it's hard to say whether adepti are even people. The word adeptus is just like any other word, such as hero, villain, or idiot. <laughs> uh, interesting choice of word. Mm. No one is born as adeptus, and no one shall remain an adeptus forever. That's true, so you've met that friend, uh, little Mal, that we were talking about, right? Indeed, but it's it's been a long, long time since last I saw her. So now, I suspect that I don't know her half as well as little Mal does. I'm not even sure if it still counts as her friend. I'm not so sure if I, if I still count as her friend. Yeah, I misread it. No worries. According to what little Mal said... His friend wants to restore nature. His friend wants 
Crystal Nature 2. I'll go with the first option. Yeah. I would imagine so. Anyway, I must ask you all to please ta take this piece of... Uh, Boltive. Boltive J Rain Jade. I had originally hoped it might remain here uh, the same as it ever was, but I never expected to grow quite so large. I used to love it so. Wait, what Ted. do you mean grow? You mean this thing was smaller? <laughs> um, this is a rock. How does a rock grow? I mean, if you keep on like adding rocks to it over time, then it'll eventually grow. But I mean, looking at what she's kind of looking at right now, it's like, how does that grow? <laughs> yeah, seriously, how does it grow? This rain jade that you just mentioned, did it rain down or make it rain or something? <laughs> <laughs> of course not. After the great changes in our geology, or... Yeah, that pause right there. Mm -hmm. Or then pause, that doesn't feel right. Mm. The ancestors of the people of Chenyu... A veil lost their ability to communicate with the heavens and lost the guidance of emissaries whose beauty was pure as moonlight. Henceforth, they began to take jade, which glow glowed as gently as the light of the moon, and cast it into the river. As they did this, they would pray for good omens, for fertile land, for clement weather, and for their riverbanks to hold strong. Over time, this ritual grew in power until one day... One day... She doesn't remember, doesn't she? Bixi Sushi, what happened next? One day, the long war to become the gods who would reign over the, this world began. Afterwards, this tradition lost all of its meaning, but though it was forgotten, its name still passed down over generations. There's a bit of trauma there if she's pausing whenever she talks about it. Mm -hmm. To cut a long story short, this piece of uh, votif jade rain became uh, before us was the very last one ever to be thrown. You kind of switch it around. Vault of rain jade, not vault of jane rain. <laughs> yeah, but, whoops. <laughs> Just as the part above the surface, when when commanded by an adeptal art, uh, can be made large enough to stop a flood, its core, too, has been swollen by uncontrollable adeptal energy. Much of it, much of its power has. Uh, dissipated into the surrounding area through the spirit veins. This power may also have affected the nearby flora and fauna, attracting and even making aberrations of them. You must be careful. Uh, what? As far as I can tell, the adeptal energy that has dissipated nearby should be sufficient to reawaken the hibernation vault of rain jade. If this is the case, we're, once, we're one step closer to achieving our goal 
uh, of nourishing the water and soil back to health. Ahem, how should I say this? Traveler and Paimon, thank you both. You're doing an amazing, uh, an amazing thing by choosing to help me. You know, uh, you know, and little Mao will, will you help me too? Will you help out your big sister? Of course, I want to restore nature too. Is that so? Well, that's good. You're very smart, little Mao. You, you'll understand everything later. As you die. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, <never mind. laughs> Really, just foreshadowing something. Nah, I'm, I'm really feeling a, a pretty nasty foreshadow, but you know. Yeah, so, so there's a dark foreshadowing here. All right, then let us go our separate ways for now. Once you've retrieved the adeptal energy fill, filled, uh, votive rain jade, we'll meet again by the deep. Pools shrouded in cloud and mist to the south. The south, got it. Eh, she's gone and disappeared again. <laughs> ah well, let's just do what Big Sis Fuji said and restore the Volt of Rain Jade's power. It's and <laughs> he said he said it wrong. It's restore this voting Rain Jade's power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm it wrong. Speaking of which, what's that got to do with voting? <laughs> see, see, you're not that much brighter than Paimon. <laughs> That's votive. Not, it's votive. All right. It's so complicated. Indeed. Though, since you mention it, what does votive even mean? And why is it called rain jade again? Exactly, what does it mean? <laughs> Something tells me she's not the good guy here. I'm, I'm kind of getting a little bit of that impression as well, but, you know, I don't, I don't know, so... Um, am I, am I not supposed to collect this? Okay, well, apparently we're supposed to collect the, uh, the energy around here. Although... Hey, how are there helitrolls down here? Hold on, apparently I missed the, uh, the portal that's, that was up here. So I'm gonna head back up here and take care of that. Okay. Uh, okay. There you go. From something big to several big things. What's up? Oh, I'm just triggering what I need to do. Okay. Leave it all to me. Okay. I'll catch up. I got a lot of artifacts from it. Wait, carry on. It's not anything back here. Bow your head. Mm, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay, that gave me a bunch of geo butterflies. And this is, uh, of course, a hydro slime. Interesting. Okay. Okay, time to vaporize this slime. There we go. Oh, no loot. Okay. Um, before I interact with that, let's have a quick look around. There we go. 
goes that thing. Yeah. We shall take care of these hillage or else they seem to be guarding something. Another strange phenomenon. I uh, lump of this. Uh, is, uh, can't, blah, blah, blah. can't read all that fast enough. Mm. Okay. Yeah, Let's... I just pretty much stopped bothering trying to read all that stuff. Yeah. And of course, we got the special hillage over here. So just go deeper. Right. And now there's. Ow! Things. Ow! You bastard! Oh Jesus! Okay, now that hurt. What are you facing? The uh, special um, hello troll right at this moment in time, but. Uh, when I would try to use new Let to attack them all, uh, apparently I didn't notice that there was some explosives around the area. So... Hmm. That, that was the first thing I noticed, so I just no blew him up instantly. Yeah. Oh. Brace at least for one medium chest. Seriously? Things don't fly out on this one. Let the mighty be humble. Don't see any more loot. Yes, I could become a fish. Cat, that guy's gone. So much area that you can kind of explore on this, and they're not really showing you where to go. Hmm. Okay. Fairy, where are you on? Oh, there's a second fairy. What the fuck? There's a third fairy. Yep. Um. Okay, guys. Um. See at least three of them. Yes. Ah, okay. So no they all went down. Let's see if there's anything up here though first before I go down. Hmm, don't really see anything in particular. What? Yeah. What's okay. Seven, four. Did I miss something? I wonder if I took care of that. Must have missed something. And there's 
There's those three, and uh, yeah, that's it. Is it what you wish to find? Yeah. The excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile Maybe experience. Maybe that way? Hmm. Okay, this is not here before. Oh, goody. God, I hate these guys. Oh my god. No, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm stuck by some water score. Oh. No, 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 go away, squirrels. <laughs> go chew on a tree or something. Yeah. No. Okay, I gotta yes. heal everyone. Oh, okay. I like when it automatically like deposits everything into your inventory, you know, without having to yeah. worry about you know trying to gather everything up. I wish they do they do that more often. Yeah. Oh wait, more squirrels. Electrocute your friend, will ya? I know, just melt. Oh, let's just vaporize these guys. Hmm. Okay. Hang on. Is there anything in here, maybe? Before I move on? No, no. Swing into that wall. We go. Okay, those slimes are gone. Don't really need to go back that way. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Move on. Let's see what's up here first. Oh. Okay. We came back to where we originally were. Interesting. Yep. Hey there, Lizzie. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. How's your day been? Okay. Then... I'm totally drenched. Ah, it's gone. Um, okay, what's over here? There we go. Finally. Aha! Hi there, squirrels. Leave it all to me. Okay, I'm taking care of. Any more loot before I move on? No. Okay. Hold on. one entirely. <laughs> oh, the way back. Okay. I'm going down another tunnel, huh? Okay. We're it's flowing down up. the river, apparently. Okay, hold on. Let's see if there's anything over here at all. Hmm, doesn't seem that way. Hmm, don't really see anything else in here. 
Okay. I guess we're moving on. Hello, Mr. Boar. Oh, some more, some more squirrels. Okay. Hi, guys. You mind if um, Clee takes you out a little bit? Okay. You guys are also being a little annoying to Clee, so time, time for some Noel. Okay, Klee's healed, so... Well, hopefully the, uh... There is not too many more, uh... Uh, enemies for me to fight, but we'll find out. Probably one more. If you're at where I think you are. And my squeaky fan. Okay. Oh, Beast Lore Fru? Okay. Ow. You bastard. That hurt. Take some more clay. <laughs> Nothing that weird and clay. Which I'm looking forward to when summer comes around for you, because that's when Clee's banner comes back. Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Leave me, me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. always comes back on summer with a unique event. Stop trying to drench me in water, are you? Dealing with the boar? Yep. There we go. Boar's done. Grab treasure. Grab the Adepti energy. And now... Let's see, I'm going to look around a little bit. Make sure that I don't miss anything because apparently I missed the uh, that one you know cave with the uh, uh, the, the stone hide the, flower churl. Yeah, so hmm. okay. I've seen Noble X and shoot through its shield and hurt yeah. it directly. Okay, I don't really see anything, so moving on. Heck, I did a challenge where I had to take on three of the thunder lava churls. Hopefully it wasn't timed. Yeah, it was timed. Ugh. But with Nuvolet, it was easy to deal with. Alright. Because Nuvolet ignores the Lowajural shields, I can just do direct damage to them. Alright. And the build I have does significant amount of damage. Yeah. Ah, look, it's moving. Are you there? Or... Yep. Uh, um, oh, it seems like Jade's starting to move. Uh, you know, when you're in the... in the dialogue? Uh, now I am. Yep. Starting to move. That's right, but according to the story, the riverbed should have lots of other... Uh, votive rain jades, but why does Big Sif Fujin only want this one? Look, it's sh it's shining almost as if if it's res 
resonating, resonating, uh, resonating with the adeptal energy on you, traveler. Why don't e we try using that power, eh? <laughs> what? What? Maybe we shouldn't. Don't you just love when we just tamper with things we have no idea about? I mean, there's yeah. nothing that will ever go wrong with that, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Although now it's smaller. So I became small. That should, that should do it. Wow, awesome. It suddenly became small. Okay. Yeah. Paimon didn't think it just changed size like that. Guess that's a millennial treasure for you. It's just like you said, little Mao. They could be as tall as a cloud or, a sm or small enough to hide a miss pool, pool and leave. Yeah. Well, looks like the Vault of Range is in our hands now. Yeah, you're so reliable, tra Traveler. Are we? Really? Hey, <laughs> part two, right, right, um, mm -hmm. what exactly did you do, Paimon? <laughs> How about you raise that smug look on your face and tell us, what did you do? <laughs> She's she's being a good emergency food. I mean, we have to we have to remember that. Yeah. Miss or a uh, mini pie now. Mini pie. We gotta we gotta yeah, mini, you know, pie. mini pie. <laughs> yeah. Miss Pie was amazing. So you're going to take us to that deep pool shrouded in cloud and mist to the south now, right? Cloud and mist. Hmm, I think. Uh, Chin Yu Veil really does have places like that. But where? Tell us, little guide, and Pyam will take you there. <laughs> Remember the play, the place Mountain mentioned, the spot where we, where we met. That place is super foggy, and I know of. A secret concern that a, se a secret cavern that leads there. Even the other locals don't know about it. It was my friend who showed me the way, and since you're my friend too, Paimon, I'll tell you all about it. Since you're my friend then... too, Paimon, I'll tell you all about it. You got an amazing friend, little Mal. Your friend in the mountain. Are they connected to Adeptus Fujin? I mean, little Mal wouldn't really know that that particular question, but I mean, I I, it. that's. I mean, I'll I'll still ask, but you know, I still want to ask yeah. that particular question, but still. Same. She told me lots of story, and quite a few of them were about Big Sis Fujin. Mm hmm. Well, any friend of yours is a friend of ours, too. In fact, Paimon hopes we'll meet her on the way. Uh, Paimon, you should be asking what stories did she say about Fujin? Were they good or were they bad? I mean, if, if they were bad, uh, then the kid probably would have reacted kind of harshly about her. So I would imagine that it would have been like, you know, good stories or, you know, stories that are shine a, a positive light. So at least, you know, it'd be it'd be very odd for, you know, the the, you know, the the friend to tell Mao like, oh, yeah, you really got to be careful with her because she's a danger. You got to be, you know, you, you know, stay away from her and stuff like that. And. He'd be like, oh, yeah, you're bad big sis now. It's like, uh, wait, um, huh? <laughs> you know, it'd be, that'd be a little bit of a head scratcher if that happened, but. <laughs> I guess. There's always stories left to interpretation as well. True. 
of course, you know, the, the, the person that, you know, he's talking about could be someone that is in his mind. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, mind. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Shall we go? Paimon's gonna take you all to, to the place you mentioned, little Mal. Take us away, Paimon. Give me a moment. Let's see if there are any treasure chests that we haven't found. I'm pretty sure I found all of them. Well, I haven't fought the Hill of Troll myself, so I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna pick the second option. Okay, you're gonna hit. I'll yeah. pick the first option and see what happens. Since I know already, I was thorough looking everywhere. Yeah. Probably in everything I could find. Yeah. Alright then, let's go. Okay, I got... Seriously? There's no helping you, huh? Hang on a moment. All right, little Mal. <laughs> Excuse me there, Paimon. I mean, when it comes... When someone's asking for help, you're reluctant until somebody mentions treasure. Yeah, I, I know. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> you know, wouldn't she be like, oh, yeah, treasure, let's go. You know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the cavern's pretty dark, so you gotta be careful. Okay, this looks to be... Okay, so I need to kind of go back up there. Right here. Mark that right there for now. And all the way I need to go has a chest, so in the meantime, I might as well try and open this chest. Wait, how would I? It's only one of these... ...thingies. I mean, I could both put this one in here and activate those, but how do I activate the others? Wait a little amount of the pure world. City, why not the whole of us? Uh, let me finish waiting. <laughs> okay, there just, we go. So just in if case. If I did fast enough, I'll be able to activate it. Aha! Oh. There's the room that you speak of. And there it is. Hi there, pal. How's it going? Oh, you want to do your shield? Okay, well, I got Nouvellet to uh, Noel to kind of take care of that. Yeah, but, you know, with with it gone, you know, I can, you know, attack him with other, um, with others such as Klee, so. Yeah, that is a very small room. Leave it all to me. Huh. Yeah. What was them bring the big guys on the smallest of spaces? Um, they just want to give... Uh, you know, more of a challenge every single fucking time. So. Yeah. First, it was uh, the D sharks down the chest and those very narrow hallways. Then a giant robot when we, were, when we were walking our way to that dendral bird. And now that, a stone height lava drill in a tiny cave. What's next? A rune hunter in a room as big as a rune hunter itself? I mean, I, w I want to put it past them. They've done it before, or they've done something similar before, so. <sighs> These are. Uh, Lower trolls aren't that tough now. With the characters we have. Leave it all to me.
way to catch up. I was going to see what the next like the banner is going to be. You know, the next one, which is Shell. Okay. Is it what you wish to find? Hopefully, the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a hmm. worthwhile Still have one more experience. orb there. Okay. Shell yeah. and Yaemiko are the banners that will come after this one. Shell being a Nemo, Yaemiko being Electro. Yeah. Okay, I think that was the only thing here that was that I had not found. Unless there was something that you found that I'm not sure about, but I think I've found no. everything for the most part. You know, except for that one. All of it was on the way. Yeah. You know, a lot of investigates and all that, so... Yeah. Although, wait a second. Oh, I found, an, found something new. What did you find? I found another room with um, a chest. Is it what you wish to find? Hopefully the excitement it's it's right above made it a worthwhile uh, the um, you know that room room with the uh, the pots and stuff like that. Yeah. You know there was a uh, there was like something off to the edge, you know, up above that was available. I mean, if you yeah. if. You, if you look at my um, stream, I'll kind of point myself at it so you can kind of see, like, you know, like a little bit above it. So, like, you know, yeah, that's where the um, uh, that one gear was. And then, you know, off to the left is where that little hole in the wall is. So there oh, appears I to be. I not see that hole. Yeah, there appears to be a lot of little nooks and crannies in here that I'm now kind of curious about. Mm. I guess I'll have to go back there and finish exploring then. Yeah. Hmm. What about down here? Oh wait, no. This is this is where uh, we went to before, but I didn't really explore around here all that much. Just kind of. Oh, hi there, rocks. Investigate. Okay, and that was ten thousand more. Okay. And no use in any of the other banners that might be coming after Shell yet. see anything else. Because once the lantern right comes out, they'll probably announce the other future uh, banners. Yeah. And they do need to be careful with that one, considering how important it is to Chinese culture. What do you mean? Oh, they've had a lot of issues when it comes to the uh, Lantern Rite, when they screwed up one, they had a lot of backlash from Chinese players. And they happen to be their main source of income. Well, I mean, it's a Chinese-based company, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they, they take their culture seriously. Yeah, true. Um... And they have... Uh, gotten like death threats from screwing it up once. That goes a little too far, but yeah. Yeah, that no, they ch they just take it too far when they it comes to their culture. Yeah. Like they either do it right or they do it right. Mm-hmm. They even got really mad the, on the on Honkai Impact when they did sort of like a. Bunny Girl event during the Chinese New Year. 
Yeah. That okay. had a lot of backlash. Okay, I think I'm done in this cavern, so time to go. I have thought about trying Honkai Impact at, one, at some point. Mm, yeah. I heard the story's pretty good, and it's still ongoing, even though it has like 30-something chapters, maybe 40 by now. Yeah. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Honkai, um, Honkai Impact was before Genshin Impact, if I'm not mistaken, so... I'm not sure. I think it might have been. I'm not entirely sure. Like, I didn't know about Honkai Impact up until I started looking up Star Rail. Yeah. On the, on the Google search, it showed me there was Honkai Impact as well. Oh, wait. That is, <laughs> that's a thing. <laughs> yeah. And there's, I believe, one other game they made, but I can't remember its name right now. Yeah. I need to look it up to know if it's even worth it. <laughs> okay. That should have done. If it's older than Genshin, then I might need to jump on Honkai sometime soon. But say that the average lifetime of a gacha game is about five years. And Genshin is already three years old. Hmm. Okay, this is a little weird. I'm looking at the puzzle. Oh, right. you're right outside where I'm at right yeah. now, waiting with the dialogue. Yeah, you can still move it if you're fast enough at the right distance and activate those, and it'll count. The others won't turn off as fast. Apparently, you have to be super fast because I just kind of ran to both spots, or at least I thought I ran to both spots. Yeah, you and... can pick it up from afar. You don't really need to go up to it to pick it up. That's why it needs to be... You need to do it fast. Like if you put it in one spot, you go to the other, and you can still pick it up from a distance. The wind rises. And oh, quickly what the... put it down. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I, what pick, I picked it up, and it granted me the um, the chest. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> it bugged. <laughs> it bugged down for you. Yeah. What it is, like, okay, activate this three. I went to the other two and picked it up from there. Mm -hmm. that far and yep. dropped it quickly and yep. it worked yeah i i i dropped it at the you know dropped it at the three dropped it at the two didn't work went back to the three picked it up and it was like oh you got it okay there you go it's like uh wait what huh <laughs> <laughs> so okay uh heading into the fog bake river there yeah, you go for you okay a little cutscene where yep. i'm at right now Traveler, Pylon. Peek, Mao, look up behind you. Uh, but hello. Big, cute, fluffy. Um, what are you? Wait, these three messages are a little weird. Whoa, that's a huge monster. Get behind me. I'll settle this and wait, your friend, you say. Um, huh? He didn't say anything. No, he didn't say anything at all, yeah. Uh, and what? <laughs> I see a fish tail, but it looks... What are you? You're a cat or a dog? Huh? Oh no, she's my friend. Didn't I tell you before that I had a lot of friends? I just meet her, so I got a hold of her. Um, uh, okay. Uh -huh. To introduce what? you to you? Okay. So this is your friend? I mean, it oh, well. it, it kind of makes sense in that, you know, the this was the creature that was kind of looking over us when we were kind of helping out, uh, what's her name, with that one puzzle, so... Yeah, true. <laughs> but what is it? It has a fish tail, but I don't know what the rest of it is. It's like, uh, it's like a dragon-cat-fish combined. <laughs> I 
guess so. Okay. The absolute silence from the thing. Um, well, hello? I'm throwing my mother. I'm throwing this is Paimon. I'm <laughs> throwing and this is Mini Pie. <laughs> uh, I'm picking the second one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of name is that? Paimon's Paimon! <laughs> I'm I'm sorry there, folks. If you're if you're like upset at me for picking the mini pie, I I apologize. It's just you know I do enjoy, you know, um, you know some good comedy. So yeah. Although you know it, although it is kind of picking on Paimon, I know, but. I mean that's it's always fun to pick on Paimon. Yeah, at, at least she's kind of okay with it. If she if she wasn't okay with it, then I'd I'd stop kind of thing, right? Yeah. You know, if she was like, you know, if she was like seriously going, you know, no, seriously, traveler, please stop calling me that. Then I'd be like, okay, gotcha. You know. Um, she's afraid of stranger. I usually call her Bluey because. I don't really know her name. <laughs> okay. No, don't you worry about that. Trouble and Paimon are great people. They've been accompanying me on my adventures. They're really, they're real experts in mountains and forests too. <laughs> I know. I've seen. Answer me. Di answer me this one thing. Where did you gain the power to suppress nature? Suppress nature? Suppress! Mm-hmm. Suppress! I knew something was off! Suppress nature? What do you mean? Plants purpose... Pursue. It, plants pursue the sunlight and fertile soil, cre uh, creating fruit uh, fruit fit for the birds and beasts to consume. The digested seeds are scattered, and those uh, which consume seeds and fruit become bait uh, for predators. Thus. The, thus, thus everything return returns to the land. The snake hidden in the branches, the fish in the mountains, and the beast of the forest. Traveling in the realm of nature is wonderful. So why have you come? Interesting. Oh, come on, Louis. You don't have to be so fierce. You raised two questions. My adeptal energy comes from Adeptus Fujin. Her goal is to nurse the soil and waters in Chenyu Vale. Mm. I'm kind of um, thinking about the second. Uh, the second. Yeah, one I guess the second to show her that we're on the same page, I guess. Maybe. I, you know, again, I don't even know if she's on that page or not, but... But I'm gonna pick the second one. Yeah. Oh, well, it gives, uh, it gives both anyway, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Some... Something's up about Ching Yu Vale's natural conditions. Adeptus Fujin's um, enlisted our help. If we don't, well, the tea leaves in Chaoyun Village are gonna uh, turn out worse and worse, and the village itself might decline. That's why she wanted us to perform a range 8 ride, which will restore the, the area. The range 8 ride? I see. Uh, you have answered two of my questions. Wait, you only made one. 
No, no, no. She, 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 yeah, she, yeah, she asked us. So. And she asked us where we got our power to suppress nature. nature. No, nothing else. Huh? What do you mean? What, uh, what do we have to do that? Why the. Huh? Give and. Give and take. It is only natural. You have one more question. <laughs> Wait. That's. That one counted? Uh, whatever. You ask, traveler. Um, and, and Bluey will say, yes, that one counted. There's your two questions. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Little Mouse said that you want to restore nature. Do you know Adeptus Fujin? I'm going to pick the second one. I guess so. I mean, Fujin did mention that they knew each other and they got in a... Um... They have a difference of opinion at one point, and they haven't talked since. Yeah. But yes. I mean, if if um, if you want to pick, if you wanted to pick the first one, you could. But you know, I was kind of leaning like more towards the second. So. Yeah. Well, I want you to see. Maybe she she'll tell us what happened. Maybe. Yes, I do know Fujin. Basically. Basically, Adeptus Fujin has asked us uh, to help uh, nurse the soil and water in Xinyu Vale so that the tea leaves in Xiaying Village will recover their original flavor. You already said that, Paimon. You're repeating yourself. Yeah. The new tea leaf tastes... Uh, the new tea leaf tastes... Better, more like before. Uh, okay, interesting. But when we tried it out, it didn't. <sighs> yeah, more like whoa. <laughs> uh, more like whoa, and just like that, she's gone. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Paimon. She's like that some. Sometimes, when I'm not looking, she'll just vanish into the shadows of the trees. Then, at then at others, the sun might dazzle me, or the bird might call overhead, and there she is. In any case, guess we're all friends now. Let's hope so. Yeah. Uh, just don't worry about it, Traveler. It's not big on politeness, but she's always been like that. Yeah, your friend's pretty strange, little Mal. Is she? Well, for all you know, you're the ones who might seem strange to others. I mean, not only can you use adeptal energy to make the moss dis uh, disappear, but you can make the golden stone thing ap appear and vanish, and even turn into a crab, uh, carp. into a carp, and fly around like in the stories. I guess they're assuming we have Geo Traveler here. Means that will be the golden stone that it's referring to. After yeah, all, I guess. Um, but at the um, same time, it's like, you know, wait, I haven't shown you that there, little Mal. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After all, um, none other than a young master. <laughs> oh, I'm going to pick the second one. Yeah, I'm going to pick the second one as well. Got a point. That said, Paimon couldn't have imagined that the friend you always spoke about, well, 
monster seems a bit rude, and thing might be pretty offensive. That's right, your friend's so blue. No wonder you call her Bluey. <laughs> I'm blue, da ba dee da <laughs> Uh, that's why I've never told anyone. If the adults knew that we were friends, they might uh, lock me away, lock me up. <laughs> Wait, really? You go to actual prison? What? <laughs> why? <laughs> no, no, not like that. They just wouldn't. Let me go out, make me wash my face, and force me to read my books. I wouldn't get to play in the mountains anymore. I mean, <laughs> uh, in a sense that that kind of would be a prison if you're, you know, if you're like, for example, if you're like, you know, always going out into the woods and stuff like that, and you know, having a good time out in the woods, and someone was to say, hey, you now work in an office and you can't go back out to the woods. I mean, wouldn't that technically be a prison? Yeah, technically speaking, yeah. <laughs> That's why I've never told anyone, but you're my friend, so it's fine. Anyway, come with me. There's an awesome place I'd love to show you. Awesome place where uh, where I'd love to show us, huh? Uh, so, in other words, it's uh, basically a torture chamber where he's gonna drag us into, and you know, um, you know, have a, have all the monsters pop out and kill us. Is that is that what's gonna happen? <laughs> Who knows? I'm going into the cave right at this moment in time because I saw that chest down at the very end. And yeah, we need to go through that anyways. It seems that way too, yeah. I'm right now finding the Haley Cholt in there. Yeah. I must leave no stone unturned. As a good night should. Oh, we'll let some cooldown to shoot them. Yeah. Yeah, Mia, why are you shooting over his head? Climb in the box and break it. The tide's beckoning. Back to the bullet, just in case. And that uh, hill tour is glowing. Take care of the nearby miasma. Let the record show that I verbally consent to relinquishing these items into your possession. Since antiquity and abnormal uh, an anomaly known as miasma has been in endemic to the mountains and rivers of Chenyu Vale. If an ordinary person inadvertently inhales this gas, they will uh, often suffer from headaches and chest pains for days. It's since it's since antiquity, antiquity, antiquity. Ah, sorry. It's a weird word, antiquity. Yeah, it's you know, basically since ancient times, you know. So. Yeah. Miasma may not be fatal to humans, but long-term exposure to it does affect wild animals and monsters making them more violent than usual. Uh, the more powerful the monster, the more severe the effects. Try defeating the leader of the monsters uh, before following the trail to the source of the miasma in the area and purifying it with adeptal energy. Mm -hmm. And how will we know who's the leader? I know it's only this guy here, but is this more elsewhere? And 
course, more so up. Yep. And at least only that one was the only leader, the obvious one. Okay, so just look for whichever one has a shiny ball on top of its head. Oh, what? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna activate that just in case. There we go. Maybe that'll stop the spawning. Nope. I had more spawn. Did you get rid of the tree? Because that's what I did. I got rid of the tree and the ones that were there disappeared. But the ones near the other tree remain. And that got rid of the ones that were still left. And there's new ones now, from another tree. Oh. Justice is blindsided. Steady as stone. Okay, I need to use this to deal with those. Wait, what? It cancelled out on me? Ow. Okay, getting rid of the tree after defeating the leader gets rid of the other enemies. Yeah, pretty much. Now there is a step of the sword. Is it down here or is it above me? And it's above me, so I'm not gonna try and get to it. Yet. Who's inside this? Okay. Well, apparently, I can just, you can just kind of not even bother with the other enemies, just focus on the one guy, you know, and then yeah. once, once it's been exposed, you can just kind of go and, you know, finish it off and everything kind of just disappears. And it's like, but, but, but I actually didn't mind fighting everybody that kept on spawning. <laughs> oh, well. It's like an endless wave of yeah, enemies. Pretty much. Okay. Um are you ooh, uh, amazing little now. Are you entering the cavern or Yeah, I'm inside the ca the caves just now. Okay. I'm looking at a moss covered wall. Mm-hmm. And end up. Yep. Cutscene. You're awesome, Traveler. You pushed the moss back just like that. Like you did with a uh, smoky cloud. Yep. Still, that wasn't there yesterday. Is this what they call nature? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Moss or helichurls, just leave them all to traveler. <laughs> Little Mal, that's... Uh, what's this picture about? <laughs> Originally, I didn't know either, but I figured, uh, I figured it out today after hearing Big Sis Fuji's story. This must be the stuff that happened before the... Mural on Mount Lingmeng was made. See this? Long, long ago, people were able to talk to the gods and adepti in the sky, but in the skies, by talking to a big piece of jade in the in the middle. Mm -hmm. The emissary of the gods would lead them and protect them. See that that's gotta be this shiny golden person standing in the middle. I bet that was a super amazing person. 
But later, just like Bixus Fuji said, something changed and the people of Chen, Chen Yu Vail, uh, Vail lost their guiding emissary and they couldn't talk to the heavens anymore. That's how the Rain Jade Rite came about. Mm -hmm. Oh, your story does make sense. Uh, thanks. What about, uh, what do you think, Traveler? A uh, pretty bright sp spark little mouth. And a distinct possibility. I'm not sure. I'm personally going to go with the second one, but that's me. Mm, I guess so. What do, what do you want? I kind of lean towards the middle one as well, so. Oh, uh, okay. You know, I figured, you know, if you if you want to go for something else, then that's that's fine as well. I mean, we can always ha we can always see like the different dialogues if you wanted to go that route. But, you know, if something I'm like really going to create a five star before it turns gold. Uh, like, before it turns gold, it's kind of hard to tell if you're going to get a five star or not. Uh, plus, I don't know if I'm going to pull for the, these vendors or not. Like, I do like both characters. Don't know if. It's worth it or not, or should I wait for the next set of characters? Uh, come to think of it, our ancestors uh, were pretty amazing themselves, huh? The Jades uh, they left to us uh, still have the power to restore nature. For something this old to still be so strong, the past must have been. Uh, Sweller time than the present, huh? Yeah. No, I'm not counting all the, that whole Archon War, I guess so. <laughs> well, there's there's two answers here. That's not true. The world marches onward. or <laughs> That's right. The world has been constantly in decline. I mean... <laughs> um, I guess I'll go for the first one. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the first one, so... In the accumulated treatise of the past in its wake. I mean, that's that's a little. I I really wanted to say it that way. <laughs> it's like, yes. you know, there's, you know, uh, when you keep on like you know moving forward expanding and advancing then you're you know sure there's there's things that you know you kind of leave behind you you don't really need to do or use anymore um but at the same time you know you're you're still like you know advancing even more right so yeah um it's like you know uh, like think uh, you know think of it this way uh, back in caveman days you know all they had was like you know putting wood and then you know getting the fire ready right and nowadays we have like stoves that you can use to cook you know the food you have refrigerators that keep everything cold whereas you know back in the day it was like you know the only way that you would even keep anything cold would be like trying to take snow from the mountains if if you have that uh, possibility you know or if trying to get ice or dehydration yeah it's like you know it's it's one of those things where it's like you know um you know advancement can be a really good thing and you know but it's it's built off of that you know off of that knowledge i mean uh, it's it's more of a like a foundation of what you're what you're you know learning in the future kind of thing so I mean we would not have gotten to where we're at right now without you know knowing about what we've done in the past so you know and that's why um you know the dark ages in europe were so terrible because they they destroyed so much knowledge back then you know yeah um that 
you they basically had to like you know find it back out again to to kind of recover from that time and it's like you know if if that didn't happen then you know we might have been further advanced than we are now you know you never know so yeah. it's just one of those things where it's like you know we we build off of our our past you know so i don't like this <laughs> i don't like what they're saying here it's like ah we're we're leaving behind all the the crap from uh, from behind you know from the past who needs it it's like um in order to build your future you kind of need the past you yeah. know it's it's one of those things where it's like you know the, the that common you know that common phrase where it's like you know um know your history or doomed to repeat it you know kind of thing so yeah hmm. that's a really cool thought i never thought about it that way Paimon hey, thinks that you're an amazing you're, you're the amazing one little mal We've seen a lot of ancient objects, puzzles, mystery, mysterious power, and monsters in our time, but Paimon's never considered this stuff before. Eh, you know what? Not thinking about this stuff at all is pretty awesome too, really. I bet you'll be just uh, like my big sister when it, you grow up. Just having fun adventuring everywhere. I mean, <laughs> having fun adventuring? Mm, I don't know if fun would be the correct term for that in some cases. Yeah. You have a big sister then? He's probably talking well, about the Adeptus there, Paimon. Well, we're not blood related, but she works here in... Uh, Yu vale Never mind. for a while she go up mountains and run around the rivers and I'd follow her we discovered this little cave together she said that this cave is my um, Rubicon Ruby? Rubicon or... not that I know what that means I wonder where she's off uh, adventuring nowadays. I can't wait to receive my next letter from her. Mm. Yeah, this big sis of yours uh, sure seems like an interesting person. I'm curious to know who it is. Mm. I know, right? Still, big sis Fujin needs our help. So let's continue on. At first, oh, I was thinking there. that he was speaking about, like, you know, Bluey or, you know, uh, Fujin there. But, you know, he was like, yeah. oh, no, my other big sis. It's like, god damn, how many sis do you have there, Mal? <laughs> oh, there you were. Uh, I was so worried. Oh, a golden car? Uh, one was quite concerned at the swirling miasma and fierce beast that Rome might have caused you ill, but one sees that it is not so, and that is good. Thanks to the adeptal energy you possess, a uh, traveler, one has been connected to the golden carp here. Thus, gaining me, gaining the means to speak with you directly. Traveler, Paimon, Little Mao, please come with me. Hmm. How about no? <laughs> it's time to take you to my dungeon. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, let's see. Anything hidden in here? Mm, no, don't really see anything. Okay, here we go. Following the carp. Following the carp. Following the carp. I cannot. Okay. Uh, okay. J fragment left was 
Something that you can pick up? Okay, interesting. Yeah, I had already picked it up, thinking it was part of some puzzle, but I couldn't see where to take it. Mm. Oh, goody. Oh, great. Come on there. Game. Why? Okay. Oh, apparently oh, I have that to... That is bullshit right there. Apparently I have oh, to... like I asked the screen to freeze. And suddenly you came hit by a death pack. I'm guessing if I walked out of this circle, I'm gonna fall into the water. Nope. Oh, bullshit. Nope, you, you are perfectly fine. Okay, now I gotta heal up to some bullshit collision now. Mm, it's just up ahead. Good thing I don't need to pull Farina out for this, since Farina can run on water. Yeah. Okay, off to... Okay. Yeah, she, she, and you know, the, the carp is kind of giving you that ability to run on the water, so... Yeah. Okay. Okay. In the cutscene. We know. No one, or obviously, you know, start reading when you're when you're there. <laughs> yeah. I'm. I didn't really do much about the puzzles, so I just kind of left them behind. I just run past all of them. Yeah, same. I'll probably have to pull for Rena to do those puzzles. Much time has passed since I last emerged here. This was once a lively place filled with the aroma of incense. Then the the three the, th the three of us could travel freely across the mountain and fountains and rivers. Yes, those days were like flowing water beneath uh, the moon. Why did they? Why not beneath the moon, not just beneath? It sounds so weird to me. <laughs> Dark, yet sparkling and so brightly. Oh, but enough reminiscing. Thanks to you all, I am now able to return here and host the Rain Jade Rite. Something tells me something bad's gonna happen. Probably. Uh, so, you're the person in the mural. Oh, I get it now. The person standing in the mural, uh, hugging that egg, the, that was you, wasn't it? Standing on the mountain, hugging that egg. Hmm. An egg? An egg? Come now, little mouse. That was... Precious Jade. Casting Rain Jade is a is a ritual of great power. The votive Rain Jade it can calm rivers, improve the weather, but it can also be the thing of death and slaughter. Oof. Only the thinnest line separates curses and adeptal energy that have aided you up till now um are you worried about that <laughs> suddenly you keel over and start vomiting up blood okay <laughs> that is why i must make sure that the right does not fall into the hands of those who would do ill that's why, um, yes, this is correct. One was indeed the figure who hugged that egg in that mural. Uh, Business Fujin, doesn't this make you, uh, pretty, um, ancient? How rude. rude there, little Mao. <laughs> indeed, indeed, talking about someone's age like that. <sighs> Yes, it does. Still, 
I do like the name Big Sis. It does quite make me feel young. Uh oh, she she has um what the big sister and well not not you know, she doesn't have a big sister complex. Um, our our Mal probably has a big sister complex. So does she have more of a uh, um little brother complex? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> oh. <Look at> me. <laughs> well, being called Adeptus is pretty alright too. Well, being called Adeptus is pretty alright too, right? I mean, they're both technically the same answer. Yeah, I'm, I'm, we an option here. I mean, I'm I'm gonna pick the first one. Yeah. Well, certainly. Though, even if other title, other title, me as such, I am aware that I am hardly the equal of true adepti like Mountain Shaper and the rest. Hmm. I am, in truth, the weakest of my of my band of friends. I cannot make medicines to save others, nor can I bond across the mountain and plain. Bound, so, as in jumping. Yeah. 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 I could not simply lay the title down. It would have done the people of uh, Jin Yu Vale a disservice, I fear. Still, you may call me whatever you wish, after all. We have become friends, so... Or so I would say. So, in any case. So here's the thing that I'm still kind of wondering about. There's something odd that she said about um, or uh, something odd that she said earlier about the three of us would often come here. And it's like three of you. You know, which you three know Yeah, which 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 three are you speaking of kind of thing. So yeah, who, who's the third? Indeed. So that's that's why I'm kind of curious about that, but yeah. In any case, my days of being called an adeptus are now consigned to history, just like this place has been. Once the Range Eight right was a day of great celebration, where we would commemorate the year of abundance. You seen laughter, a uh, firecracker bat battles. Firecracker and... battles? Yeah, how does that work? <laughs> and be uh, beast dance to frighten the ill omen away. This must appear like not but forgotten ruins to modern minds. I mean, firecrackers are, can be can be quite harmful. So, I mean, you know, using laughter. Okay, firecracker battles. Wait, you're you're are you actually harming people with that? It's like, you know, like here here's you know someone firing off a rocket towards another person, basically killing them. And they're like, ha, 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 I'm gonna hit you with firecracker. <laughs> and it's like. What? <laughs> it's a little, uh, a little weird there. Yeah. Well, not completely forgotten. That's right. People in Xiaoyin Village told us that it was uh, the mighty Adeptus uh, Fujin who defeated the demon and planted the first tea tree. Back on the bamboo raft, uh, Grandpa Lu also mentioned that the offering of tea were to certain carp adeptus. And wasn't there that opera song at Elong Wharf about the carp going about 
killing stuff. <laughs> you were so awesome in those stories, uh, Big Sis uh, Fujin. Also, people still do the Wu Show dance, you know. That must be a beast <laughs> dance. Yeah, uh, carp going around killing stuff. Yeah, uh, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, and, and are we are we the next targets? You know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Is that a, um... So yourself, the definition of an adeptus is. Hmm. Oh, contemplation. Also, putting definitions aside, you're our friend Fujin. Uh... You shouldn't be uh, constantly. Uh, threatening about the right and stuff, you should live happily, like we're companions on an adventure. That's right, we're on an adventure together. Right, yes, you're right, thank you. That was well said, indeed. I was the one who asked you all for help. It wouldn't do... A uh, wouldn't do at all if I just continued on wallowing in the past, now would it? In any case, I'll need your help to prepare for the rite itself. You're gonna be my sacrifices. <laughs> In any case, we have... Uh, have you encountered any sacred... The lacra in your adventure. Those were ritual spirits often used by people in ancient times to protect their homes. There should be some nearby. I see a little uh, pixie off to our left there. Yeah. Traveler, Paimon, Little Mouth. Please help me put the simulacra in their proper places. That way, we can restore the spirit veins using the rain jade right. Leave it to us. I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I will. I have faith in you. Maybe it's our... Uh, maybe it's our in our nature but it's like you know you you often you know uh, when it comes to stories like this where it's like you don't know who you know it, like who you okay trust. well here's here's the thing about it it's like they've already talked about how there was been like a god war you know gods came down to this planet and pretty much destroyed uh, an entire civilization you know themselves you know, in the past, that's where the traveler originally came from, right? So, you know, when you think of along those lines, you're like looking at these gods, adepti, and stuff like that, and you're like going, well, these gods have, you know, done all these atrocities in the past, so, you know, who's to say that they can't do it again, you know, like right now, for example? So it's yeah. it's one of those things where it's like you you just kind of gave you know you gave a storyline where hey gods are potentially evil you know or you know have done evil things in the past so you know who's to say that we should be trusting current gods and and you know adept eye and stuff like that it's like you know. So it's just one of those things where it's like, you know, on one hand, okay, sure, you're not outright, like, destroying us, like, right now, but who's to say that they can't do it, you know? So it's it's just one of those things where it's like, eh, okay, you know. <laughs> Okay, uh, apparently the first one was with the uh, ferry over here, or, yeah. or I think. Hello, Julian, how you doing?
Oh, you can apparently walk on the water. Yeah, looks like we still have the effect here. Oh boy. Yep. God damn. I must leave no That way. You okay, almost overshot it. God damn it. Yeah, crabs, the crabs are so annoying. Okay, that was taken care of. They're running away from me too much. Come on, you bastard. Come on, over here. Over here. Goodbye. Oh, that was annoying. Okay, um, I don't know where the fairy ran off to. Oh, there it is, okay. Collect these achievements. Get those you know, gems real quick. Mm. There we go. And let's get back up there now. I'll right. deal with that. Puzzle some other time, but I can't even see how to deal with this puzzle. Mm -hmm. Where are you at? I'm on the uh, second one. Uh, jumping on along the platforms. Yep. Yeah, I'm already back at Fujin. Oh. oh. I might actually heal you, Amy, just in case it turns me into a fight. Oh, nope. good thing I had Barbara's burst ready. So them big mean cat shows up to eat the fish. Couldn't read the dialogue because it just flashed and disappeared, so... Yeah, I just don't bother reading them anymore. Yeah. Okay, back to Fujin. Okay. Are you already in the cutscene? Yep. Okay. The secret simulacra are all ready. Thank you both. The votive rain jade has been returned to its priestess, and the statues have come back to their rightful places. 
The Rain Jade Rite is now ready to be performed. But will Shen Yu Veil really recover once you cast the Rain Jade in? That's right. Things will get better uh, for us, little Mal. Nature, Jade, Human, all is uh, divinely uh, dictated. The changes in the land and water in Chen Yu Vale, the malicious fog in the spirit veins, they are all essentially a sign of the earth moving against the flow of time. Yeah, uh, so that miasma like thing in is a manifestation of the environmental disorder. <laughs> That's right. You can think of it like a change you veils attempt to how should I put it? Return to nature and what we intend to to do here is to treat the land and the soil and rid it of this sickness return to nature change your form for homicide sorrow tomorrow <laughs> you see your wife with Paimon <laughs> uh, after all before humans left their caves and mountains to uh, dominate the world and regulate nature and before uh, Change you veil or uh, be Shui River uh, got those names. The land, mountains, and rivers had their own order. Okay. And even I sometimes miss the cool mountain streams and the great rivers that would, uh, um, that would ebb and flow. Ebb and flow. Yeah. That's the first time I actually see that word like that. No worries. With the uh, seasons. I mean, I was once a mere fish that swam. But if we let uh, nature seize control of its order once more, uh, the people of Chen Yu Vale will suffer and languish. In, I hope. You can understand, so we're not healing nature, we're working against it? That's... that's the... And, and well... In one interpretation, yes. You know... Um, in... In another... It's as though you're trying to put, like, a balance back in for nature and um, humans, but at the same time, it's like, you know, she's already said that, you know, the nature wants to regain control, so it's like, when not that what kind of Bluey wanted? So... Yeah. And we're still having, a, like, a third person out there somewhere that could be like doing all this harm as well so who knows what's yeah. going on in this okay. and bluey said that we had the power to suppress nature not to heal it yeah yeah in that case cat jumps up and eats the fish I see all white. Something's supposed to happen. Oh. And there it is. It's mad, all right. Huh? Did it work? That thing in the fog just now. I'm going with the first one. Yeah, same. It seems I am too feeble in my current state. Uh, we got the Lord of Rain Jade, and 
we placed a simulacra, but it still wasn't enough? I'm very sorry. It is not your fault. I need more power to overcome this trial jet. Just as the adeptal energy in the uh, votive rain jade has dissipated into the spirit veins, so has the power also left me across the long years. Hmm. Okay, that seems a little odd, but sure. Huh, will you grow really big just like the jade? Probably not. <laughs> Uh, just thinking about it though, Super Adeptus Fujin, now three times the size. Well, there. There. Uh, well, is there any way we can restore your power? The Golden Carp. Ah, Traveler, you are wise indeed. Before you found a few Golden Carps, I could not even muster the strength to appear. Initially, I thought that we just needed to gather all the, the ritual ingredients and that would make up for the deficiency in my power. It's ritual implements, uh, by the way, not ingredients, but that's okay. <laughs> it's, it's similar, so... Yeah. I was not entirely open with with you before, but neither the present nor the past me was anywhere near a match for the Adepti of the South. I feared you would consider me weak and unworthy of your help. She said it. I once thought you'd have something more important to say. Eh? <laughs> there is no way we'd abandon or, or not make friends with you just because you're just because of that. That I, young master. <laughs> that I, the young master, consider you a friend is not a con is not conditional on your status as an adeptus. Giving me some official vibes right there. Has that trouble been hanging out too much with her? Mm, mm, indeed. Um... That you're my friend has nothing to do with your status as an adeptus. I'm going with the second one. I'm going to try the first one. I'm going to have fun. <laughs> Go on. Okay, hold on. I have I have a little bit of a different thing. Or, you know, you... Go you say yours here real quick, because obviously it's it's a little different. Okay. My friend told me lots of stories about you, and in my mind, even though we've just met, we're already friends, and I also want you to be happy, Big Sis. Okay, you done on that one? Yeah. Uh, okay. On that I, part, yeah. I got, other than the whole young master bit, Paimon wanted to say the same thing. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. I think I just got yours here. My friend told me lots of stories about you in my mind, even though yeah. we've just met. We're already friends, and I also want you to be happy, Bixus. So. Yeah. All right, all right. Thank you, all of you. Well, that's that's more like it. So, where should we start looking for these golden carps? They've been eaten. <laughs> well, there is a big cat dragon fish wandering around. It wouldn't surprise me. I believe I believe that you will uh. have to go to a uh, Chow Dai Valley. Uh, there will be a a cavern that there with a golden carp hidden within. I would almost pronounce that Yaudi, yeah, Yaudi Valley or Yaudai Valley. I don't know, but 
whatever. Yeah, I don't know what would be the correct pronunciation. Yeah. Just more. Okay, we're per portal there. Mer I'm gonna activate that stat to the seven first. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, that's kind of like on the way, so. I wonder if I could still oh, walk on the. We're technically inside a cave. I'm walking towards it, but it's definitely not inside this cave. We can find another way there. I'm kind of wondering about the uh, floating. Oop. Oh, oh, wait. What's this over here? Yeah, I'm also wondering about these lotus looking things. Oh, no, this was the original spot where we kind of left off. Okay, never mind. Yeah, but I'm not seeing any way to activate these. Maybe mm. not yet. Maybe we'll have to activate them later. What? The little lanterns? Little... The lanterns yeah. that kind of popped up and stuff like that? Yeah. I don't see any way to activate them. Yeah. I don't I don't see anything either. Okay, moving moving on and wait. Um Okay, maybe 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 outside. Yeah, I'm thinking I'll have to go out the way I came in and look around for an easy way up. How about this way before I go back? Oh, new enemies! Mini blueies! Got in a treasure chest. Okay. Would you be mad if I attack these? <laughs> hmm. I mean, there are many versions of her. Probably. But, I mean, it's already kind of giving me vibes that she was already um, mad. mad at us already, so. Okay, time to fight them then. And of course, new entry, but I'll read it later. Oh, wow, okay. These guys are very dangerous. Ooh, wow. They haven't been able to hit me yet. Oh, come on, look, look, free screen. There we go. Which I was dashing at that moment. Ah, you Ow. missed! Water and wind at the same time. That is not good. Ow, fuck. Okay, that's gonna hit harder. But these guys are tanky. Yeah, they are. Holy shit, that hurt. They're really tanky, my god. How much health do these guys have? You already threw. You've already killed them. What the fuck? <laughs> Nuvolet is OP, okay. Wait, you is. you were able to kill them with Nuvolet? I thought they were all water based. No, they're water and wind. Yeah, then how? They were still able. Water. Okay. I wasn't able to hurt them with Nuvolet. I wasn't getting any immune at any time. I was hurting them all right. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see, what does the guy well, I was I was expecting them to uh um be immune. Be immune. No, they're not. An illuminated beast that dwells deep within the mountain. These elemental reactions freeze these creatures and use uh, shatter, melt, or other elemental reactions to Break the ice and render the render it immobile temporarily. We want to start off with ice and then hit them with either a claymore to shatter them or fire or electro. I don't have a nice and good ice character yet, so yeah, no that we'll have to do for now. Some 
new resourcing here? Ah, uh, sorry about that. Actually, no, I cannot react with these. Inter uh, can I interact with them? Oh, the gotta sneeze out? again. Go ahead. Oh. Can I break them? Okay, sorry about that. I can break these. Okay, so this is a new mineral. Wait, is the second percent actually down there? No, that's the boss! Is there a portal down there first, though? Oh yeah, that's the boss, alright. Ignoring that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna jump down because I don't, I don't know if there's a portal down there, but... Not gonna mess with that yet. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's was for the new character. Yeah. Okay, that one looks climbable. Yeah, Maybe I could even run up it. It's not that steep. Yeah, I'm going off the left hand side here a little bit. Or trying to see about. You know, after exiting that cave, there seems to be like a relatively gentle slope on the left hand side, it seems, maybe. Well, I'm already climbing one slope, could be the same one. It's not as steep. It does have a few spots to stand on. I'm not gonna rush it, which is still a bit of a waste. Okay, I seem to be above the fog now. Yep. No, but... That's oh, I'm a little slee. And... Oh, of course, a cat saw me. Nope. Oh. I'm not hold when they shoot it. Oh. Ignoring that cat. Goodbye. I'm busy, kitty cat. Go away. I'm fighting that kitty cat. Oh, okay. I mean, it should despawn, but, or, you know, it should stop going after me by now, but, okay. Because I'm, I was already up, like, you know, quite a, quite a ways from it, so... And as the lead came back down. <clears throat> okay, there it is. Okay, I guess I'll Is it up there, the statue of the seven? Or is it around this mountain? Wait. And of course the lead went up for another kitty cat. Why look, does... at me. look at me taking that there little kitty cat. Don't go towards the kitty cat! One already tried to eat you! Mm hmm. Okay, that apparently opened up a challenge. Oh, I'll just goat? I'll just put a marker there for right now. I'll deal with that later. Okay. Always that way. I'm gonna mark this here, so I know this is some kind of puzzle here. Close enough to know where to mark. So the stack of the seven should be up this way. Okay, session of the seven has been activated. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Okay. I'm gonna mark this. And go around it. I do not want to deal with that rune hunter and its robot escort. My god, where did you go? <laughs> oh, you went really far south. Okay. More robots.
Yeah, not too far from it. There is a ruined hunter with some smaller robots helping it. Yeah. Why? Why well, interact already? Hmm. Ah, there it is. There we go. Wait. Why are you not drawing the entire map? Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's opening up all that area to the left, which is kind of unfortunate, it seems. But Unless it'll open once a certain quest is done. Maybe, but I kind of doubt it. It's not the only place that's doing that. On Sumeru, it did the same thing. Yeah. What are these things that are okay? I see a ch aiming challenge over there. I'm gonna mark it. I think it's like right here. I see a chest over on the ruin. No, those ruins are in the way, so I might end up taking that chest either way. See another chest off the beaten path. I'm gonna mark it. It was guarded by another kitty cat. Whoa! Up from that same chest. Okay, roaming, um, roaming boxes. Okay, that was, uh. Oh, is that the, uh. Oh, is that the Rune Hunter that you were kind of speaking of? No, not quite. Although I'm not quite sure where the. Uh... Miss me! Hmm. Hey! Same to have. This chest is locked by a fire puzzle. Oh, yeah. I okay. <laughs> I think I saw the. Uh, I think I saw the rune hunter and friends that you were kind of, uh, that you were kind of speaking about, and the yep. fact that there's a rune guardian here as well is like, woof. Yep. That's gonna be a fun fight. Oh yeah. I'm a little curious, but yet terrified of this other, like, temple that's over here. Wondering what else could be here. See several, I see a robot here, which is a small one. At least a regular one. Okay. Where are the other torches? I want to open this chest. Where are the torches? That looks like another either challenge or a puzzle, I can't tell. It should be like right here. Oh, there's one. Where are the other magical torches? I found two so far. Yeah, two of them are pretty easy to find. They're pretty obvious. Yeah. Oh, I see the other one hidden inside a bush. Yeah, that's common. Although I'm not, although I'm not quite sure which bush you're referring to right at this moment in time, and not really watching yours, but it was next to an entrance, it's like a broken down wall with a doorway. It's a bush off to the side, and oh, there's the last one. There we go. They're all on now. Nice. That has an interesting glow to it, so I'm just gonna mark it with a quest icon because that could be one of those 
only see one. I only. I only see one rune guardian here, so I'm half inclined on trying this. Seeing, seeing what's here. Investigate the robot. Okay. Okay. No, he just had Mora. And what am I looking at? A lot of uh, a lot of achievements right at this moment in time. Um. Okay. Hold on. I need to set up for potential fighting. Um. Let's see, we'll switch. Okay, this is a, might not only wake up the robot, but maybe open that gate. You're talking about that, you're talking about that one, uh, like temple thing, diffuser inscription. There's yeah, the a chain. temple where there's one robot just sitting down. Mm -hmm. There's this thing in the middle with that's glowing. Diffuser inscription. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Are you gonna do it? I I just activated that diffuser inscription dialogue. So, um, okay. but it looks like we have to go to like other areas. Send up orchids, fragrance of flowers, shake cauldron, fragrance of oh, orchid. Oh, and twist. one of those is the word uh, rune hunter's at. Mm -hmm. So. It, so so it looks. So, in other words, it looks like in order to open up this door, we're going to have to um, go and fight those, that Rune Hunter and, you know, and all that, so. And potentially fight this, uh, uh, this, you know, Rune Guardian at some point, but, yeah. Maybe. I just took the time to grab what was in the arch behind it. It's kind of like the Oculus, but it's like something else. So I'm guessing those need to be turned in somewhere. Yeah, I have a funny feeling that that's, you know, how you were talking about the, um, um, uh, those, um, you know, for the Inazuma and, you know, uh, Fontaine and stuff like that, you know, those... You know, I think that's what these are all about, probably. You know, just, probably. you know, uh, little things that, you know, we can kind of use to grow or, you know, build on something, I guess. Come on, treasure hoarders. Why are you so keen on protecting a disappointment chest? What's up? I went and fought the treasure hoarders nearby to grab their chest. And mm -hmm. I know it's one of those disappointment chests. Uh -huh. At least there's a sleeve here. Where are you taking me, little guy? Let the mighty be humble. Have me going halfway across this map. Okay, there you are. Wait. Wait, it's missing one. Well, before I go for that, I might as well go for the portal nearby. And there it is, the leaf. Found the leaf, I'm gonna take care of it. Get back here. Get back here. Too slow. Stop falling, damn it. <laughs> Yo. Give me the loot. Yep. Okay, now portal. Yeah, that's a little disappointing of a chest, but oh well. Yeah, all the green chests are disappointment chests. Nope, not that way. Those are puzzles. Following the ferry. Yeah, nice looking view of that ruined temple. Now, I'm gonna 
marked this puzzle. I'm not gonna do it this time. Mm. Hello, Hello mm. Trophy, because it is guarded by a kitty cat. Two kitty cats. Okay, found one fairy, but don't know where the second one is right at this moment in time, it's so... pretty close by. Really? Yep, it's really close by. Mm-hmm. Same direction as... As the portal. If you're, like, going towards the portal, you're gonna find one, like, along the way. Really close to where, where it needs to go. Wait, what? Oh, a little uh, nearby, there right. should be able to see, and mm -hmm. along the way there should be a Sili. Mm -hmm. It's on a tree. Oh, you're right. I totally missed it. Can you see? Yep, that's a loot chest down there, and I actually think I need to go down there. Not that far down, so I might as well mark that other chest. And those are treasure hoarders. Do I really want to go that way? Well, I actually have to go that way. Oh, okay. The chest suddenly appeared right uh, right below me, and it's like, push up. Okay. Right. Sure. Okay, thanks. You were steady in the spawn point. Yeah. Back to the road. Okay. I saw... I saw something up on that hill north of the one portal. Yeah, but... like there's a puzzle guarded by cats. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just ignore it for right now. Yeah, I marked it just and I'm gonna do it some other time. Yeah. I'm also yeah, gonna so... mark this weird looking thing here. Oh, shit. Ooh. Two adult view of uh, Geovishaps. Where? Um, there is a time challenge. Um, oop. Time challenge? Yeah. Hold on, I'm not, I'm gonna see about trying to complete it. Wait. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Hold on, I'll I'll show it to you in just a second. I I just want to see if I can complete the challenge here. And oh my God, there's I still have 20 more to go. Where did you go? Okay, you should see where you went. Oh, I see where you went. Let's see. Unnecessary. Oh, the opposite side of them. Then, yep, there. Oh, hello there, V-Sharp. Two yeah. V-Sharps. Mm -hmm. Both of them were uh, already active element, Pyro and Cryo. Mm -hmm. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, God, you're actually going to fight them? Good luck. You're fighting them? No, I'm not. I'm avoiding them. Oh, uh, I'm curious. <laughs> like I said. I don't know these guys are named. Oh, they're named? Oh, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. No, thank you. Um. Okay, that's weird. Come on. Oh, these guys are beefier than their normal counterparts. Oh. Yeah. Excuse me, get off of there. Yo. Thank you. Okay, let's 
Brody. I gotta get rid of this fire one. This is the more dangerous one of the two. No, oh, of course, you just Someone jump right in front of me. Ow, 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 ow. Pick up the orbs, son of a lit. Let's see, hold on. Right, right, right. Wait, can I not climb this? Okay. Get, nope. Nope. Get oh, you. Oh, you. Yeah. Wait. Where the fuck did you come from? I just got attacked by. I'm. Um, I'm getting attacked by a uh, electro. Uh, um, Hillatrol. And I, I just opened up a chest, so... Oh! Okay, he just one-shotted uh, my, my Wanderer. Ain't that lovely. Thankfully, when you're out of co-op, you can basically pause, you know, revive your character, and then you can go back into combat. Yep. So, kind of happy about that. It's kind of rough when you're in co-op and, you know, you can't do that, but... Technically down, though it still has a teeny bit of health. Oh, is it strengthening the other one? Oh, of course. I need to take them all both out at once. Alive. They can keep each other alive? Yeah, like, if I knock them out, but the other one's still standing, it'll revive the other one. Oh. Oh, come on, you need things are not that far off. Is it what you wish to find? Hopefully, the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile You need experience. to hurt the cryo one a bit more. <laughs> a new job. Oh, bad time for this. Are you... are you seriously gonna fight me? I found, like, a treasure hoarder inside one of the Hill of Trolls' cages. And yeah. I was like, okay, you know. And so I was like, "Hey, you know, let's let's see what happens. Maybe this is some kind of quest, right?" Yeah. He basically instantly became an enemy, and now I'm now fighting him right at this moment in time. <laughs> it's like, okay, how's that for gratitude? I must leave 
No stone unturned. Come on, let charge up. What's it done? I mean, I'll I'll take your uh, I'll take your resources there, treasure hoarder. If you really want to die that badly. Okay. Well, that uh, that Hillitrol camp is now cleared. <laughs> I wasn't really expected to clear out the entire camp, but you know, I uh, was able to finish it off. Hmm, I see another chest over there. Oop! I see. Let's let's get over. Let's go over to this uh, waypoint. Get this unlocked. No, come on, frame rate, not now. Seen a couple of uh, they gotta weaken this base one a bit more so that they can mm. both out at the same time. No, oh, don't eat the pyro one there, Yamiya. Oh, okay. Okay, interesting. Chishang map? What? Okay, knock down the other one again. Weaken the fire one a bit more. Ancient city key. So there we go. Just hang wall. Okay. Are you for real? All that just for an achievement. <laughs> Not even a treasure chest. Oh, I I would send some feedback on that one. Are you for real? These, these guys are tanky as hell. Not to mention they, they just revive themselves over and over. Idea what that's all about, but apparently it's a quest it item. Me. Hmm. All of it. Whatever it is. Weird. What exactly is it? I didn't quite catch your request. Okay, let's go activate that portal nearby. That was disappointing. Yeah, yeah, turn me into a fish so I can actually reach that portal faster. So you're gonna mark chest. Started by a. Hmm. A summer troll and one of those special hilly trolls. And portal! Okay, how do I. S This is a bit of the beaten path, so I'm just gonna mark it. Because it's tied to some kind of uh, fossil. Like there's just multiple chests here. No, it's probably tied to a fossil. Don't feel like doing the fossil right now. If it's murder, I'll do it. If it's a puzzle, I can wait. There we go. I'm doing a couple of puzzles. It's been, it's interesting. Let's see. Yeah, in the, <sighs> what's for is that the achievement only gives you five primos. Uh... That is so disappointing. 
I would definitely put like a feedback on that one because that's that's and that's rough, man. That's that's not that's not cool. see anything there. I mean, I'm just checking out a bit of my rage on these four treasure hoarders. What's wrong with my frame rate right now? Everything. I'm getting stream lag all of a sudden. Okay, got that spirit carp. Okay. Well, I'm near the, uh, I'm near the Yodi Valley area, so. Hang on just a sec. I had to pause the game and see what the hell's going on with my bloody OBS. It's generating a lot of lag for some reason. Okay, um, so it is 10 o'clock, my friend, uh, by the way. And, or at least 10 o'clock my time. So it is, what, 3 o'clock in the morning where you're at right now? Yep. Um, it's rather pathetic to force a conversation. Yeah, I, I have, I have the, there's a portal right next to the, that quest area. Um, did you want to do the commissions before we call it? Sure. Let me just activate this portal real quick. Yeah, let me know when you are when you are done with that. Relax. I don't want to get any closer than I'm already at, you know, with the uh, um, with this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna head back to Leeway real quick, just to kind of get. Now I'm getting frame rate issues now. Come just, on. just to kind of keep myself out of that particular area. You know, don't. You know, I don't want to trigger that next next portion of the quest. <laughs> so. Come on, game. What the hell? Wasn't really expecting this long of a quest line. Just trying to go into this new area, but, I mean. Yep. What bugs me is they force you into it. They don't give you a choice. Yeah. I mean, we could we could have like backed out at any time with it. Like we could have gone off to like other quests after that initial. Um. But you know, here I was thinking, oh, it's gonna be something simple. You know, one would think yeah, initially, yeah. right? You know, something that will like maybe you know take care of some monsters in the area. Bam, done. But no, it just kept on going and going. And going, it was a full-on quest line. It's like, my God. <laughs> yeah, almost like the chest, and the chest was a long quest line, even though yeah. it looked like it would have been short. Yeah. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. You know, I'm not complaining too badly because you know, got a fair amount of primos out of all that, but still. Yeah. Teleporting out of here and into leeway. You know, I've been able to purchase two more intertwined fates out of that, so it's like, okay. Yeah, I already have enough for a temple. I just don't know if I sh whether or not I should. Yeah. If I'm... I do, who do I pull for? Yeah. Well, I mean, you don't have uh, a five star for either Dendra or um, Amino, right? Right. Then, I mean, I would say, 
you know, go for either one of them. But I mean, with the fact that you were absolutely loving Nahida, then then go for her. You know. Come you know. On, game. What the hell? But the game staying very laggy right now. But what I th the hell's going on? For myself, I think I'm gonna save my wishes for <laughs> well, pretty much three banners from now, <laughs> in my opinion. Just because I know that if I probably do a ten pull, then it's probably gonna, you know, um, it it probably won't trigger that um, that pity, you know, one yet, you know, or you know, it might it might not necessarily trigger the pity. You know. Yeah, but as soon as you get a five star, but, it just resets. Yeah, I know. And I'd I'd rather I'd rather have. I mean, don't get me wrong. I probably would enjoy having Ga Ming in the crew, personally. But you know, I I don't know. I not Nahida was was not something that you know I was really that impressed with. So I think I'll I'll hold off for right now. Same with uh, Zayun, Zayun, or however you pronounce her name. So. Chao and Yao Ming. Hmm. No, 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 no the, the, the and Yao Ming. The I was I was saying uh, the the Mino character that you know the the death guy, you know. Oh, flat retainer. Yeah. So, I was I was gonna hold off on getting her as well. At least for now. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, you know, I'm not saying like, oh my God, you know, I, I'm never gonna get them. You know, it's just, um, I'd rather save my wishes for characters that, you know, I really want. You yeah. know, and I'm not. The only one that would probably won't bother, at least not until I get everyone at C6, at least, mm -hmm. would be the Dendro Healer Baishu. Oh, yeah. He's not worth it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'd still try to pull for him anyway, you know. But obviously, trying to get everybody up to, you know, uh, up the constellation for every single last one of them. Yeah, he probably would be like the worst one for me to kind of go for. Uh, That's so. Why I'm leaving him for last. Okay, work on everyone else. Leave my ship for last. Yeah. You know, for yeah. Just in case anybody's kind of curious, we're we're talking about this particular character right here, because I mean, don't get me don't you know don't get me wrong, he was able to, you know, keep himself alive. His healing was pretty much immaculate in terms of like you know, like hey, you you pretty much could not kill him. But he was doing like hardly any damage from what I I saw anyway. Um and He's like the worst when it comes to usable characters outside of healing. Yeah. I mean I, I don't find Barbara's healing a lot better than his. Yeah, well I mean I don't know how good he is in terms of healing others. I didn't really s I if I'm not mistaken, when we were using him during that event, I think we we had him during an event, right? Where we had, like, multiple right. people. Um, yeah, a I, combat I, event. Yeah, I, precise. I don't think he... I don't think he... I uh, don't think he was healing others. But then again, I wasn't really using the others all that often. So I couldn't really tell myself whether or not he was, like, healing others in the party. Um, I'm not, I'm not 100% cer certain on that, but. You know, on that event, that particular event, all I did was, okay, do your danger effect, okay, and then back to someone else. Yeah. Come back, do your danger effect, and back to someone else. Just to meet that criteria to get the rewards. Yeah. Okay, so, um... Let me frame rate right now. Let's see. 
I have one commission about completing Land's request. I have no idea what this is all about. She's been looking for a certain sword. Her search has been not been fruitful, so she decided to widen her search range. So, no idea about that. Um, I have one where it's defeat all Hillitrol opponents, 13 of them, so there's going to be quite a bit of loot there. I have an Abyss Mage ha has seen performing the ritual on the Hill of Trolls, so six punts there, so that's going to give us some resources. And Sabotage the Slime Balloon, so meh. Yeah. I got to talk to Tang Wang, a researcher from Liyue, seems to be missing home a lot. Uh. Complete a challenge by protecting the leyline monolith. Defense. Right. Reach the destination within the time limit. Mm. And defeat all opponents. A pack of uh, rift hounds have appeared out in the wild. Mm -hmm. okay. The rift hounds are like those legless doggos. Yeah. yeah. Okay, um, I mean, those would probably be dropping resources, so I have, it sounds like you only have, like, the one plus the talking, right? Yep. Okay, so I have two plus the talking as well, but, um, so, are you, I'm not quite sure about this particular talking quest that I've seen, so it might lead into a fight later. What about yours? Uh, I don't know, because it's just like this research just is missing home a lot, so it could be like a message or something, I don't know. Message or probably, and you have to like give them some resources to make them feel, probably. yeah. Um, you want to do, uh, well, you want me to join on yours, and we'll fight off those wolves, and then we'll come to mine, and we'll do the three? Sure. Okay. Uh, then... Teleport near it. Uh, when you come in, you just... Okay. I... You're already there. Yeah, I'll, I'll get close to the talking one that I have, and... And let me know when you're ready. I'll send you an invite, uh, a request to join. Yep. I'm almost there. Oh, we gotta avoid these guys. Okay, I believe I'm close enough. Okay, so requesting to join. Loading in, loading in, loading in. Yep, there you are. I'm still on a white screen. Yeah. And getting closer. It's on the last symbol. Come on, come on, do it. And there we go. Okay, so let me switch characters. It. What elements are they? They're the doggos. I Normally they're the Electro or Geo, but it really doesn't matter. Both of them, they're not immune to any element. Okay. Alright, ready? Okay. Oh, but I have to trigger this for this one. Ow. Sometimes I went to the wrong one. Oh, right. I can ignore this one, if you like. 
I mean, it might be something that um, might still kind of activate the uh, a fight at the end, maybe. No, I don't think so. This has reached the end of it. I'm going to ignore it. Let it run out. Because this is their island. This is their turf. Oh, reach the destination within the time limit. Okay. Yeah, I found it. It's, uh, it's the same island, but higher up north. Right. I'm going to the only portal that's near it. Yeah. I see. This is a their turf. That you're gonna only try an abundance of these things here. Fortunately, I cleared out this entire place, so... Don't have to worry about... Oh, hello there. Oh, I'm not gonna reach that. That was not there before. Again, this place was ever changing. And there we go. This place was never consistent to begin with, so I guess to be expected I find all of a sudden a Electro Walkless. I don't remember. I don't think I did this puzzle. I'm gonna mark it real quick. Okay, well, I'm gonna attack them, so. Geronimo! Boom! Okay, reinforcements incoming. Here they come. Oh, that big one's coming. Settle down. Denied. Okay. And there comes the Geo version of it. I'm gonna grab these resources here real quick. Yeah, same. see anything else here in terms of resources other than you know stuff that is like here naturally but yeah okay you all done yep on um, that one yeah that's a fight okay now that just leaves the talking the defense and the race yeah okay i will leave the team yeah i'm teleporting to nasuma city just in case yeah Co-op mode interrupted. Returning to your world. You don't say. I mean, I just clicked leave. Oh well. <laughs> We're doing two single player right now, so then I can send you the request. Yep. Let me know when you're ready. Let me know when you're ready. Well, I'm ready. I'm here. Yep. Okay. Send the request. Join. There we go. Okay, so I have a person here that I have to talk with, so. Okay, I'm 
still loading. So oh, yeah. second. Um, I'll go ahead and keep on attacking her until you're you're loaded in. Let me know when you're. Okay, I'm in. So. Oh, you got Dr. Lan. Yep. I hope it turns up at this time. There are so few leads left. What's wrong? What brings you here? If you'd like to learn more about the guild, please talk to Catherine over there. Oh, you're an adventurer already. Please accept my apologies. I may be the branch master, but I'm not well acquainted with the guild's day-to-day -day business. So I don't really know any of the newcomers. Having said that, you're no newcomer at all, are you? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> you look like a seasoned adventurer to me. I mean, I haven't been in Louie for, you know, like months now, but sure, you know. <laughs> in which case, maybe there's something you can help me with. I must emphasize, though, this is not a guild quest, but a personal commission. I'll take it. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but it is highly unwise to accept the commission without examining the details first. Ah! Your commission, should you choose to accept it, is to defeat two strong hill trolls who bear giant shields. <laughs> okay. Their shields are infused with geo-energy. Not terribly dangerous, but you should still proceed carefully. All you need to do is defeat them. Come and find me afterwards and you will be fairly compensated. Oh, and if you come across anything sword-related, bring it back to me and practice for me. If not, it doesn't matter. As long as you defeat the hill trolls, you will not, you will receive your compensation. That's all. I'll leave you to get ready now. Okay. And... There's that. So, it is up in the Gilly Plains. Just south of the domain for Forsaken Ruins. So, I'm going to go ahead and teleport there now. I think we. I think I know which one this is. Did you look at your transmutator from that character, from Lan? Mm, I think so. I can't remember though. Uh, I'm gonna switch up my characters still because I'm not okay. using the uh, right characters for these. There we go. All right. Okay, we're ignoring that guy. The treasure hoarder. Yeah, because he's not part of the uh, who we're facing off against. We're facing off against the hill trolls with the uh, stone shields. Remember? Yep. So, uh, taking the one on the right. Oh, what the? Uh, I now have a treasure hoarder that's kind of attacking me as well. Yeah, I got two of them. <sighs> oh, I lost one. Where's the other one? Okay, commission is done. Or, you know, I have to report back to land in order to get the rewards for that. Hold on, let me see. Was there. No, uh, I didn't drop anything. Yeah. Oh, hello. Come here. Where are you gonna hide? Going after the ferret? Yeah. Oh, what the? Um, it disappeared like right here. Where did it go? <laughs> Maybe it just despawned when it took we took too long to react with it. Maybe I don't know. Normally it leaves like a little hill for you to uh. You know, interact okay. with, but oh well. Okay, heading back to talk to Lon. No, no sword or anything along those lines. So, oh well. Yeah, I try to use my transmitter weekly. I get some like talent stuff sometimes. Mm, not quite sure what you're referring to, but oh well. Uh, yes. You feed it any random resource, and it'll return uh, 
other random resources. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, last time I used it, I got, uh, like, scrolls for talents and some, uh, exp what was it called again? The leveling up material. Mm -hmm. Okay, you should have gotten that commission complete. Yep. Okay. Um, the next one is in Celt um, Celtery. So, uh, to the east of, um, um, of the mountain there. So, I'm going to teleport there now. This is the closest portal to it, so... Yes. Near the other one will we'll be destined to a seven, but it's nowhere nearby. Yeah. So we need to switch to Purine and run across the water. <laughs> There we go. Ready? Yep. Okay. Go. Oh. Oh. Shit. The tide's beckon. Okay, that guy's gone. And he's gone. Yep. Okay. One of them fell under the water, so I don't know if their resources are still there or not. Doesn't look like it to me. Resources up above, but there's not any in the water. Oh, do you have it? Fall off. Do you have anything in the water over here? No. Nope. Okay. Nope. Couple of resources over here. Let's see. And nothing inside that chest for me. Okay. Or nothing inside that crate. Nope. All right. That looks like about it there. So, next one is, um, okay, you know that one portal south of, like, the new zone that we kind of went to and we were thinking, oh, we'll use it to cross, right? It's, it's pretty much right there. So, I'm going there now. At the portal right beneath it. Oh, don't want to deal with the stone hide. Okay, it looks like there's a simmer troll in there as well. Yep. So, this is going to be you know, fairly easy. Yep. Here we go. Done. Yep. Okay. Uh, and that, that looks like it. That's it. Yep. Okay. All done. Uh, yeah, I think that should be it. Yep. Yeah. Maybe. So, 
Okay. Head, head back to Mike to turn it in. Yeah, indeed. I mean, the only other thing is, you know, that we could do if you wanted is to try to like hunt down, you know, um, you know, resources for for characters or weapons or something like that if you want. But you know, I know that it's already really late for you, so if you don't want to do that, that's fine. No, just turning turn these in and call it. Yeah. There we go. Add Astra Abyssosk. Thank you for completing today's. So we gotta okay. put this pet completely. Let me play a little bit. Add Astra What's up? I always forget uh, my dispatch and all the way until the end. Mm, gotcha. There you go. Those are taken care of. So that gives me my other daily. Structural blueprint, food recipes. Okay, there's that. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Woohoo, some some leveling up materials. Woohoo. <laughs> Not to the hero, it's unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Is it highlighting me characters? I'm not seeing a character that is highlighted. Now, yeah, let's see. Just because of Traveler, I cannot ascend Traveler until I get rank 50. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I gotcha. Okay, here it is. Oh, uh, this is why it was being marked. I maxed out my friendship with you and Mia. Oh, that's Give nice. Give me a new background. You got you and Mia's friendship up to 10. Then again, she... <laughs> I got her on my first try of, uh... Way back when. Hmm. I've heard it for a long time. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, you know, I've been using the well forever, and I've only gotten her up to eight. <laughs> so. So that's interesting. I do switch into you and me, like, almost always, like in every single fight. Yeah. Okay, like. Uh, okay, no bullets on cooldown. Come out, Yomi, and finish it off. Yeah. There it is. I'm gonna stick with my current one. I really like the, the stellar moment uh, background. Okay, well that was some interesting new quests. <laughs> yep. Um, I guess, you know, if you want to, we can kind of continue doing that next week. But, you know, that's up to you. Obviously, if you want to, like, clear it out, you're, you're, you know, you're doing that on Wednesday. So, you know, you can if you want, yeah. but. Yeah, for now I'm still doing games on Wednesdays. Yeah. We'll see what I'll do on Wednesday. Yeah. But, uh, that is going to be it for today. Uh, thankfully there wasn't any, like, events.
per se. <laughs> Yet. You know, concerning Yet. concerning uh, you know what's anything new kind of going on, but yeah, uh, based off of the notices, there they have a lot of things lined up. They have a lot of things lined up for a month. Yeah. You know. Still the lantern right that event that needs to come out supposedly. Man. No. Oh, what other event was still also left? Oh, there's like I said, there's there's something and there's like an event that is happening pretty much like every week all the way up to March. There's something called the Vibrant Harriers Aloft and Spring Breeze. Um, take part to obtain Jin Yoon's outfit and a four-star character from Leeway of your choice. Uh, that starts tomorrow. And potentially goes all the way till the 11th, from what I understand. Okay, so... And uh, the problem is that it's gonna be one of those long events, probably as well. Probably. Which is they're giving you a four-star character of your choice. Yep. Um, it's well from leeway. Bear in mind, so it yes, might be. Still. Yeah, it might be a little. Um, they might, you know, obviously they'll probably limit you, but yeah. Um. There is something called the Triumphant Frenzy event. Adept swiftly to dispatch foes. That's on the 15th, and that goes till the 20, 26th. Um, there's a cuisine cooking challenge that starts on the 21st and goes to the 4th. Um, and then there is a journey through Hill of Magnet. A hillomatic terrain, hillatrol camp investigation starting on the 29th of February, going to the 11th of March. So, so those are like all the events kind of going on this month, according to their event, you know, event list on that. So it's like, whew. yeah. So there's there's quite a bit there. So. And you have free images in that and a free character. Yeah. Let me know if it's if it's something long and involved. So if I need to do a little bit offline, then I I'll try to. We'll see. You know. When did it say it start again? The long the what the one we think it would be a long one. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Right. Yeah. Now I guess I'll get a taste of it on Wednesday. Yeah. Like you know if if it. If it is indeed something that you know has to take like multiple days in order to complete, let me know, and I'll I'll see what I can uh, do if about. If Fontaine all over again, yeah, I'll let you know. Yeah, well, I mean, there's there's been events where it's like you know, hey, in order to, you know, uh, get resources on this day, you have to go on this day. If you have to get resources on that day, you have to go. You know, it's like, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, it's like, so, so let me know. Uh, yeah. but would appreciate it. Any notification if that's the case. Otherwise, I'll be doing it all on pretty much the last day, and it's like, <laughs> you know, I guess I won't be getting much if that's the case. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see. All right, my friend. You have yourself a good night. Get out of here. Get to bed. Yeah. I'll see you yeah. next time, uh, or see you tomorrow actually for Terraria. So. Yep. Um. Good night. Okay. Oh. Good night, there, Jim. Right. Bye. Bye. And for those of you that are wondering, um, we are going to be doing some Terraria tomorrow, so look forward to that if you're so inclined. Um, uh, Terraria Calamity. Uh, we'll be continuing some um, uh, some Pega studying will be uh, probably not going to be doing unreal for a little bit because as blackheart mentioned he's dealing with a pretty serious heat wave down there and uh trying to get him to start up early is a little problematic for him so um 
So Unreal is probably going to be on hold for a little while longer. Just just bear in mind. Um, then I'll probably do some. I'll I'll be doing some video upload. I'll upload some videos tonight. So tomorrow I'll have that section, um, and then uh, I'll have a single player Terraria for a little bit, and then we'll go into Calamity. So uh, so hopefully you'll join us for that if if you're interested in some Terraria gameplay. Um, uh, let's see. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it. Check out the description for multiple links. Um, you know, links to, you know, Blackheart. You know, so go check out his channel. Help him out. Um, links to, you know, my Discord. Um... You know, links to my Patreon, to Throne, to help me out if you're, if you want. Uh, links to, uh, you know, Team Robot, which I feel, you know, could be helpful for pretty much anybody that wants to join. Streamers and non-streamers alike, you're all welcome. So check out that team if you're, if you want to. Uh, there's a document that kind of ex describes the team, so, um so just to kind of give you a heads up on on that it's a long one it's a long <laughs> descriptive document um and yeah that's going to be it for tonight i want to thank everybody that chatted with me today uh lizzie john lee or aka disappear uh jack uh and that was it for the chatters but that's okay um you know i want to thank you all for chatting with me i appreciate it i also want to thank anybody that was just kind of lurking in the background thank you for being here hopefully you had a good time um but that's going to be it for tonight so thank you very much for watching i appreciate it hopefully i'll catch you next time but until then take care have a good night stay healthy stay safe and i'll catch you next time